question. Serial number five. Yes. Here, may I request for Monday plus I will request the file plus some documents in the file. For the time being, I am for the uh, original activity. I am yes. activated. You are informed, Mr. Pancha. Yes, I tried to, but I could not get his contact. Very well. Let the matter be called yes, out. Yes, my colleague. It would be, be yes. I am obliged. Yes. Serial number. Yes. You are Mr. Limbola. Please wait. When we should keep it? What is the difficulty? We can proceed today. Mr. Dadishi, a Limbola learned advocate, has appeared on behalf of the applicant, original complainant. He is not carrying the papers. He prays for adjournment. Considering his request, matter is urgent next week. Serial number 31, your Lord. Yes. Uh, here on behalf of Mr. Vedan Gaikwad, I am requesting some time to file paper book, your logic. It's 138 equital of the your logic. Mr. Paper. Vedan D. Gaikwad, learned advocate on record for the original complainant, prays for time to enable him to place on record the relevant documents in the form of paper book. He requests for adjournment. Considering his request, let this matter be posted after two weeks. Please, your logic. <laughs> Obliger. Yes. There are three matters in total arising out of the same transaction. This is a 138 equitable appeal. Yes. One is coming tomorrow. This one is listed today. And the third one for the third one I am requesting for an urgent circulation for tomorrow. So this may also be kept tomorrow. And for the third one, I am requesting for a circulation. All three may be heard together arising out of the same transaction, same parties are here. Tomorrow. I'm you don't want circulation note? Yes, circulation permitted. Yes. <clears throat> Lord, uh, serial number 47, my lord. Yes. Uh, other side has filed new note, but not reflected in my board, my lord. So, uh, Who is reported to be on leave? Mr. Rathod. Mr. Anurag R. Rattu, learned advocate on record for the applicant, is reported to be on leave. Mr. Amit N. Patel, learned advocate on record for response number two, is present. Let this matter be listed for hearing. Lots by two weeks. Request for 18th, if uh, convenient, my lord. By such long date you want. Uh, or 11th, my lord. I am here. 11th, yes. please, my lord. Oblige. Serial number 46, your lord. Yes. Uh, here we are filing DS affidavit within the three days, your lord. Uh, may I request for some time, your lord? You are filing today? I'm sorry, your lord. You will file today? We will file tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Request is made on behalf of learned advocate Mr. P.B. Majbudar for the applicant to grant adjournment to enable them to file affidavit with regard to status of service qua response number two let this matter be posted next week please your All right. yes lots of 56 to 58 yes my lord said fix this matter for final hearing today my lords but the other side seems to have some difficulties unwell so if if I can request my lords for fifth, third or fifth, my lords. Yes, file sick note. No, no, my lords. He gave me a call in the morning. Somehow, that's why I'm mentioning on behalf of Mr. Anmol Sivaja. Kindly keep it, my lord. Which date we should keep? Third, my lords. Third of April. Third of April. Mr. Girish, he is Mr. Anmol Surulla. Appearing for response number two is not well. On his behalf, request is made to adjourn the matter. Considering request, let this matter be posted on 3rd of April. No blame. 59 to 63. 
notice is not received back we'll call for the status yes. some council for corporation would be there yes. it would be agent yes, yes. notice serial number 62 yes participant he is seeking time who is praying for time excuse respondent no you are mentioning on behalf of mr soni no respondent number 2 you have instructions to appear for is for number 2 no if government fail to give no, uh, counsel then in which matter silver 62 62 advocates notice to the applicant is served nobody is representing applicant no i i am not applicant then I you are representing it. whom respond number 2 respond number 2 you have not filed your appearance no if government fail to uh give uh, counsel then i will appear you want legal aid yes my lord this is first date and papers are yet to receive Adna. you are mr jaivir gadvi yes my lord yes mr jaivir gadvi learned part in person namely let respond number 2 jaivir bhavni dan gadvi is present before this court he prays for adjournment as he intends to take legal aid to represent his case considering his request matter is urgent to after two weeks date may be given you may apply to legal aid authority but if he would be not if he is a government servant he is a dvsp then why and during the duty aid? offices be sure mr while making request you yes. want legal how you would be able no, no. to get legal aid no, no. i don't then, want uh, legal aid then private if if government uh do not provide uh, counsel then what is the the appeal is filed against which acquittal <coughs> acquittal but un under what what was the charge for the papers are yet to receive 323 and 324 uh, no, of ipc let him engage his lawyer government yes. would not be appearing or representing yes. his yes. case if you have instructions make request otherwise i'll simply say that he want to engage lawyer and he prays yes. for yes my lord instead of legal aid it may be mentioned and one time to engage lawyer after two weeks okay yes papers are coming yes what is the request i am here to request that you file the new address Mr. Utsav Parikh, learned advocate for the applicant, prays for adjournment. He submits that notice for respondent one to four has remained unserved, as not found at the given address as per the report of the concerned police station. He is awaiting details of fresh address, considering his request after two weeks. last occasion also you had prayed for time so in all four weeks time has been taken you had remained absent but then considering the fact that you need time we had urgent the matter sufficient time now granted i have not recorded last chance but it would be for you to take steps yes 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 
last occasion also we had waited yes let it be called out yes serial number 38 yes i am mentioning on behalf of respondent number 1 mr white yes and what is the personal difficulty of mr white to the child request in question but even otherwise mr desa has to take steps qua answer respondent let him appear at least some orders can be passed time would be granted but let him take some steps with regard to unserved respondents right yes but uh, i believe the paper book and all that is still to be done and given to us 2018 ma matter is pending admission why unnecessary time has to be granted they are not taking steps let us see. yes not if serial number 117 the first matter crm 899 The honorable court had passed the order of third April. Thank you. The registry had made the greater mistake; they had not obeyed the judicial order. What are the rest of the matters? Rest of the matters, Lordship, triple five six. I am the original respondents. After five years, also I have not received the any copy. It is with regard side. to for it is for maintenance, maintenance right? Management, Lordship. Yes, please let me understand all the matters. Lordship. Then another matter, C R M A one of two thousand nineteen. This is with regard to modification of order. Modifications of the order, Lordship, which already Honorable Justice V P Patel had passed the order. But others arising had... out of what kind of proceedings? Yeah, Lordship, and they had been taken. What the... kind of proceedings? So for C R M A one of two thousand nineteen. Four years conviction had been. given to the respondent husband they had suppressed fact and they had done the mala practice and they had not put the conviction order crm number 2 2019 lordship i am a party in person i am not professionally advocate i am not appearing in any other legal aid matters i am not uh, mentioning to the any of the advocates that we will i will get it at least 900 rupees or 3000 rupees my age is 56 years old डायरेक्शन लास्ट मैटर अगर हजार चौरियासी एम चार वर्ष सजा थी बीड़ो आप डायरेक्शन देर इज नो सच कन्विक्शन ऑर्डर पर कोई स्टे नहीं क्या प्रकार मैटर में कन्विक्शन थे मेटेनस एनेजमेंट में बधुज मूक्य मैडम अगर हजार प्रेयर मै प्रेयर टू गीव द डायरेक्शन टू दी फेमिली कोर्ट देट ही हेज टू सरेन्डर हिमसेल्फ आईधर ऑनरेबल कोर्ट हेज टू पास द एप्रोप्रिएट ऑर्डर टू टे गीव द बीडा टू मी in which application you have made such prayer scra 3110842021 lord so this is the same matter which is connected aju so the crm number 2 na koi the direction mate you have moved application for direction right lord sir you want hearing of that application lord sir scra 11084 lord sir now why this all these matters have been tagged by some judicial order i don't know lord sir i don't why know you are appearing I am appearing. Ah, so you I don't go through the court order. After five years, also I had not received a single papers. No, you have not gone through the court order. Their papers I are not required. I had gone through the court ah, so order. Some orders must have been the... passed to tag these matters. No, it is not a tag with the matters. They had other side had misguided, and honourable court had here the honourable high court had passed the two judicial order. Honourable Justice William Pancholi had passed the order, last order, Lordship. that wrongly tagged and another advocate is also given the confirmation it is a wrongly tagged by the justice geeta ven gopi last order if my lord or uh, lord would be provide me the this court is seized with the matter where criminal acquittal appeals are filed right sure. now the only appeal which i can notice is criminal appeal 899 of 2014 uh, 498 matter which have no relevancy 
no what? now these are, are along with this appeal rest of the matters are pertaining to maintenance now why these ma- maintenance matters are listed with this cup- criminal appeal matter ha ek tag kai thi amna thi amna photo order pass kare to pachi justice vm pancholi sahebe order karyo to 6556/2019 which is that order where by these matters were tagged but the registry is not only the orders kayo order che jena thi tag thi thi This is a this is a separate matter not to what I said. I'm going to copy that. Of course, yeah. Of course, the number one doctor evidence and the work of the city. Yes, sir. Lordship, this is the matter for uh, granting leave against the order passed by the learned judge uh, under the matter of 138 annex chair a page number let mr pandya come rakesh on last occasion you had not been uh, present i'm i'm extremely sorry my leave note was there but i don't know it was not reflected into the board that was a difficulty mr pandya ne inform karo it to the you have the papers now you have gone through the judgment now this is an application seeking leave to appeal now the appeal if you look at the cause title it is filed under 372 of crpc he is the original complainant so leave to appeal would be required in such case any recent decision of the honorable apex court in this issue he is not present let him come 230 day after tomorrow So tomorrow it would be listed. Twenty ninth March. Twenty ninth. In fact, request was made for twenty ninth, but it has wrongly been notified today. Yes. <coughs> This they wanted to withdraw. Call Mr. Rayani. for delay order delay of file is in preparing appeal mail this is an application seeking condonation of delay of 5 days caused in challenging the judgment in order of acquittal dated 18 july 2022 passed by the learned special poxo court and fourth additional session judge koma banaskata at palanpur in special poxo case number 14 of 2017 first of all why the said judgment and order the learned special judge has recorded acquittal of present respondent number 2 to 7 here in original accused 
for the alleged offense punishable under section so and so. Next. Heard Mr. M. M. Karadi, learned advocate on record for the applicant, original complainant, and Mr. Bhargav Pandya, learned additional public prosecutor who has appeared on, on behalf of respondent state, respondent number one state. Let rule be issued making it returnable after three weeks. Respond number 227 are permitted to be served through the concerned police station. The appeal is filed under section 370. Right. Please Please what is the judgment for the serial number one and two public procedure? If I'll manifest the company, tell them it may be kept here. Yes, yes, yes. It has not been, the judgment has not been clear. So let us see if time permits, I may try to complete it today. Otherwise, it would be notified on Friday. Yes. Even serial number three also. Mr. Brambert's matter. Atyana Kali time in the we pass over Kari. Let us see. We'll try to do. Appeal of 2022. What is the urgency? Yes. Your Lordship, uh, I'm appearing for the applicant yes. who is the original appellant. The thing is, the matter has uh, once before even the matter was listed and leave to appeal was filed yes. and the notice was issued to respondent accused. Yes. Uh, three times it was listed and none of the times the respondent had appeared. Right. And a lot of time went by in that. And five, and even after admission of appeal, in um, what, the appeal was what last the year of original complaint. It is of two thousand sixteen. Yes. Very well. The application. You are Miss Monica K. Thakur. We heard Miss Monica K. Thakur, learned advocate on record for the applicant, and Miss what is your good name? Pooja Baswal has appeared on behalf of Mr. Jaydeep S. Sindhi, learned advocate on record for response number three. And learned public prosecutor has appeared on behalf of response number one state. Considering the fact that the original complaint relates to year 2016, the present application seeking early hearing of the criminal appeal is allowed. Let the criminal appeal really state for be notified for final hearing on after four weeks. Yes. Some Great. date may be given. Hi, Lord. Hi, Mr. Vajra Kumar, Deepar Chai. Mr. Sudhan Shujaar. Not present, keep back. Mr. Sudhan Shujaar, in fact, was praying for time. Let it like file up. Really. When the matter is taken up for hearing, learned advocate Mr. Harshad Kumar Panchal for the appellant is not present. A request was made on behalf of learned advocate Mr. Sudhan Shuja appearing for respond number two for adjournment. Let this matter be posted for admission hearing on this Monday. It would be 3rd of April, 3rd April. Six, speech of power, Google answer for DJ Condolence. Mr. Champawat, 
in all how many matters Serial number six, seven, nine, and eleven are yes. the main matters. Yes. Therefore, condonation of delay in six, seven, and nine. Yes. Uh, notice has been issued in a delay condonation application as well as in lieu to appeal. In number eleven. Uh, no notice is yet issued. It is only tagged with these matters. Yes. Same parties are there? Same parties. Both the sides, same parties. Right. Uh, number six is for condonation of delay, wherein there are 554 days of delay in filing the appeal. Right. Uh, number seven, there it is also for the condonation of delay, wherein there is, where there is uh, 696 days of uh, delay. In number nine, there are 1063 days of delay. And in number 11, 883s of delay. <clears throat> number 8 and number 10 are for substitute of service by publishing in daily uh, with permission to publish in daily newspaper since the, in fact except one all the uh, respondents are not served. My learned friend substitute service please. has been allowed. No, it is not it is pending my lords. So uh, my learned friend to... appears for original respondent number 14. Yes. Yes. 15, they have not filed. You have filed reply only for 14. Initially, the hearing was deferred on the ground of maintainability of the appeal, right? Please. And then, any decision has come? Uh, that decision has yet not come. I have just now checked the... Uh, Status. In fact, yes, status. in fact, that would apply in all the acquittal appeals. Yes. That decision is yet pending. I just now checked. It was reserved for orders in 2021 by the coordinate bench, but subsequently the honorable you uh, have the... justice was elevated to apex court. Thereafter, right. nothing has. Can you provide the details of that matter? Please, please. That would be. This is thing. Uh, CRMA one five four one two of twenty twenty. This was the first. Uh, or these are the two orders. Both the orders. By first order, it was uh, sent for to the honourable division bench. Yes. <clears throat> then the last order. The last order. It would affect entire. All the acquittal appeals. Right. I may retain the copy. Please note. Uh, yes. I may just have the number since. Yes, I'm please. Not. Or you can just share the number of the I, I application. Just, we'll get the copy of the order. It is there on record. Please. It is there. So now, what about substituted service? Uh, the, it is if this can be allowed, the notice can be issued in a public uh, newspaper because except two edu two respondents, none of them we were not able to serve the accused persons. Most of them are outside Gujarat. Right. Uh, they are in Maharashtra, Mumbai. But then, and, at which place? Because they are yes, yes, they are at, having separate if, addresses. If, if it can be issued in a daily newspaper such as Times of India, that would go in the entire country. Times of India, but then in the Maharashtra and, and, and edition, edition, entire or... edition can be. There are pages. Suppose in in newspaper there are pages like city edition, state editions, and the few papers wherein the uh, the news of entire countries uh, entire country would be reflected yes. so on that page it can be issued my lords you suggest be true it would be at your expense right please yeah at my expense yes it would be at my expense Rajesh, may i submit we are served and we have filed a reply for responding number 14 and 15 right for sub substitution of service or for delayed condemnation application also it's not maintainable firstly because it has been filed on the behest of the officer through the bank Right. As per section 110 of the Gujarat Cooperative Society's Act, uh, at page 14 in my reply. 
paragraph 3 also. You have filed affidavit in condonation application, right? They have filed reply in due to appeal, not in condonation. Then leave to appeal is not notified today. This is two applications are there on record, two set of application. One this is substituted is service reply. and you have filed in leave to appeal. What about delay? Are you objecting to Please, condonation of delay? delay right? Also, because logic we were acquitted in 2015. This application is of 2018. There is no explanation given for the three years. Uh, that have been passed, Lordship. They have only in their in their petition also, Lordship. They have only explained the delay between 2002 and 2005. Right. Even in 2015, we were acquitted for non-prosecution. Yes. After that, they have not given any explanation of that delay. And Lordships, this if if your Lordships may see the cause title, this is to the mm -hmm. authorized legal officer, not to the liquidator. Who was the original complainant? I am appointed by the liquidator. The, the bank went Any document the has been placed on yes, record? Yes, yes, ma'am. Authority letter has been produced along with the VP that I am appointed by the liquidator. The bank went into liquidation in After that, they have not they have not been represented by the liquidator. I am having the copies, one such copies here. Because without the uh, authority letter, in which proceedings you have placed that authority letter? Probably in all the proceedings because the authority authority letter is your uh, vakalat nama is there on record, but then it is not along with the authority letter. Probably a photocopy would be placed because original is with not me, my lords. If my lords may permit, I would place it on record. The original are with me. <clears throat> Who had filed the complaint on behalf of the society, the bank? Oh. At the earlier point of officer. time, yes, yes, that the concerned officer had filed, he had retired. That explanation I have given in my right. delay condonation. Application. There also he was authorized. Pratibha ben, yes, Pratibha yes. Ben Bupendra yes. the, at that time, the bank was not in liquidation. Lachit, Subsequently, bank had went into liquidation. Right. Lachit, may I submit? They Let have... us, so far as substituted services concerned, now he has come with this application. We may allow that application. Lachit, uh, application through the officer. Now, ships, as per 110 of the Gujarat Cooperative Societies Act, they cannot do this. Let the us see what is 110. 110 Cooperative Society. It is reproduced on, at page 14 of my reply. But then that reply is filed in due to appeals. Yes, sir. It is not forming part of this delay condonation. Yes, sir. It is not the part of delay or substitute service. Matter. Is the part of due to appeal. Want me to read 110? Please read it. The liquidator appointed under section 108 shall have power. Subject to the rules and the general supervision, control, and direction of the registrar to institute and defend suits and other legal proceedings, civil or criminal, on behalf of the society in the name of his office. To carry on the business of the society so far as may be necessary for the benefit of the winding up of the sale. But in, our, in the present case, uh, subsection sub clause A is relevant to institute and defend suits and other legal proceedings. Lord, yes. The bank went into liquidation in 2009. Yes. This is of 2018, Lordships. The, they should be represented by the liquidator and not by the officer. Yes, but now he has come with the authority later. The liquidator has in fact delegated his powers. He has permitted the uh, complainant to lodge the appeal. Now whether that could... Let us see what authority letter has been please. given. I, will, I will place it on we record. have not received any... Please provide the copy. 
some resolution must have been passed please And Lord Chief, note that delegation has been specified in the Act that the liquidator can delegate such authority. What charge he is holding? This Mithya Bhai Chaudhary. How he is associated with bank? Uh, he is the legal officer. Right. This was the authority letter of 2018. Please, when the, appeal, when the appeal was filed. This appeal, this appeal was presented on which date? This appeal, if you leave one lot of time, you have a look. On 18th July 2000, sorry, 19th July 2018, this was registered. So, rightly so before filing of the appeal this authority later has been there which is even otherwise there are lots of there are several orders of passed by this honorable court yes whereby the same persons have been acquitted the the complaint against the same persons have been quashed or not just may i submit this paper book that i've prepared how many defaulters are there mr champa there are in, in fact defaulter is one number two is the original company yes uh number three is the chairman Number four is the authorized signatory. Number five is the executive director and secretary. Thereafter, from six to thereafter six to uh, twenty-two, all are the directors. Non-executive directors. As per my complaint, they are also looking to the day-to-day -day affairs. Even criminal complaints is also filed, wherein they are appearing, and that is uh, proceeding. That is going on. By the very same complaint, and criminal case is also filed, right. wherein they are appearing. They are represented by their advocate, but see, court would not like to non-suit them on these technical grounds if a case is made out. Lordship, so far as criminal in any way. Three, three years delay, they have not explained in all cases, Lordships. 2015 right. was when we were acquitted, Lordships. May I please submit this paper book? I have several orders of this honorable court wherein these two people have been the company. We can do one thing, let him file affidavit, placing this authority letter on record. Court will examine your objection. And thereafter, the appropriate orders will consider so far as this application for substituted service is concerned. A short yes, time would be granted. Please, Let us decide this point. Just by till then, I can submit this. Uh, that. that would be required in adjudicating so far as this technical issue, the point you are raising is. Yes. Let us wait for that new to appeal. Please. If anything which you want to point out that it would be relevant for adjudication of this application, then definitely court would look into that part. Please right now, court would be considering substituted service application, right? Please. You are Miss Simran Pahawa. Miss Simran Pahawa, learned advocate, has appeared on behalf of respond number one. No, respond number 14. Respond number, respond number 14 15. and 15. She has objected to grant of prayer of substituted service of the applicant. She has invited attention of this court to the course title of the present application and has submitted that the applicant bank has gone into liquidation and a liquidator is appointed. Can you please provide the relevant dates so that it can be reflected in the order? The bank went into liquidation in October 2009. I have page number seven of my delay condonation application, paragraph number five. Everything has been explained. That would also cover my delay argument. Right. Lodget, I have objection to the explanations. I just may not record that. No, no, but relevant dates at least are required to be reflected so that on next date it would be convenient for this court. Has gone into liquidation in the uh, 22nd October 2009. 
22nd October 2009 and the liquidator, official liquidator has been appointed thereafter. She further referred to and relied upon section 110 of the Gujarat Cooperative Societies Act, 1961 and has submitted that it will be the domain of the concerned liquidator to institute, defend suits and other legal proceedings, including civil and criminal on behalf of the society which has went into liquidation. On the other hand, the Mr. Champawat, learned advocate on record for the applicant bank has relied upon the authority letter dated 11th July 2018 and has submitted that the present of applicant being legal officer of the concerned bank has been authorized by the official liquidator of the applicant bank to prosecute the present matter before the before this court. He therefore submitted that the present application at the behest of the applicant bank through his legal officer is maintainable. He urged this court to grant substituted his uh, grant relief of substituted service clients of respondent. Considering the submissions made by learned advocates appearing for the res uh, respective parties, let the authority later be produced on record by way of an affidavit. Let this matter be posted next week. May I request uh, any date after 10th of April? If not just, it's convenient for us. This would further delay the pro proceedings. Let him at least file an appeal after 10th. After 10th? Yeah. Very well. Then 11th April. Please. Please, Lord. 11th April. We are approaching summer vacation, so this would again be delayed. Visual and happy day. Please. Yes. Okay. Yes. instructions to appear. Is there a written appeals under section one procedure? My laws may have serial number 13, that is criminal appeal 2021. Yes. Certain facts are vital for this court for the considerations. That I and my husband were known to the complainant and he was in need of an amount of rupees one lakh. And that's how we had given a financial assistance to him, against which two checks of 50,000 each were given to me. And that is how these two appeals have given rise further. Uh, Lordship, on both these checks, Dated 23-6-2017. My lords may have page 2. Para yes. 2 C. They were deposited and the same came to be returned on 27th of June with an endorsement of insufficient balance. Thereafter, I had sent a legal notice on 4th of July. And... The same came to be returned. On so, 6th. what is the date of two checks? Uh, not 23-6-2017. Right. And it was presented for realization on? Same day? Please. And it was returned without? 27th of June, the next day. 27th June. So, after four days. Please, please, sir. Notice was given on which date? 4th of July 2017. Right. And the same came to be returned on 6th of July, that is after two days. Not known. The endorsement not known means Please. it was Please. not found at the given address? Not known, yes. 
on 17th of july i had filed the complaint now Thereafter, why it is mentioned that jethia notice bajeli gana please my lords i will take my lords to the arguments which are taken by me before the lower court my lords may come to page 11 para 6 no if the person is not found at the given address can it be said that it was sent lordship the compliance of section of Lord negotiable Chief, instrument in fact, in fact uh, the endorsement says that it was served twice on the same day that is coming forming part of the judgment and it was never the case that the notice has not been served upon the uh, Uh, respond uh, the respondent here in also yes my i'll take my lords to para 11 uh, page 11 para 6 yes sadar kame fariyad pakshi vidwan vakil shri sunto dalilo sambhali teo tarfe rajuwa che ke fariyadi na pati ane aropi railway nokri railway ma nokri karta hoy parichay hoy aropi ne nana ni jarurat padta fariyadi e te mujab na nana apela che જે રકમ પરત આપવા માટે આરોપીએ ફરિયાદીને કુલ 3 ચેકો આપેલા જે પૈકી 2 ચેકોની હાલ ફરિયાદ છે આરોપીએ ફરિયાદીને જે ચેકો આપેલા તે તે જ દિવસે 23 6 ના બેંકમાં જમા કરાવતા તે જ દિવસે ચેક રિટર્ન થયેલા છે જે અંગે ફરિયાદે 4 7 70 ના રોજ આરોપીને નોટિસ આપતા તે નોટિસ આરોપીને મળી ગયેલ છતાં ચેકના નાણા આરોપીએ ફરિયાદીને ચૂકવેલા નથી જેથી ફરિયાદીએ હાજની હાલની ફરિયાદ સત્તર સાત સત્તર ના રોજ ફાઇલ કરેલી છે પરંતુ તે ફરિયાદ પર નામદાર કોર્ટે તે દિવસે કોગ્નાઇઝન લઈ હુકમ કરેલ નથી પરંતુ ફરિયાદ પ્રી મેચ્યોર હોય નામદાર કોર્ટે તેવી ફરિયાદ રાખી મૂકેલી અને તેના પર હુકમ છવ્વીસ સાત સત્તર ના રોજ કરેલો આમ ફરિયાદીએ આરોપીને નોટિસ મળી ગયા બાદ તેરમા દિવસે ફરિયાદ દાખલ કરેલી પરંતુ ફરિયાદ મેચ્યોર થાય બાદ નામદાર કોર્ટે કોગ્નાઇઝન લઈ પ્રોસેસ કાઢવાનો હુકમ કરેલ હોય ફરિયાદીની ફરિયાદ પ્રી મેચ્યોર હોવાનું માની શકાય નહીં નેક્સ્ટ પેજ પર વધુમાં શ્રી સોવેન્સો દલીલ છે કે આરોપીએ ફરિયાદ પક્ષે રજૂ કરેલ પુરાવાઓ રિબટ કરેલ નથી ચેકમાં પોતાની સહી નથી તેઓ પણ આરોપીએ કોઈ બચાવ નથી ત્યારે ફરિયાદીની તરફેણ કલમ વન થર્ટી નાઇન નું અનુમાન હોવાની ફલિત થઈ છે વધુમાં દલીલ છે કે ફરિયાદીની ઉલટ તપાસ વખતે આરોપી પક્ષે તેની પાસે દસ્તાવેજો માંગેલા છે જે તમામ દસ્તાવેજો ફરિયાદીએ પોતાની ઉલટ તપાસ વખતે જ રજૂ કરી દીધેલ છે પરંતુ આરોપી પક્ષે તેવા દસ્તાવેજો પર કોઈ સવાલો પૂછેલ નથી ત્યારે આરોપી પક્ષ ફરિયાદીના કેસ વિરુદ્ધ કોઈ હકીકતો રેકર્ડ પર લાવી શકેલ નથી ત્યારે ફરિયાદ પક્ષે હાલનો આરોપી સામે કેસ પુરવાર કરી શકેલ હોય ત્યારે આરોપીને તપસીરવાન ધરાવી યોગ્ય સજા કરવા તથા ફરિયાદીને વળતર આપવા હુકમ કરવા અરજ કરેલ છે you have relied upon few decisions of please, other please. high courts right Let my lords will find from page 17 para 18 yes there are four decisions that are relied by me that the present complaint is not a premature complaint and thereafter on page 19 the honorable court had relied on this decision para 19 and considering this part it was not even the case of the respondent here the present respondent has been acquitted by the consent court let us see para 19 page 19 please i may start from the first paragraph yes read it am faryadi tarfe raju namdar court na chukado dhyane leta tema tharavel che ke jo faryadi hai નેગોશિયેબલ ઇન્સ્ટ્રુમેન્ટ એક્ટની કલમ વન થર્ટી કે ટર્નપાઈ ફરિયાદ આરોપીને નોટિસ મળ્યાના પંદર દિનની અંદર દાખલ કરેલી હોય તો તેવી ફરિયાદ રદ કરવી ન જોઈએ પરંતુ ફરિયાદ લીધા બાદ કોર્ટે ફરિયાદ મેચ્યોર થયા સુધી રાખી મૂકી ત્યારબાદ કોગ્નાઇઝન્સ લેવું જોઈએ વિકલ્પે તેવી પ્રી મેચ્યોર ફરિયાદ ફરિયાદીને યોગ્ય સમય બાદ દાખલ કરવા પરત આપવી જોઈએ હાથ પરના કેસમાં ફરિયાદીએ ફરિયાદ આરોપીને નોટિસ મળ્યાના દિન પંદર પહેલા દાખલ કરેલી હોવાનું હકીકત સ્પષ્ટ જણાય છે તેવી ફરિયાદ પ્રી મેચ્યોર હોય 
મારા પૂર્વો ગામી શ્રી એ ફરિયાદી ને ફરિયાદ બિલ પંદર નો તેવો સમય પૂર્ણ થાય પછી દાખલ કરવા પરત આપેલ હોય તેવું બનેલું નથી ત્યારે રજૂ થયેલ નામદાર સોઇનસો જજમેન્ટ ધીસ વેરી જજમેન્ટ હેઝ બીન રિલાઇડ ધ કોર્ટ હેડ સુઓ મોટો કોટેડ ધીસ વેરી જજમેન્ટ રિલાઇડ વેરી ધીસ વેરી જજમેન્ટ એન્ડ ધ ગ્યુન્સ જજમેન્ટ હેઝ બીન પાસ સો રીડિંગ પેરા 19 વોઝ નોટ ઇવન ગિવન એન ઓપોર્ચ્યુનિટી ટુ ઇવન ડિફરેન્શિએટ ધીસ વેરી જજમેન્ટ યસ બટ ધેન લેટ અસ સી પેરા 19 પ્લીઝ પરંતુ ફરિયાદીની હાલની ફરિયાદ નેગોશિયેબલ ઇન્સ્ટ્રુમેન્ટ એક્ટની કલમ 138 સી માં જણાવેલ આરોપીને નોટિસ મળ્યા દિન 15 નો સમય પૂર્ણ થયા પહેલા દાખલ થયેલ હોય તેવા સંજોગોમાં નામદાર સુપ્રીમ કોર્ટ ફૂલ બેન્ચ નો ચુકાદો 1900 નો વંચાણે લીધા ઠરાવેલ છે કે આઈ આઈ રીડ ધ એન્ટાયર પાર્ટ ધેટ ઇઝ સ્ટેટેડ પેરા 36 કેન એન ઓફેન્સ અંડર સેક્શન 138 ઓફ ધ એનઈ એક્ટ બી સેટ ટુ હેવ બીન કમિટેડ વેન ધ પીરિયડ પ્રોવાઇડેડ ઇન ધ ક્લોઝ સી ઓફ ધ કોડ હેઝ નોટ એક્સપાયર્ડ section 2d of the code defines complaint according to this definition complaint means any allegation made orally or in writing to a magistrate with a view to taking his action against a person who has committed an offence commission of an offence is a sign to a non for filing a complaint and for taking cognizance of such a offence a bare reading of the provision containing clause c of the provision makes it clear that no complaint can be filed for an offence under section 138 unless the period of 15 days 15 days has been elapsed my lordship i may pause your comma for the moment so far as the facts of the present case are concerned the complaint came to be filed on 13th day i am not setting yes. aside but the learned magistrate had not had given a criminal inquiry number there was no cognizance taken of that very complaint on the same day when summons was issued i will i will also uh, read what is uh, observed by the person magistrate that was done by the uh, so first complete this reading so we can at least be sure on the legal position please any complaint before the expiry of 15 days from the date on which the notice has been served on the drawer accused is no complaint at all in the eyes of law it is not the question of prematurity of the complaint where it is filed before expiry of 15 days from the date on which notice has been served on him it is no complaint at all under law as a matter of fact under section 142 of nia inter alia creates a legal bar on the court from taking cognizance of an offence under section 138 except upon a written complaint since a complaint under uh, filed under section 138 of the nai act before the expiry of 15 days from the date on which the notice has been served on the drawer or accused is no complaint in the eyes of law obviously no cognizance of an offence can be taken on the basis of such complaint merely because at the time of taking cognizance by the court the period of 15 days has expired from the date on which notice has been served on the drawer or accused the court is not cloaked with the jurisdiction to take cognizance of an offence under the section 138 and a complaint filed before the expiry of 15 days from the date of receipt of notice by the drawer of the complaint a complaint filed before expiry of 15 days from the date on which the notice has been served on drawer or accused cannot be said to disclose the cause of action in terms of clause C of the provision of section 138 and upon such complaint which does not disclose the cause of action the court is not competent to take cognizance a conjoint reading of section 138 which defines as to when and under what circumstances an offence can be said to have been committed with section 142b of the ni act that reiterates the position of this point of time when the cause of action has arisen leaves no matter of doubt that no offence can be said to have been committed unless and until the period of 15 days as prescribed under clause c of the proviso to section 138 has in fact elapsed therefore a court is barred in law from taking cognizance of such it is not open to the court to take cognizance of such complaint merely because on the date of consideration or taking cognizance thereof a period of 15 days from the date on which the notice has been served on the drawer or accused has elapsed we have no doubt that all the five essential features of section 138 of the ni act as noted in the judgment of this honorable court in sutum ignores and allows limited and which we have approved must be satisfied for a complaint to file under section 138 if the period prescribed in clause c of the proviso to section 138 has not expired there is no commission of an offence or nor approval of cause of action for filing of the complaint under section 138 of the ni we therefore do not approve the view by this court in so and so and so also the judgment of various high courts following students that if the complaint under section 138 is filed before the expiry 
of 15 days from the date on which the notice has been served on the drawer or queue, the same is premature. And if on the date of taking cognizance, the period of 15 days from the date of notice of notice on the drawer or accused has expired, such complaint was legally maintainable and hence the same is Rather, the view taken by this court in so and so, wherein this court held that service of notice in terms of section 138, proviso B of the NI Act, was a part of the cause of action for lodging the complaint and communication to the accused about the fact of dishonoring of the check and calling upon to pay amount within 15 days was imperative in character. Command commends itself to it. As noticed by us earlier, no complaint can be maintained against the drawer of the check before the expiry of 15 days from the date of receipt of notice because the drawer accused cannot be said to have committed any offense until then. We approve the decision of this honorable court in Suvenso and also the judgments of the High Court, which have taken the view following this judgment and the complaint under Section 138 of the NI Act filed before the expiry of 15 days of service of notice could not be treated as a complaint in the eyes of law and criminal proceeding initiated on such complaint and liable to be punished. Now, this, this would be a precedent for this court? How I, court I, can... I agree to my words. Yes. But so far as the facts of the present case are concerned, that the respondent hearing had not even replied to the notice that I had sent, the legal notice. Right. The, the, but then how that would extend the period of limitation or rather curtail the period of limitation? I have the copy of the judgment that is prepared by me. Ultimately, the period of 15 days are required to be over, then only the cause of action would arise for lodging I, a complaint. I agree right? what is falling from my logs. Yes. But if, if the facts of the present case are seen, the, there was an inquiry number given, there was no cognizance taken yes. on the same day. The cognizance came to be taken on 26th of 7th. The complaint came to be filed on 17th of July and the cognizance was taken on 26th of July. Right. The, the former magistrate has, has very uh, had take, was well versed with this and that's why the cognizance was not taken on the same day. But merely the cognizance was taken subsequently, whether that would cover the, that would grant the jurisdiction to the concerned court. My Lord, sir. even registered a complaint. My Lord, sir, patient once. What are the five essential ingredients where reference is made to the judgment of my, my Kusum? Notes, I, I will take my notes for a moment to so page nine. Para two. Yes. Pariyat ye halni pariyat sattar satna roj dakhal kareli chhe. Ye pariyat anu sandhane mara purogami shriye pariyat inquiry registeri nondwama hukam kareli chhe. Jethi pariyat par criminal inquiry number so and so padelo chhe. Tiyar baad record jota marwa purogami shriye pariyat aak ek niche hukam kari aropi virud negotiable instrument act me kalam 138 na गुना सबब सीआरपीसी कलम 204 अनुवाय समन्स इश्यू करवाना भूकंप करें। तेमत परियाल परियाल क्रिमिनल केस रजिस्टर है नॉनवाना भूकंप करता परियादी नहीं परियाद पर क्रिमिनल केस नंबर पड़े हुए थे। तो दिस ऑल वाज डन बाय द कंसर्न मैजिस्ट्रेट आफ्टर लैपसिंग ऑफ 15 डेज। व्हाट इज़ द रेलेवेंट डेट ऑफ 20 uh, within a month. That, uh, that is 26th of July 2017. <coughs> that is forming part of my facts at page 3. Page 3 of petition? Uh, page 3. From the top sixth or seventh year. That considering the situation, the learned magistrate had taken cognizance of the same and issued process on 26 7, 17. Right. Therefore, what I only submit before this honorable court 
that the cognizance of the complaint yes. came to be taken on 26th of July 2017 and the complaint was filed on 17th of July. So that is after almost lapsing of eight to nine days, the cognizance of the complaint came to be taken and the uh, uh, process came to be issued against the accused. That my lords will also find at page 11. Bottom fifth line. Yes. Parantu Pariyat premature hoi namdar kote tevi Pariyat rakhi mukeli ane tena par hukam tarik chavvi sat satar na roj parinj. Am Pariyat hi aropi ne notice mali gaya badna terma dikte Pariyat dakhal parili chhe. Parantu Pariyat mature thaya bad namdar kote cognizance lai process card one who come karelo hoi faria dini faria mature or one manish yes any judgment you propose to rely upon not if the judgments which are relied by me are forming part of the judgment also right at uh, page 17 para 18 the one which you have raised in ground edge right please please okay. hmm. this would be Governed by the decision of Honorable Apex Court. My lords may appreciate the fact this wise that there was a criminal inquiry that was given on the same day. Right. Whereas but then the, the jurisdiction would be considered from the date when you registered a complaint, right? When the complaint was presented before the consent court. So on that date, there was no cause of action for you to file a complaint. Considering this very judgment also, yes. it says, it talks about taking cognizance of the complaint, which is very well taken on 26th, not on 17th. If the, we look at page 21, yes. where section 142B has been taken into consideration, the court finds that the position of point of time when the cause of action has arisen leaves no manner of doubt that no offense can be said to have been committed unless and until the period of 15 days as prescribed under clause C of the proviso to section 138 has in fact elapsed. Therefore, a court is barred in law from taking cognizance of such complaint. Now, such complaint would relate to the date on which complaint was presented. On that particular date, the cause of action had not arose in absence of lapse of 15 days time period. The whole genesis of jurisdiction would be the date on which you registered the company, you presented the complaint. And even otherwise, your logic, so far as these very facts are concerned, they, these are not even the case by the present accused before the learned court below. Yes. None of the contentions are taken pursuant to this very. Uh, yes, but then this goes to the root of the maintainability of the complaint. So, jurisdiction aspect, even otherwise, court is expected to. Look into it before taking cognizance. And and even your logic, if this was the case, inquiry number also could not have been take, uh, given by the concerned magistrate. Right. Sorry, this would uh, not be I entered. Would, I would suggest, yes, honorable court, this wise that uh, considering the amount of the matter, let there be a notice for settlement. We may explore the possibility of settlement with the concerned accused. Subject to if it appeals to the court. It is both the checks involved are amounting to rupees fifty thousand each. What is the applicant doing? is running a school as my lord will find at page 2 para 2 mm. we can explore a possibility of settlement with the lord where is respondent at present he is doing some job in the railway from the facts also that my husband and the uh, accused they were they both are working in the railways department they were they are known to each other 
then how you settle the matter rachit we may make one attempt through this on the day but what about the address rachit so far as the respondent is concerned he has very well appeared before the concerned post the very same address which you had in fact the legal notice which you sent was written back with endorsement not known please he has appeared on page 9 para 3 these are the arguments that are canvassed by the uh, lawyer representing the accused tyar baad aropi temna vidwan vakil shri sathe adalat rubaru upasthit tatha aropi ne fariyad tatha te sathe rajju thayel dastavejo ni nakalo vina mulya apva badal ni kharch karya baad aak aath thi aropi nu statement on yane nivedan mara purogami shri e record karta very well court would record that to you fairly concede that the it would be governed by the decision of the honorable apex court but with a view to explore the possibility of settlement Please, a request that, is that, made that. right if he appears before the court you may explore the settlement but because then because he has appeared before the concerned court as it is recorded forming part of the judgment yes miss hiral you mehta learned advocate has appeared on behalf of miss jignesh patak learned advocate on record for the applicant After arguing for some time, Miss Meta has fairly considered that the issue involved in the appeal is covered by the decision of Honorable Apex Court, as relied upon by the learned magistrate in the case of. Yogendra Pratap Singh versus Savitri Pandey reported in AIR 2050 SC 157 however comma she prays for notice only with a view to explore the possibility of settlement considering the amount involved meager amount involved considering her submission only with a view to explore the possibility of settlement notice is is let notice be issued upon respond number 2 to be so through the concern police station direct service to be served through register post ad is permitted returnable after 2 weeks you may also serve them by rp ad i'll i'll take that yes i i may just point out one aspect so far as this very judgment is concerned yes it, it, From the second head note, bottom three lines, the remedy only to file a fresh complaint. So it may not be something that thereafter I will not be in a position to file a complaint. But then you are accepting so far as this complaint is concerned, right? The... It would be always for you to please. take appropriate. Please, please, please. I'm grateful. Standard copy. Yes, both. Thirteen and fourteen. Immediately. Sir, state. Name of learned edition of the prosecutor gave service of notice for respondent state. Yes. With consent of other parties, may I request for some two weeks time? Why you need time, Mister? 
the last purpose in management team is given the assurance that they will provide the place for the entire set. Will do that. Wait, let Mr. Shed be called for. Let him come then. On oh, yesterday, yes, provided only. This is not the way it. matters are to be circulated on board. Yesterday, my minister provided only memo of the appeal. My therefore, I'm I was of the hope to... that 138, all the learned advocates are ready with the matters. Only leave to appeal has to be satisfied. Yeah, this would be like a On next week or next. Next week. Yeah. Request is made by learned advocate, Mr. Tatwadeep Jani, appearing for response number two for an adjournment on the ground that only memo of appeal has been provided and he is awaiting the rest of the papers. Considering his request, let this matter be posted for hearing next week. Yes. Yes. Not present, Quebec. Yes. Actually, on behalf of Mr. Prime Minister, he has undergone cataract operation. So it may be kept after after week. Yes, file sick note. No, ma'am. Actually, he is not able to see that is why he has not been able to file sick note. So I'll be appearing in this matter. So I have to receive some instructions in this in this matter. In one of his matter, we have said that alternative arrangement may be made on fourth January. This was urgent. On tenth January, this was urgent. We had recorded his absence that he has not remained present. For my presence, I am appearing on his behalf. And I would be appearing. Then for two, three months, we have accommodated. I will keep it next week. I will return. You are Mr. Parvish Patan. Learned Advocate has appeared on behalf of Mr. Fayyamuddin Sayyid, Learned Advocate on record for the applicant and prays for adjournment on the ground that. Mr. Sayed has undergone cataract operation. He is unable to conduct the matter. He assures this court to appear on his behalf and assist this court. Considering his request as a last chance, matter is urgent to next week. It is made clear that no sick note or leave note shall be entertained on the next date of hearing and the court shall proceed with the hearing of the matter next week. My apology, my Lord, I was not present last time. No, Mr. Chief. Lord, majorly uh, the acquittal is on the ground that the complainant has failed to show his source of income, nor he has mentioned anything in the income tax returns. Please see page 15. Lord, there is, without wasting your Lordship's time. Yes. But there are other grounds as well. Right. But this is the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court categorically on the issue. But then why burden was shifted on you? Some defense burden is was raised. shifted on me without there being any rebuttal because the learned judges recorded something, you know, which is not there in the deposition. I mean, the answer to the question that the checks were given as security 10 different checks were this you know, briefly i may say yes. the complainant was he had uh, entered into an agreement with one another company whereby in somewhere in 2012 he has obtained a loan accused from that bank right now there is an agreement bank entered in with me and i was authorized to collect those dues from the concerned persons who obtain loan so his his defense is that I had given 10 checks to the complainant in turn who has misused those checks instead of giving it to the concerned bank for repayment of my outstanding dues. He has misused and the checks are being used. Now in the deposition, I have annexed the deposition of the bank officer. He denies those aspects. That, However, the learner judge comes to a conclusion that it is not a denial. Once question is put, yes. it is sufficient. That is something I would say respectfully illegal. Who is the because respondent? Respondent is the original accused, number two. Now, this How he is associated with bank. No, no, he had obtained a loan. He had obtained a loan and you were and supposed I, to collect. I had entered, bank had entered into an agreement with me. Right. I was given the task of Lord, uh, meeting those persons who take takes loan and they do not pay in time. 
Right. So I have to go to them and inform them for repayment of the outstanding dues. That is the case developed by him. Signature not disputed. Now there is a judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court if Lotches may have for a moment. Yes. I may take to the reasonings, but if Lotches may have uh, para 5.1 of this. These are the factors which are involved in the present matter as well. Page 111 of that judgment. Yes. Para 5. Yes. After examining the record, the trial court found that the accused had admitted his signatures on the check and with reference to the decision of this court in so and so, drew the presumption and we said by section 139 of the NIF. But these are the factors which are involved now. However, after having drawn the presumption, the trial court found several factors in favor of the accused and observed entirely that there was no documentary evidence to show the source of income for advancing the loan to the accused. The complainant failed to record the transaction in the form of receipts, promissory notes, or even kacha notes. Vague and uncertain statement was made by the complainant as compared to the statement of his witness, Sri Jagdish Bhai. The complainant had no knowledge about the dates and other particulars of such checks. The witness of the complainant was in the know of the facts more than the complainant. The complainant allegedly extended the loan to the tune of rupees 22.50 lakhs, but the seven checks in these cases were of rupees 3 lakhs each, and there was no explanation from the complainant as regards the remaining rupees 1 lakh 50,000. The suggestion about washing away of the earlier checks in range was also doubtful where the complainant's office was on the eighth floor of Windor Plaza. Now, Lord Chief may directly have para 18, the answer by the Honorable Supreme Court to this. Yes. We kindly have page 120. So this is basically on uh, not showing the source of income. On that aspect, I am trying to convince your lordships. Para 18, if lordships may permit, I may. Please read. In the case at hand, even after purportedly drawing the presumption under section 139 of the NIA, the trial court proceeded to question the want of evidence on the part of the complainant as regards the source of funds for advancing loan to the accused and want of examination of relevant witnesses who allegedly extended him money for advancing it to the accused. This approach of the trial court had been at variance with the principles of presumption in law. After such presumption, the onus shifted to the accused and unless the accused had discharged the onus by bringing on record such facts and circumstances as to show the preponderance of probabilities tilting in his favor, any doubt on the complainant's case could not have been raised for want of evidence regarding the source of funds for advancing loan to the appellant accused. The aspect relevant for consideration had been as to whether the appellant accused had brought on record such facts, material circumstances, which could be of a reasonably probable defense. And then Lord Chis may skip further paras. Please have para 20 then. Yes. What is thereafter reasonings and what is held by the Honorable Supreme Court. Well, Lord Chis may kindly have page 123, para 20. Yes. May I read? Here in above, we have examined in detail the findings of the trial court and those of the high court and have no hesitation in concluding that the present one was clearly a case where the decision of the trial court suffered from perversity and fundamental error of, error of approach and the high court was justified in reversing the judgment of the trial court. The observations of the trial court that there was no documentary evidence to show the source of funds with the respondent to advance the loan or that the respondent did not record the transaction in the form of receipt of even kacha notes, or that there were inconsistencies in the statement of the complainant and his witness, or that the witness of the complaint was more in the know of facts, etc., would have been relevant if the matter was to be examined with reference to the onus on the complaint to prove his case beyond reasonable doubt. These considerations and observations do not stand in conformity with the presumption as existing in favor of the complainant by virtue of sections 118 and 139 of the NIA. Needless to reiterate that the result of such presumption is that existence of a legally enforceable debt is to be presumed in favor of the complainant. When such a presumption is drawn, the factors relating to the want of documentary evidence in the form of receipts or accounts or want of evidence as regards source of funds were not of relevant consideration while examining if the accused has been able to rebut the presumption or not. The other observations as regards any variance in the statement of complainant and witness or want of knowledge about dates and other particulars of the checks 
or washing away of the earlier checks in the range through the office of the complainant, though the office of the complainant being on the eighth floor had also been irrelevant factors for consideration of a probable defense of the appellant. Lord, there is, that is how then conviction was recorded. Right. Now, there is one more aspect. The Honorable Supreme Court recently now has said on this that an accused is required to reply to the demand notice. And in the demand notice, if he contends that the source of income of the complainant is doubtful, only then he can take that stand. That is now in 2022, if Lordships may have this judgment as well. Yes. I have annexed the reply to the notice. Paper book is supplied, my Lord. If Lordships may have that. No, this is if Lordships may have. Lord, index note 2, if Lordships may have on yes. the first page itself. Yes. On a negotiable instrument section 138 and 139, dishonor of check for repayment of loan, financial capacity of complainant to advance loan to accuse when needs to be established. Complainant need to show his first, in first, his financial capacity unless accused sets up a case questioning complainant's capacity in reply to statutory notice. Accused can set up such a case by producing independent materials or by pointing out to materials produced by complainant himself or cross-examining witness of complainant. Court has to decide by appreciating the totality of evidence. Now, if Lord may have the relevant paragraph, the discussion. Well, uh, would your Lord Chief just have the paper book for a moment to yes. show the reply of the demand notice? Your Lord Chief would find Oh, is it on record because I have supplied? No, it is not there. May I just give one more copy? I have. If you have, please share it. I'm sorry. If you have extra yes, copy, you I can have. share. I it. do have. Page six, if Lord Chief may see. Yes. Para four on page six. This is what the defense is. I, I'm sorry. On page seven, para six. This is the defense which is. In first of point of time, yes, raised. Satya ki ka teh che ke hamara asila sane bejar baat teh ni salma ICI ICI bank dwara ek scheme nikde li. Jama pashu palan no dhando karwana pashu kari da maate loan aapta ta. Teh mujha hamara asila ICI ICI bank loan meda wa arji kare li. Ane a bank dwara hamara asila ne rupiya 50,000 ni loan aapya li. Ane loan aapya baad hamara asila ne gaayo kari de li. Ane sadar loan aapta di chukawa ni hoi teh samay tamo. ICICI bank na recovery agent tari ke kam karta hata and a tamo afto leva avar navar amara asil na gare afta leva avta hata and a bejar terma amara asil jode eo jana velu ye bank na niyamo mujab ave tamare jay ICICI bank na loan made veli hoi eo na sadar loan ni guarantee pete 10 kura check matra sahi vada bank ma jama karavano niyam avel che jeti tamo pana bank na niyam mujab 10 check bank ma jama karavano mane apo if the Amara Asil and Tamaro per Vishwas and a Borosoraki Tamna does for a check, Amara Asili Matra and Matra Saivara and ICIC Bank Ma guarantee Pete Mukwa Kataraja Pela. Amaja does check Amara Asilaja ICIC Bank Ma Lidili loan and a tail only guarantee Pete Tamo recovering agent ho. Itla Ashadi Tamona Amara Asila Temni Matra Saikar check Apela and a check Tamo ICIC Bank Ma Jamakara will not see. Nehala check on a photo, Pyokari negotiable instrument technical and exodus. Photo a third banavi Amara Asil Jodeti, Moti Rakam Padana Ashadi Tamoja Haluka through Gadelch and a forty notice appeal, the Tamona so and so so and so. Nowhere in the entire reply yes. to the demand notice, yes, taken a stand that there is a defect in your in showing your source of income. I am only on that for the present. Now, so far as you know, the aspect of showing the source of income, you know, once the law is that once accused rebuts the presumption. Yes. Then the owners would shift on the complainant to show everything. Here, the trial trial court has recorded you know, perverse finding on the deposition as well. If Lotsis may have para 15 of the judgment where the reasoning starts. Right. Because in my deposition, in bank officer's deposition, this, this aspect is denied of giving of blank checks, signed blank checks for the purpose of depositing it into the ICICI bank. The court comes to a conclusion that one question is put. It is enough. The court does not need to show what answer is being given by the deponent. The misuse of check and the source of income. Yes. It would be two independent uh, submissions or it would be for it is part of the same. Part of the same. I am yes. now taking your lordships on the aspect since lordships put a query that once he rebuts, then what? Yes. The owners would shift on to me. Yes. Therefore, I am showing that he has not rebutted. 
for the reason that the trial court has there is a perverse finding in my sport submission so far as considering the deposition aspect for the reason that there both have denied complainant as well as bank officer the trial court says once question is put it is enough but the answer to it is relevant questions may be 100 questions may be put but what is the answer is it an admission on the part of a person who is giving his deposition or is it a denial now there is a denial but court says no no question is enough and then records ke a upran there is no uh, evidence uh, there is a uh, by uh, put on record by the complainant to show his source of income one second that in the income tax returns also he has not mentioned anything now my lord there in 2019 judgment only uh, qua income tax returns as well the honorable supreme court says that we will call up on other side here thereafter heard mr webov and shet learned advocate on record for the applicant original complainant rules returnable forthwith learned additional public prosecutor will service of notice of rule on behalf of respondent number 1 state this is an application seeking leave to appeal file by the original complainant under section 3784 of crpc challenging the judgment and order dated 16 september 2022 passed by the court of learned third additional judicial magistrate first class modasa arvali in criminal case number 47 of 2016 by the said judgment and order the trial court has the learned magistrate has recorded acquittal of respond number 2 for the offense punishable under section 138 of negotiable instrument act next mr vaibhav and shet learned advocate on record has submitted that one of the ground for not entertaining the complaint is that the trial court has disbelieved the case of the complainant considering the defense raised by the accused the appellant has failed to prove his source of income in advancing the amount and in absence of any proof in writing in the form of promissory note or otherwise comma the complainant the trial the learned magistrate has erroneously arrived at conclusion that no legally recoverable debt was existing on the date of presentation of the disputed check Mr Webber and Shet has Mr Shet has placed on record the paper book and has invited attention of this court to the averments of the accused in the reply given to the statutory notice he has further relied upon the decision of the honorable apex court and has submitted that in absence of and has submitted it merely in cross examination the complainant has denied the fact about source of income the learned magistrate out not to have
proceeded to record the order of acquittal. He therefore urged this court to grant leave to appeal. Considering the submissions made by learned advocate appearing for the original complainant, prima facie, this court finds that the matter requires consideration. In absence of any denial of the signature, sorry, dispute with regard to the signature on the disputed check, the presumption, statutory presumption available under section 118 and section 139 of the Act was required to be ex extended in favor of the complainant as regards more particularly as regards existence of legally enforceable debt. <clears throat> the basic ingredients of section 138 are apparent on the face of the record. is reflected from the documents placed on record. Hence, present leave to appeal is granted. <clears throat> In the appeal, admit RNP be called for available warrant be issued against response number two. Grateful to the honorable Mr. Mr. Mainly on two counts, Lord Six, he was acquitted. First is Lord Six, he has challenged the issuance of a notebook, Lord Six, and the second is the issuance of a check, Lord Six. Actually, what has happened, Lord Six? When the notice was issued, Lord Six, it was issued in the name of a culpace, that is the respondent. Yes. And when the postal receipt was received, instead of culpace, the name was shown as the alpes. This is how Lord Six is uh, challenging the service of notice, Lord Six. Right. Thereafter, Lord Sips, notice was issued, case was filed with the same name, same address, pursuant to which summons has been issued. He has remained uh, present before the court, Lord Sips, and the trial has been proceeded, Lord Sips. Yes. In my re respectful submission, Lord Sips, service of notice cannot be disputed merely because there is a typographical error, Lord Sips. And that too also in the po postal receipt, Lord Sips. What no. about the, you have placed on record any paper? Lord Sips, uh, at present, only the judgment is there, I will supply the paper, book, entire paper. Book. Because yes. that would be required to be looked into. Definitely. I will submit. Please place on record that thing. After hearing for some time, learned advocate for the applicant is requested to place on record the relevant documents in the form of paper book so as to examine the same on the next date of hearing. Let this matter be posted after two weeks. Yes. So you are this appeal. is a, uh, appeal under uh, section 138 of negotiable instrument. Yes. The basic issue or the basic reason given by the honorable trial court for acquitting the accused was primarily the authority of the uh, person acting on behalf of complainant complaint. Who is complainant? Uh, complainant is TYMK uh, Creative Services Private Limited. It is a company. Yes, it is a private limited company. Right. It is represented by its manager or authorized signatory Mr. Mehul by Jagdish Bhai Thakkar. So why court has not believed that he is not authorized to proceed with the complaint? My Lord, I would, uh, in answer to this query, directly request Honorable Court to have a look at paper book, which was submitted along with. Yes. 
एट एन एक्स टर जी पेज नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टी I wrote at page number twelve. There is a certificate of incorporation which is placed at on record, and at page number thirteen, there is an authority letter. You have two paper books. Yes, uh, because one complaint was inadvertently left out, so I have. So you are referring to first paper book, right? Yes, I am referring to. I page apologize. twelve. Page twelve. Yes. Well, is certificate of incorporation. confirming the registration of the uh, complainant company and 13 is authority letter yes so well, this what is the date of the certificate uh, it is dating to uh, 19th august august 2014 so that is the date of incorporation right Second is authority letter. Yes, and the names may kindly be uh, referred into. I, Mr. Siddharth Joshi, Director of TYM Creative Private Limited, so and so, uh, uh, do hereby appoint Mr. Mehul Thakkar as manager, authorized signatory of the company for following acts. Mr. Mehul Thakkar is fully authorized to take necessary action on behalf of company, like to recover amount from parties, and for that purpose, he is also authorized to sign over notice to lodge. it is misprinted as ledge to lodge complaint in court of law and for that purpose he is authorized to appoint advocate to sign on their vakalat nama to present before honorable trial civil district court to sign on reply any defense to execute affidavit also present before the court in civil and criminal proceeding and present before police officer any other local authority on behalf of company now what is the date of this authority letter my lord the date is not uh, written on this authority letter But to that, my lord, I would directly request honourable court to refer to the provisions of uh, section two fifty four of Companies Act. Companies Act, okay. Section two, subsection fifty four. I'm sorry, two fifty three, section two, subsection fifty three, in definition. Subsection two of S section two, subsection fifty three. Yes. I like the word manager as is used in Companies Act is defined over here. It means any individual who subject to super superintendence, control, and direction of board of director has the management of the whole or substantially the whole of the affairs of the company. and includes the director or uh, any other person occupying the position of manager by whatever name called whether under contract or service or not so my lord my most humble submission is that manager who is mr mehul jagdish bhai thakkar it is brought on record the cognizance was uh, taken by honorable trial court so the issue of authority for filing of the company complaint was already set to rest when the complaint was uh, filed and thereafter i may request honorable court to uh, have a look at provision of section 203 of companies act yes my lord it is dealing with the terminology key managerial persona which includes the term manager as well every company belonging to following class shall have the following whole time key managerial persona Managing director or chief executive officer or manager, and in their absence, a whole time director. So, my lord, the word uh, as defined in section two, subsection fifty three, read with two zero three, and uh, laying my lord's attention to provisions of section twenty one of the Companies Act. Yes. Authentication of documents, proceedings. and contracts save as otherwise provided in this act a document or proceedings my lord the word may kindly be undernoted proceedings requiring authentication by a company or contracts with which i am not concerned may be signed by any key managerial person or an officer of the company duly authorized by board in this behalf my lord in my most humble submission there is as such no provision requiring 
a express authority even if we not look into the document of letter of authority there is already there because authority as per the provisions of contract can be express or implied here i have placed on record express authority because my lord they have pointed out the issue of date but i am also key managerial personal exercising the powers and i have been given powers to carry out all the actions of behalf of the company in the interest of the company and entire or substantial affairs can be carried out by the manager right in your complaint you must have referred to this authority letter my lord in the complaint i have in the opening words itself i have written i am manager the take me to the disputed check you must have placed on record yes. along with paper book uh, it is an annex share b of paper book 1 page number 2 and 3 This is signed by one Mr. Sheikh. Yes. My Lord, just turning some pages at page number five at annex D. Yes. The notice which was issued to this person for dishonor of check, the demand notice. Was also issued by very same person that is Mr. Mehul J. Thakkar. The signatures may be visible. T Y M K Creative Services Private Limited, M J Thakkar, authorized signatory. At all places, I have expressly mentioned yes. that I am manager and authorized signatory. And the word manager because I am lawfully conferred with the authority. I may not be required to always place on record because it is a private limited company. It may not have availability of all the persons or directors to convene a meeting or. uh execute a resolution okay. but by virtue of the provision of statute that is companies that i am even otherwise uh, empowered and my lord this issue was raised at very fagan the judgment at annexer a on page number Well, only two issues have been framed at page number seven, paragraph number eight of the judgment at annex A. Yes. From the aforesaid evidence and arguments, the following issues arise for determination: whether the complainant proves that accused person issued check number two and so of two and so bank branch against the payment made under the outstanding amount of loan taken from the complainant, which was dishonoured with the bank's remark stop payment. my lord the framing of this issue depicts that the trial court has completely acted in a mechanical manner because there was no issue of loan there was a issue of misappropriation of amount no loan was ever taken or there was no names like reference or uh, thing in my complaint for loan transaction but your counter word was very much available before the court right had he objected to framing of such issue my lord as such going through entire record these issues were framed at the time of pronouncing of the judgment so it came to be directly reflected in judgment why i am mentioning this issue the issue number 2 also says about the service of the notice in entire judgment even before the adjudication there was no issue or doubt regarding the authority because the cognizance was already taken by honorable trial court at the time of filing of the complaint my lord if institution of complaint on the ground of authority was under suspicion doubt or challenge then the honorable trial court could not have exercised the power of even taking the cognizance have you placed on record rojka no my lord no can we gather these facts from the impinj order um uh, my lord the rojka 
I had requested, but it uh, I have not been really able to. So you are making serious issues with regard to the court framing charge of issue at the later stage. Otherwise, the no no my Lord, what I am towards... no no what I am trying to propound is yes. that may not be taken as otherwise. What I am trying to say is even the trial court in judgment because framing of issues is not a procedure prescribed in CRPC. So. Honorable trial court in its judgment also has not framed any such issue pertaining to my authority. This is my most humble submission. I'm anyway not attacking the dignity or the propriety of the process which might be carried out uh, during the course of trial. What I'm just trying to submit that the authority was not <laughs> under any doubt. However, in uh, para Take number me to the reasons ha, where yes. the court has found that your authority was not valid for lodging of this complaint. On page number 14, paragraph number 18. Yes. Further, the present complaint has been filed by the complainant on behalf of the company which consists four directors in which the accused is one of them. The complainant has not produced any authority to file the criminal complaint against the one of the director from the other directors of the company. There is no resolution produced by the complainant which gives authority to file the com uh, file authority to the complainant to file this complaint on behalf of the company. The complainant has not filed this complaint in personal capacity. The complaint does not consist seal of the company. It is just signed by the complainant. The complainant has not averred in his complaint and his examination in chief that he had a personal knowledge about the transaction done between the complainant company and the accused. While a defense or answer to this lies in the provision which I had earlier referred at very starting or beginning of this argument that under 254 a manager read with section 203 he is a KMP and 21 of the companies that very clearly says that authentication of any proceedings can be done by key managerial personnel and that is the purpose why not even the provisions of negotiable instrument act section yes. 142 yes Where you have ever in your complaint that you were holding charge as manager when this complaint was presented? Uh, the paper book two. My lord, at very cost title. Yes. At page number one, Faryadi Messrs T Y M K Creative Services Private Limited na tarfe ne vati manager authorized signatory Mehul Thakkar. Yes, my lord, my verification was also of this nature. At page uh, at paragraph my, three of the complaint, at page two, marketing manager tarike umedwari no daota. That is that kam. is pertaining to the accused uh, role and capacity. So any evidence you have made in the complaint that you were holding charge as manager and you have been authorized by the company? My Lord, at page number five, my affidavit is there in support of the company. So Lord, I have signed this affidavit acting for and on behalf of the complainant company as manager or authorized signatory. My verification is also of such a nature as also if but directly in verification, to... you have reiterated what has been stated in the complaint where you have not mentioned that you are holding charge as manager or you have been authorized by on, the company. On uh, second line, my Lord, at page number six. Yes. Merely you have stated as the holder or charge of manager, that would be suffice. My Lord, in answer or in answer or response to that query, my Lord, at the end, this remains a contract of agency. Yes. And as per the provisions of contract act. Agency can either be expressed or implied. My Lord, I have always acted on behalf of the company in interest of the company. And my Lord, the resolution which is filed uh, along with the present leave to appeal. At annexure B, page number 17. 
Now this authority letter which you have placed on record in the paper book at page 13. Yes, sir. It is forming part of the record. Yes, absolutely. I have got the certified copy. Right. And it is exhibited? At exhibit 20, cumulative exhibit is given to certificate of incorporation and authority letter. In cross examination, any question was put to you with regard to authority later? Yes, yes, your lordship. Yes. And I have at times mentioned mm -hmm. that directors have authorized to file me this complaint. However, my lords, I should candidly agree or fairly state before this honorable court that there were also admission or there were also statements or answers in cross examination that I have not placed authority letter. But for that, why not the provisions of evidence act then comes into uh, rescue that if I am stating something contrary to a written document yes. or document prevalent on record, then all such oral evidences or statements are required to be excluded because what provisions of section 65 of evidence X is, yes. uh, I'm sorry, uh, section, section 61, uh, if I may be permitted of documentary evidence section 61 proof of contents of documents so my lord the contents of documents may be proved either by primary or secondary evidence my lord i have placed on record the primary evidence now if we read the provisions of section Ninety one and ninety two. Yes. Chapter only starts with chapter six of the exclusion of oral or documentary evidence. So, my lord, if there is a documentary evidence on record, say for example, just giving a strange example, if yes. there is a complaint file in which it is written in the court of honourable chief judicial magistrate Vadodara, and the witness answers in uh, the cross examination that no, it is not written Vadodara, it is written Ahmedabad. So then it would serve no purpose because at the end the document is required to be respected as required under provisions of section 91 and 61 of the evidence set. So then if you look at the paper book at page one, because you are mentioning that this was a cumulative exhibit number given, look at my, serial number seven. My Lord, that is, that is the mistake, which I admit it was not yes. mentioned, but my Lord on such technical, because at the end, and let RNP be called for, court will examine RNP and then we'll consider my Lord, your if submission. Court wants, I have got certified copy at this juncture for production. Provide the certified copies. And my lord, if I may be permitted to refer a few citations, Honorable Supreme Court has also in such case held that what is required under uh, provisions of 142 of negotiable instrument is that pay should be the person who has filed the complaint. And the word person is not defined under CRPC, but in See, it would has it has to be given wide meaning. It would include even the manager also. Right. That no, is... it would include the complainant company. What my say is that the check was given in name and favor of the complainant company. Today, the entire course of proceedings are filed by complainant company. And my lords, the annexure at B, the board resolution. Yes. Uh, produced at uh, page number. Page number 17 may kindly be looked into. You are referring to main? Uh, yes, uh, uh, leave to appeal uh, NXRB. Eight page? I'm sorry, it, it, it might be in NXRB. The, the paging has been scrolled down. It has. No, uh, it might be with main main appeal at page number annexure B at page number 17. Yes. My Lord, directly referring to uh, first paragraph, this is a board resolution passed by this very company. The chairman of the meeting, Sri Yogeshwar Thakkar, apprised the board of the directors about the judgment as was passed by Honorable Judicial Magistrate First Class, Third Court in Criminal Complaint, bearing number so and so. 
लॉन्च बाय द कंपनी थ्रू श्री मेहुल जे ठक्कर मैनेजर इज ऑथोराइज बाय श्री सिद्धार्थ जे डायरेक्टर सिद्धार्थ जे जोशी डायरेक्टर हैविंग ऑथोरिटी कंफर्ड बाय बोर्ड टू इनिशिएट ऑल लीगल प्रोसेस रियलाइज फ्रॉम हिज मिस्टेक राइट नाउ एट द फर्स्ट स्टेज कमिंग अप विद रिजोल्यूशन फॉर दैट आल्सो द प्रोविजंस ऑफ 196 इन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट आई हैव बीन सो सेफ सेफली गार्डेड नो माय लॉर्ड यू आर ट्राइंग टू गिव द नो नो माय लॉर्ड फॉर दैट provisions of contract act may kindly be looked upon we'll issue rule we'll make it returnable but then we'll call for record in very well very well not without hearing other side very well. other side may appear heard mr you are uh, preet yusha preet yusha learned advocate on record for the applicant original complainant this is an application seeking leave to appeal challenging the judgment and order of acquittal dated 9th of november 2022 passed by the learned judicial magistrate first class third court vadodara in criminal case number what is the criminal case number 3388 of 1988 by the said judgment and order the respond number 2 original accused is acquitted for the offence under section 138 of negotiable instrument act <laughs> let rule be issued making it returnable after 2 weeks learned additional public prosecutor waive service of notice of rule on behalf of respond number 1 respond number 2 is permitted to be served to concern police station direct service additionally you will take direct service by rpd if that rpd is permitted in the meanwhile registry is directed to call for record and proceedings from the concerned court ashwati deeply on that कंडोन डील रूल इज सर रूल कंडो डील इज कंडो सर अदर साइड इज सर रूल नहीं सर considering the meter number of days of delay condone please we may direct registry to notify the leave to appeal no. next week it's a matter of the expedition on 3rd of april let leave to appeal be notified please. on 3rd of april please because here the short issue dispute is for different yes therefore the with the time we'll see on that please please 24 as we know very leave to criminal leave to appeal along with appeal on 3rd of april not present feedback 25 the witness kumar pandey please my complaint is for rejected yes and the accused is acquitted on the mainly on the two grounds my lord page 33 may be seen yes yes please last paragraph me lord हालना केस में उपरोक्त चर्चा कर मुजब हाल केस में सोर्स ऑफ इनकम साबित कर निष्फल गये है लीगल एन्फोर्सेबल डेप साबित कर निष्फल गये है वतु में उपर करेल चर्चा मुजब फरियादी ने अपेल चेक के सिक्योरिटी पेट्रोल चेक गणाय संजोगों में उपर करेल चर्चा मुजब दी नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक कलम एक सौ ओगचालीस एक सौ अठार अनुमा रिब्यूट थे जयरे सिक्योरिटी पेटर्न तकारी चेक हो तो लीगल एन्फोर्सेबल डेप कही शक नहीं संजोगों में दी नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक कलम एक सौ अड़तरीस व्याप में 
આ ફરિયાદ આવી શકે નહીં વધુમાં આ કામના ફરિયાદીની ઉલટ તપાસમાંથી નિગોશિયલ ઇન્સ્ટ્રુમેન્ટ એક્ટ કલમ વન થ્રી નાઇન વન 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 એટના અનુમાનો રિબ્યુટ થયેલ છે આરોપીએ વિટનેસ બોક્સમાં આવવાની જરૂર રહેતી નથી હોય તથા જ્યારે અનુમાનો રિબ્યુટ થયેલા હોય ત્યારે આ પુરાવાનો બીજા આરોપીના શિરેથી ફરિયાદીના શિરે તબદીલ થાય છે અને ત્યારબાદ ફરિયાદીએ તેનો કેસ નિશંકપણે સાબિત કરવાનો હોય છે હાલના કેસમાં આરોપી યાદી નેગોશિયેબલ ઇન્સ્ટ્રુમેન્ટ એક્ટની કલમ એકસો ઓગણચાલીસ તથા એકસો અઢારનું અનુમાન રિબ્યુટ કરેલ છે જેથી આ કેસ નિશંકપણે સાબિત કરવાની જવાબદારી ફરિયાદીના શિરે આવેલ છે પણ ફરિયાદ પક્ષે સાબિત કરવામાં સંપૂર્ણપણે નિષ્ફળ ગયેલ છે દેટ ઇઝ વોટ ધ ઓબ્ઝર્વેશન ઓફ ધી અને ટ્રાયલ કોર્ટ મેલો Yes. So mainly I'm relying upon the two judgments of the Honorable Supreme Court, my lord. Yes. The first is Kamlaksi tax, my lord. Now how defense was raised in your case? Um, It was at the stage of cross-examination. At the stage of cross-examination, my lord, I'm... Uh, supplying the copy of the paper book please provide at page 7 page 7 my lord yes આ કામના આરોપીએ મને એક મહિનાનો વધારે આપેલ અને તારીખ સો એન્ડ સો ના રોજ મેં ચેક આપેલ ચેક વીસ બાર ઓગણીસ નો હતો તેવું બને મેં અવારનવાર ઉઘરાણી કરેલ જેથી આ કામના આરોપીએ મને ચેક આપેલ જે ચેક જે દિવસે મને ચેક આપેલ તે ચેકમાં વીસ તારીખ નાખવામાં આવેલ તે તારીખ વીસ બે ઓગણીસ ના રોજ મારા ખાતામાં પાસ થવા માટે નાખેલો મા મારે સ્ટેટ બેન્ક ઓફ ઇન્ડિયા તથા બેન્ક ઓફ ઇન્ડિયામાં સેવિંગ્સ અકાઉન્ટ છે આશરે એક અકાઉન્ટ મને બે હજાર અગિયારની સાલમાં ખોલાવેલ બીજું અકાઉન્ટ સામે બે હજાર વીસમાં ખોવેલ મેં જ્યારથી અકાઉન્ટ ખોલાવેલ ત્યારથી મારા બેંકના ખાતામાં દોઢ એક લાખ જેવી રકમ જમા થયેલી છે આ રોકડ રકમ મારો પગાર થતા ઘરેથી લીધેલા છે મેં આ રકમ બેંકમાંથી ઉપાડેલ નથી તે વાત થઈ નથી કે હું વ્યાજ વટાવનો ધંધો કરું છું મારો પગાર જયારે આ વ્યવહાર થયો ત્યારે પંદર હજાર જેટલો હતો અને હોમ વિઝિટના અલગથી થાય છે તે વાત થઈ નથી કે આ કામના આરોપીએ મને જયારે ચેક આપેલો ત્યારે તેઓએ માત્ર સહી કરી અને બાકીની વિગત મેં ભરેલી આ ચેક આપવામાં આવેલો તે સિક્યોરિટી પેટે મને આપવામાં આવેલો અને હવે હું કહું છું કે આ ચેક મને પહેલેથી આપેલ ન હતો હું દેટ ઇઝ વોટ ધ રીઝન ધ સિક્યોરિટી નાવ મી નોટ વોટ ઇઝ એપન કાઇન્ડલી સી ધેર આફ્ટર એટ ધ ટાઈમ ઓફ વેન હી હેઝ ગિવન ધ ચેક પેજ ટ્વેન્ટી સેવન ઇઝ ધ પ્રોમિસરી નોટ yes the stamp is purchased by the accused person my lord and he has given me the promissory note that he has taken 1 uh, 150000 uh, rupees from me my lord this is dated 19 january 2019 right yes my lord then my lord the check uh, is uh, returned with the endorsement in sufficient funds my lord and i have uh, sent him a, a legal notice which is not replied then i filed my complaint now kindly see page 34 my lord when i filed my complaint yes. then page 34 annex uh, 27 uh, settlement purses athi amo niche sahi karnar aaropiya purses lakhi jahir kariye chhe ke uprok kam ma amo ye faryadi ne agav samadhan pete 25000 rokda apel jethi have pachi kul 125000 baki rakam chukavvani hoy je rakam pete 10000 થી દર મહિને ચૂકવવા અમે તૈયાર હોય ઉપરોક્ત બાકી રહેતી રકમ પહેલો હપ્તો દસ હજાર તારીખ છવ્વીસ ચાર બે હજાર બાવીસ ના રોજ થી ચૂકવી આપીશું તથા બાકી રહેતી તમામ રકમ દર મહિનાની બાર પાંચ બે હજાર બાવીસ થી દર બાર તારીખે દસ હજાર નો હપ્તો જ્યાં સુધી તમામ રકમ ચૂકવાઈ ના જાય ત્યાં સુધી અને દર મુદતની તારીખ તેર ની રાખવા વિનંતી અને હવે પછીના તમામ હપ્તાના એડવાન્સ ચેક આપવાના છે જે આવતી મુદતે આપી દઈશું then milord page 36 what that what is was the amount mentioned in the disputed check 150000 milord 1,50. 1,50. 1,50. then 20 25000 he paid me yes then uh, the remaining was 1,25000 and 10000 he uh, he was uh, ready to get give me 10000 rupees per month 
that is on uh, 21st 4 2022 yeah. then on the next date then milord section 56 would not be attracted if part payment has been made out of the disputed amount was there any endorsement on the check that part of the amount has been realized and it is only qua the remaining amount this check has to be presented that remaining amount may not he was ready to deposit in the uh, in the port may not right but then if you are relying upon this document this would not go against you no no why because he is acknowledging part payment you are also endorsing that yes 25000 was received this was against only 1 lakh remain 1 lakh 25000 remaining amount after complaint, my lord, when the notice is issued, he remained present, my lord. Yes. Then he has given me 25,000 in the court. That says he has given 25,000. In, in the court, he has deposited the 25,000 right. out of 1,50,000. Like okay. Then, my lord, page 36. Yes. Athiyamo sahi karnar banne pakshkar wa samadhan pursis lakhi jahir kariya che ke uprop kama amo aropiya fariya dine check pete kul rupiya ek lakh pandar rajar chukawa na baki reta hoi je chukawa pete hawe ek lakh pandar rajar no check rajkot nagrik so and so bank na so and so khatama akhatu mara mami so and so na name che akhatano check mara mami a chukawa pete fariya dine azuro japel che a check amo fariya dine azuro port rubru samadhan pete model che je check amo fariya dine Bank statement so and so ma jama kara What is your thing. submission by relying upon this document? Then, my lord, I have given a closing process on the same date. Yes. Uh, stating, Amar Ava Bija Koi Purava, uh, next uh, page, Bija Koi Purava Apana Reta Na Hoi, Ame Ama Vadhara No Purava Ame Jair Karava Mangta Na Thi. Yes. Then the same check was also dishonored, my lord. Then I have given my uh, written submission before uh, the court and the court rejected my application only on the grounds of the uh, source of fund, my lord. Right. Where is that second check you mentioned? If you look at the last four sheets at page 36. Page 36. This check for the pete so and so na jama karayushi jeno branch number. Mukamesh. Movia Mukamesh. G. Now, with regard to your submission that this check had also been not entertained. This not... check has also been not entertained and yes. therefore, my lord. Have you mentioned in your written submission? Yes, my lord. Page 38 is my written submission. Uh, kindly see page 8, my lord, first in my cross examination. Yes. Saval, uh, last uh, two lines. Saval, Ajay Samadhan Pete Bakini Rakamno check up to Thomas Vikarba Tayarcho, Chawab Na Karanke Agavno, Ek check pon Aropino bounce the Elche. Then it is with respect to the very same check which you have referred in the portions. Yes, my lord. Now, where I can find this fact that 25,000 was deposited before the court? That 25,000, my lord. There, uh, for that 25,000, we need to call for the, I need to call for the records, my lord, of the uh by how he has given because as per the uh, statement uh, written here it is uh, on uh, on the process it is written 20000 25000 cash is given yes because that would have some bearing if it is found that it was realized before the complaint was lodged You are Mr. Jignesh Pandav. 
you are mr jignesh pandu how mr jignesh kumar pandu learned advocate on record for the applicant mr pandu learned advocate has placed on record the paper book of the documents which he proposed to rely upon the same is permitted to be taken up on record Mr. Pandav has invited attention of this court to the reasons and findings recorded to the findings and reasons recorded by the learned magistrate while recording order of acquittal. <clears throat> he has submitted that the learned magistrate has, on erroneous ground, arrived at a conclusion. that the disputed check was given as a security check mm. yes for the submitted that the learned magistrate has on wrong yardstick <coughs> has rebutted the presumption drawn in favor of the complainant at the stage of cross examination of the complainant in spite of the overwhelming evidence which has been brought on record by the complainant to establish the existence of legally enforceable debt as on the date of presentation of the check <clears throat> yes therefore urge this court to grant leave to appeal before that we will mention that he has also relied upon decision of the honorable apex court in the case of kalmani tax versus p pala subramanian reported in this would be 2021 volume 5 scc page 283 and then we will say that he is urged considering the submissions made by learned advocate for the applicant and the grounds raised in the appeal time of ac the court is of the view that matter requires consideration <clears throat> the leave to appeal is granted appeal is admitted let the record and proceedings be called for available warrant be issued upon the respondent will make this written ever learned app waive service of notice of rule in both leave to appeal and the admission of the appeal after 4 weeks please madam okay you will serve them i will serve them by app id mail or let it go through the concern please ma'am then we see yes admit please ma'am oblige 26 mr rr dinesh for india committee we have referring to leave will issue rule let other side be served learned app waive service of notice of proof 
below four days? Seven days. Seven days. Then why it is mentioned four days? The seven day. What is the date of the judgment? 10 January 2020. It is 10th January. Please. This application was presented on which date? On yes. 17th March. Seven days. You are right. Seven days delay is there. This is an application filed seeking condonation of delay of seven days caused in filing the appeal. Challenging the judgment an order dated 10th January 2023 passed by the learned principal civil judge and judicial magistrate first class in criminal case number 989 of 2021. Then we'll say that learned APP waives service of rule on behalf of respond number one state of the state. Heard the learned advocate and then we'll mention considering the meager delay of four days, sorry, seven days caused in filing the appeal. Considering the averments made, delay is condoned. Let the leave to appeal along with appeal be notified for admission hearing next week. Next week. Please. Yes. Seven. Please. Because one under one thirty, even the complaint is not filed before the Nadia's court, my lord. Yes. Order is at annexure E, my lord. Uh, mainly, my lord, the dismiss for default was occurred, my lord. Uh, and the special sitting court has, my lord, considered. Taken a matter on 11th February. Why is a special sitting? Uh, special sitting is, it means, Milord, the Lok Adalat, which was, Milord, the fixed on 11th February, and Milord, suddenly, Milord, matter was taken up, and that order is, Milord, Tosime Perus, page 19. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, order is start from page 20. Yes. And, Milord, the, uh, which I have mentioned, page 46 may be seen with us. Azroj National Log Adalatma. We'll issue notice for final disposal. Please, Milos, because of Milos, the, our, our High Court has not taken a view, Milos, if yes, Milos, yes. for perusal of my law. Please provide. Same identical matters. Here also it was before Log Adalat? Yes, Milos, same on a Saturday, second Saturday. And below the uh, even the uh, circumstances of the also below the same those. But Mr. Krunal D. Padia, learned advocate on record for the applicant. Issue rule returnable forthwith learned additional public prosecutor where service of notice of rule on behalf of respond number one state <clears throat> this is an application seeking leave to appeal file under section 378 4 of crpc challenging the judgment an order Dated 11th February 2023, passed by the Learned Judicial Magistrate First Class at Nadia in Criminal Case Number 775 of 2019. Please. By the said order, the Learned Magistrate has proceeded to exercise powers conferred under Section 256 of CRPC, dismissing the complaint for default. In absence of the learned advocate on record for the complainant and the complainant. Mr. Krunal D. Pandya, learned advocate on record, has relied upon the order dated 18th April 2018 passed by this court in criminal appeal number 424 of 2018, wherein similar set of facts 
the court had proceeded to dismiss the complaint when the matter was notified in special sitting before the Lok Adalat court on a public holiday. And in absence of the complainant and his counsel, the court had proceeded to dismiss the complaint recording acquittal, resulting into the acquittal of the yes. accused. This court had recorded that such powers of dismissal of matter for want of prosecution on a public holiday is impermissible. Next. He therefore urged this court to grant leave to appeal. Considering the submissions made, the present application seeking leave to appeal requires consideration. Hence, is allowed. In appeal, we will say notice for final disposal. <coughs> Making it returnable after two weeks. Plus, uh, to be served through the consent policy. So, not the. Yes. Sir. Please, please. But in plus my laws is keeping it on. This may go on 11th or 13th April. 13th April. Great food, my master. Deeply honored. 28th. Yes. Here, my lord, there will be a private complaint given to be dismissed under 256 of the CRPC on the ground of the absence of the advocate for the private complaint. Yes. The lord should be signed the order dated 11th of February 2023. At what stage it was dismissed? In fact, my lord, sir, the I have categorically made an amendment that the original accused person was not remaining present before the trial court. Therefore, I had made an application for issuance of NBW. Yes. And the last application for NBW was also made in the month of September 2022 only, on which NBW was issued. But thereafter, that NBW was not able to start. And during this interim period, the advocate who was engaged ballots was before another honorable court and it was dismissed. But 11 years old matter, what fault can be found with the learned magistrate? In fact, my, Lord, sir, my chief examination and everything is over. He was not remaining present before the trial court, the original lectures person. Therefore, application was given for issuance of NBW. Plotships can see uh, uh, paragraph E, my Lord. Yes. Ground E, in fact. This is a simple under charge below field of pressure. Respondent who was not remaining present for tactics for which number of applications are again ordered by the Honorable Court below on 7 9 22. The petitioner gave an application for reissuance of arrest warrant wherein the Honorable Court passed order for issuance of NBW on the respondent number two. But that NBW was not been able to sound on numerous occasions since 2015. Marats, I was requesting the court to uh, issue NBW. The NBW was issued, but the local police station was not, not able to serve. Lastly, in the month of September 2022, my fresh NBW was issued, which was also under the process to get out. And during the interim period, my the advocate couldn't remain present on few occasions and this order was passed. How many times matter was listed before between these two dates? 7th September 2022 and the date on which order was passed? My instructions are it is only three, three uh, occasions. Three, three occasions. occasions. Yes. It is not reflected in the order itself, but it was listed on three occasions. Subject to some cost. What is the amount involved in the dispute? 2,55,000. 2,55,000. Uh, it was given for the purpose of uh, traveling to a holy place, but right. uh, he was not able to make the arrangements for traveling of flights and visa and everything. And ultimately, upon requesting to uh, return back the amount, he gave the check of 2,55,000. Some, if you are ready for some cost, we may issue notice. Yes, some reasonable cost. Yes, yes. Maybe 5,000. 
this may go to the legal at least. Heard Mr. Pathan, learned advocate on record for the applicant, original complainant. Leave to appeal would be granted yes. and in the appeal we'll issue notice for final disposal. Yes. We'll make it returnable after two weeks. Yes. This is from KEDA, right? Yes. KEDA can right. be served. Yes. So the concern police should yeah, if it can be yes to concern. But then that again, it would not happen yes. so that non-available warrant was not served. This yes. may also not be found to be served. That it can go through the honorable court itself through the learned bailiff. You are aware about the whereabouts of respondent? Yes, yes. That address I have provided. In yes. fact, the statement of his brother was also recorded that since number of people have filed complaint against then him. Why yes. don't you take direct service? Yes, I can do that. At least I, this process can yes, be expedited. I will serve him directly. Direct service yes. permitted. Additionally, to be served through the consent police station. Yes, sir. You can serve them by RPAD. RPAD also, yes. I will yes. use all the moves. So after two weeks. Yes, sir. I will do the new. Great. Lossy may say upon instructions that five of them. Yes, yes. Great. I am not, in fact, reflecting in the. My uh, order that you will be depositing 5,000 at this stage. Yes. Let him appear, but then be ready for the cost. Yes. 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 On last occasion, uh, the laws are directed to collect the paperwork. Here, the leave to appeal is granted, yes. but uh, appeal is not admitted. Therefore, uh, they will not release the paperwork. In fact, if my lodge may pass the order, then and only then they will release the paperwork. I don't think you want to conduct this matter. I've already conducted since last three years. I've been conducting the matters. Leave to appeal is granted. This matter I, is I can conduct it right only now. Only on the ground that paper book has to be called for. RNP is now received. Paper book is ready. If now my the order, I can argue at 230 also. I can argue at 230. Let ordinary be yes. asked to provide the paper book today only. Ajay, I'm going to Coordinate bench wanted to see when the matter was transferred to other court, why the advocate did not submit the relevant documents there. The issue is pertaining to that. Otherwise, leave to appeal is granted, my lords, two years back. It is only for the admission. Now, sufficient time has been invested by this court, but keeping uh, the, your matter for but this almost. Is through, this is through legal. There is no personal interest of mine. This is through legal. But then you should be serious once matter is entrusted but, to you, uh, right? But when the department is not ready to uh, call for the RNP, how can I conduct the matter, my lords? Since there is the order of the Honorable Court. Yes, RNP has been received, right? When? In 2022, my lords. Matter has been admitted in 2020. Yes, maybe. But then RNP was received in 2022. But, uh, with all due respect, my lords, I am only saying yes. that I am ready to conduct the matter at 230. They release the paper book. Can paper book not be the paper book? Not the Yesterday, my lords, they informed my clerk that uh, this matter is not admitted. Therefore, mm -hmm. they will not release the paper book unless there is the order of the Honorable Court. Very well. You should have drawn attention of the earlier orders. On so many occasions, we have said we, this we, is not called for the courts. My lords are saying it as if this is my fault, my lords. If department is not releasing the paper, you want to argue matter or you want to argue with me on paper book? But I am ready to argue right now. Also, you I want to start with the matter. Let us start with the matter. matter. Yes. Please. RMP Mangavi loan. Well, let me kindly turn to page operative portion of the judgment, page 10, my lords. Am I with my lords? Perhaps I was at fault while recording the last order on 4th January because yes. I I had recorded that you had prayed for time to enable him to go through the paper book. I yes, should yes. have specified that. If paper book is received, it may be also handed over to the learned council. Now yes. I would be more cautious while recording the order. So all the correct facts should on, be trans on that, uh, transcribed on, in the on order. That day, I had mentioned that we are. So Dimani, don't make unnecessary arguments with well, the court. Uh, this is in fact, this is not the way you behave with the court. Well, I am just pointing out the facts. I am ready. What to... facts you are pointing out? This is reflected in the order. But I did. You should have mentioned before the court that at least this may be also. Reflected in the order. My lords had said the same thing. 
we fact, ha- I had requested, I had in fact noted, pursuant to our request, it appears that you had mentioned before the court Lord, that kind- you are in receipt of the paper book and you want to go through the paper book. I have never mentioned that I have received the so paper book. So this is my fault that I recorded in a way that it, it enabled him to go through the paper book. I'm not fault. I'm the wrong impression that. was given to the court as if you are in receipt of the paper book. This is not a practice that I am adopting in the court. It appears so. This is the first matter where such is thing has happened. The, speaks, the I last been, order speaks. I have been appearing in several appeals for the legal. Why these orders me. in this matter? My Lord, you should have immediately uh, proceeded for appeal. admission of hearing of the appeal. I'm sorry. I have been for, I have been remaining present on each and every occasion. Let us see the first order. 16th March 2021. Please, Notice to the respondents respond uh, 16th March. Let us start from 1st, 2nd March 2021. Leonard Edward Mr. Bimani appearing for the appellant, submits that the appellant complaint has already filed the statutory notice as well as the acknowledgement slip received by him before filing of the complaint. However, the trial court has wrongly acquitted the respondent. And 2nd March, 2nd March 2021 order may be read. Court up on 16-3 is prayed for on behalf of Learned Purohit for the respondent number two. In the meantime, the appellant may furnish set of appeal to the Learned Advocate Mr. Purohit. Yes. Th- that's what I did. I have yes. already sub- furnished. Yes. Then the copy. Thereafter, the 16-3 order was passed. Manor. Yes. Read the 16 March order. Learned Advocate Mr. Bhimani appearing for the appellant submits that the appellant complaint already filed the statutory notice as well as the acknowledgement slip received by him before filing of the complaint, my lord. Yes. However, the trial court has wrongly acquitted the respondent accused on the ground that the said documents were not produced. Yes. Before the uh, court w- uh, wherein the matter was transferred. Yes. From Nadia to Vasu, my lords. He seeks time to produce the said documents. It, it was also produced before my lords say, online. I have the copy as well. It was produced. Yes. It on which there. date it was produced? Very well, my lords. It, in fact, it was online. I don't remember, but uh, in month of April only. What I, about 23rd March? I was not present uh, since some online difficulty was there. Right. Uh, Every uh, difficulty with you only. Only one. Let order us see next order. Viral Gurja Leonard, uh, with the consent of the other side, seeks some time in this. Yes. Matter. What about 5th July order? At a joint request by the joint request. What request. about 21st July order? Magistrate to call for uh, record and proceedings when the matter was argued. Let, let us see 8th December order. When matter was called out, Mr. Nian Bimani, the appellant failed to appear as per the note. RNP has been received on the next day. Rajesh Malaj, thereafter. Court will generally not go for the order of RNP unless the request is made by learned advocates for the parties. I'll, I'll, I may point out why RNP was called for. I may point out. Since the matter was transferred. Want to conduct the matter? Proceed with the no, matter. Today Don't make such arguments before today the court. Itself. Today itself. Very well. My lords, may kindly turn to page 10 of the op- uh, order, my lords, operative portion. I mean, you don't go through the record and proceedings before filing of appeal. But my lord, this is not by personally handed over to me by the client. Maybe. This is through legal aid. And I have the, the legal aid thi, aaj, like a special shot. But they, they are supposed to su- provide me the documents, my lord. I have the documents as such. So why this insistence of RNP and paper book? It is by the stage? court, not by me. It is by the court, my lords. Then why this request was made on last occasion, seeking adjournment to go through the paper book? I have not made such a request, my lords. It was wrongly, it was error by this, maybe, <coughs> my lords. In a communication, my lords, there is the recording on YouTube, my lords. I have not ma- said that. I, okay, we'll verify these Please, facts. please, my lords. We'll definitely, verify. my lords may verify. Yes. I specifically mentioned that I need to proceed with the matter. Don't argue. Page 10 of the internal judgment, my lords. Why this order of acquittal was recorded? Please, my lords. That's order. Page 10, my lords. Read it. Please. Upro Kalama Spash Pone Janaja, the negotiable instrument technique close provides Oma Janavia Mujabi Fariat Karan Karan Upanthu. I was shut. Akame Fariadi Tarfe Fariat Karan Karan Tayar Upanthu, Jaya, the negotiable instrument at Makal Janavia Mujab provides ABC Mujabna notice Arup in Appel Hoy. तथा ते नोटिस ने आरोपी ने मड़ी गया अंगेनी एक्नॉलेजमेंट स्लिप असल आ कामे रजू करेली होई आ कामे फरियादी आरोपी ने नोटिस आपी अंगेनो कलर पुरावो कलम पुरो आराजक करुल करेल नथी 
આ કામે થી નેગોશિયબલ એનઆઈ એક્ટ ની માલોચ 148 142 એક સાથે વંચાળ લેતા થી બંને માં સ્પષ્ટપણે જણ છે કે પ્રોવાઇઝો એબીસી નું પાલન થાય તો જ પ્લસ ઓન્લી ધ એક્નોલેજમેન્ટ સ્લિપ એન્ડ ધ નોટિસ વોઝ નોટ પ્રોવાઇડેડ ધેટ ઇઝ ધ રીઝન ધીસ વોઝ એક્વેટેડ મોલ મોલ પાલોજ મે કાઇન્ડલી સી Well, this is the copy of the DE list that was produced by the court before the court, my lords, and it has been exhibited. All the relevant documents, my lords, and it was tendered to my lords also. We have original record. <clears throat> what is mark 3 upon 3 why this has not been exhibited it has been exhibited my lords which exhibit number is given for me my lords sorry only one uh, only a moment my lords Mark three on three is the notice, my lords. What is the exhibit number? You said it is exhibited. in fact i will only a moment I'm sorry, my lords. It has not been exhibited, but it was produced before the court, my lords, as in a, as a part of DE list, my lords. However, that has not been observed, my lords. If it is not exhibited, then how this can be read as an evidence, my lords? But uh, somehow uh, the advocate had produced. Is it, it is not a part of the, the basic record, ingredient to be proved before the trial court? Yes, yes, definitely. If you want to satisfy, my lords, in fact, regard to attracting offence of one thirty eight. Yes, I understand, my lords. Only a moment, my lords. <laughs> Well, initially, the case was committed before Nadiyat Court. Well, thereafter, the, the order was passed that the documents may be submit, uh, the it may be transferred to Vaso Court, and all the docu documents may be sent there. Well, when the matter was conducted before Vaso Court, the advocate somehow did not produce. Well. the order is of the vaso court my lord so what error is committed by the trial court while recording acquittal <laughs> well since we did not the advocate did not produce the copy of the you see uh, notice and statutory notice my lord but however it was it produced, cannot be a ground for admitting or allowing this appeal lord, but since it was already produced before the nadiyat court my lord but somehow, what was produced before the nadiyat court sorry my lord what was produced before the nadiyat court uh, my lord the check the bank written memo the notice uh, acknowledgement receipt and uh, yes all the documents by uh, in the month of june and july 2016 my lords the original copy of notice was produced yes yes where i can find out from the record well <coughs> that's what i'm producing this is it has been marked the, if if the original copy was produced the, i hope you understand difference between marked copy and exhibit yes, copy yes i understand but right why it was not exhibited well it's that i'm getting instructions since the uh, client is also not not in touch with the advocate 
the matter was transferred from nadiyat court to vaso court that's where the error was made by lots the record was transferred record included the copy the original disputed check but not the original copy of notice it was a xerox fact, copy it was part of the it, why check has been exhibited and why this notice was not exhibited since uh, even the client is has failed to answer that my lots since he is not in contact with the advocate where is the original copy of check my lots it's with the d list my lots before nadia court as page 12 it is marked as page or uh, mark 31 May I point out one thing my lord yes since there was this confusion on last occasion before the coordinate bench there, okay. therefore the coordinate bench had called for rnp to see what was the actual error committed by the advocate or by the court there why the why the all the documents were produced before the nadiyat court and was not transferred to vaso court my lords that was the ground that oh, the honorable court had called for the rnp it is your submission right no no it, my lords it's there my lords but it is not recorded in the order it is not my submission my lords but that was the reason it is here leave to appeal is granted my lords it is allowed in absence of rnp now having produced the rnp it appears otherwise no original document is found in fact the endorsement is of the nadiyat court if uh, my lords may pass an order since i will also go through the rnp my lords they will not release the rnp unless there is the order of why rnp should some orders are required rnp is all, always available with the court proceedings it is here before me but my lords here we don't have it we have called for i have on called other for date you will make out you will make out some other submission then referring to the earlier orders today i may be permitted to have an access to the paper book i will argue it tomorrow in fact i will also have to go through my lords the paper book nobody has prevented you but i don't have the i have an access my lords that is here before this court the, since appeal is not admitted they will not release the paper book my lords paper book ni zarurat at nahi bhai rnp che rnp tamara jova mate che ahi aakhu but i don't have the papers my lords this is through legal you have come with e list you have the papers this is when the client had provided me the paper this is through legal rnp jo aapo we keep it at 230 प्रोसिक्यूटर <laughs> Uh, at that time i had given losses still i am having extra copy i will provide the last order records that you will also supply the copy to the other side i had supplied to block if uh, if i recollect my not uh, it is on record lot extra copy i had given to my learned friend as well yes mr patel you are having paper book yes. right so we'll proceed with the hearing at 230 yes may yes mr desh seal number 38 i'm seeking some time less with the consent of the other side we have request for some because i have 230 there is 2018 answer i will no they are appearing mr uh, who is appearing number 5 and 7 it is shown as answered no he is appearing for all I, mr vajay trivedi appears first 
request was made on his behalf that he would be appearing for one and eight. He has some difficulty today, but then he should have filed appearance. He said that he's Neither appearing he for all. Unready. Yes, he said that he's appearing for all. I will still confirm my request for a week because he said to me that he's appearing for even number five. What about number seven? Just he said that he'll he'll take instructions and he'll appear for all. That is what he said. Because they are all the uh, if lordships have the judgment, they were all accused before the trial court. One advocate used to appear for all the, all of them. Mr. Deepen Desai, learned advocate, prays for an adjournment. He submits that, in fact, learned advocate Mr. Vijay Trivedi would be representing unserved respond number five and seven also. However, he would like to reconfirm this fact. Yes. As a last chance, time is granted. Let this matter be posted for admission hearing next week. Oh, nice. Immense love. Please take steps, otherwise, otherwise, court will proceed with the yes. hearing. Yes. We have seal number 44. Yes. Well, with the consent of the other side, may I request my lord for only a week accommodation in this matter? People up. Why you want time? It is there is some difficulty in the second session on my part. I'm requesting if it is can be on next week or Monday, subject to convenience of this court. We request of learned advocate, Mr. Anvesh Vyas, please this matter on 24th April. Please. Sorry for your comments. Yes. yes. Direct service was permitted, right? You have served them? But then why? It was permitted on Service through WhatsApp was permitted? Uh, that is for email combination. You have not filed affidavit no, whether you have served them or not? We have not served them. That is why we have not filed because it's for re issue the notice. Then you have to file affidavit. Where is the original notice? Verify Karu. So thanks I notice to RPAD it was permitted. They have not collected. So Karisha notice. Please wait. Process may have mentioned. Still number five in the per code board loads. I'm mentioning of your Mr. Bhavan Rayani. Yes. Lord, he's having some medical issue loads. He's not having a fracture in the leg. Therefore, Lord, he could not appear before my lords. No, some request only for the Friday, if convenient to this honorable court. Friday. Please. Serial number 64. 30. 30. Lost. 30 was over. Please. Yes. Uh, uh, serial number 64. Uh, from the respondent number two, uh, uh, we have a telephonic uh, instruction to appear. So, uh, two week time may be granted. It is a first uh, uh, returnable date. Uh, we informed uh, to the uh, Mr. Uh, Dairya one, but who would be appearing? Uh, uh, Mr. Chintan Popat. Mr. Popat. Mr. Chintan Popat, learned advocate, submits that he has received instructions to appear on behalf of this one number two. With consent, he prays for time. Let this matter be posted 
after two weeks, 11th April or 13th? 11th. 11th April. Yes. May I make a request? Uh, serial number 63 and 66. Yes. We have the instruction to appear on behalf of Mr. Uh, Respondent number two, my lords. I am mentioning on behalf of Miss Aishwarya Chaudhary. Miss Aishwarya Chaudhary? Yes, my lords. She has instruction to appear on behalf of Respondent. Serial number 63 and 66. Miss Aishwarya Chaudhary, learned advocate on record, sorry, learned advocate, has received instructions to appear on behalf of Respondent number two. With consent, she prays for time. This may also go on 11th or 13th April. 11th. 11th April. Yes. 40? 41, yes. You have informed Mr. Bada? He has no objection. Mr. Hardik Dave, learned advocate on record with consent, please for time, 13th April. Your Lordship, CL number 123, mentioning on behalf of Mr. Samrat. There is some difficulty from his part, uh, he could not present. It may be adjourned on any Friday, subject to the convenience of this Honorable Court. This is for condonation of delay. Please. Rule is served. At least delay can be condoned. Nobody is appearing for other side, right? No. How many days delay is there? I'll take instruction. If it may be called out, I'll appear. Please verify. Please. So that at least delay condonation can be. Yes. Serial number 24, mentioning on behalf of Mr. Bowery. Requesting Learned advocate on record for the applicant place for time at his request. Which date? <clears throat> Any convenient date. This may go on first week of May. First of May. First of May. May I make a request? My lord, this matter is serial number two of the per court board. Yes, it is a part of matter. matter. Yes. If it can be taken up. One matter is going on. Let us see. After that, we'll Please. see. Yes. Yes. Number one, seven. The first order was passed by the Honorable Justice Gita Ben Gopi on date. So here is this their directives. Additional affidavit is produced by the petitioner, Mr. Hiran Arya Singh, SCR in April 5, 6, 2019. The same is taken on record. Let all this matter, along with the allied application, be taken together, not before me. <coughs> Which were those matters to be tagged? Uh, that is uh, triple five by six, 19, criminal capital appeal, eight double nine by 2014, CRMA 5926 by 2018, 21559 by 2016. So all these present applications which are notified were to be heard together yeah. by that order. After that, the Honorable Justice William Poncholi Sahib had passed the order. Yes. That is dated uh, 13 December 2021. Yes. When this matter is called out, applicant party person is submitted that this application is wrongly tagged with the special SCRA, triple five six of 2019 and allied matters. Learned advocate of the other side appearing for the petitioner in SCRA, triple five six of 2019 is also submitted that this matter is wrongly tagged with this application. This court has gone through the subject matter of all this application, petition, appeal, registry to list this application separately. On date Satar Bar Bajar Equis, Learned APP has to waive the instructions to the matter. So, which matter was wrongly tagged with that matter? I have to say that the matter was wrongly tagged with that matter. I have to say that the matter was wrongly tagged with that matter. You are referring to order of 13 December 2021, right? Yeah. But it was passed in which matter? In, uh, in uh, that time, that matter is CRM number 5926 of 2018. 5926 of 2018. It is a Buddhist matter club. Karina Kitty, madam. 
it is not that, there with this matter this matter is also tagged with that matter all no, the aaj je matters notify the she ma i matter nahi rightly so because order was passed pass yeah right right just hmm. now it is not there hmm. because it is cause it hmm. is a coshing matters barabar okay after that the 25 ja 22 se justice uh, nikhil kerial sahab no order she at the request of party in person stand over to 65 2022 registry shall comply with the order dated 13 december 2021 which is passed by the justice vm panchori sahib by the next date of hearing even then the registry is not complying the order it is tagged with this matter only now after can that, you please provide the copy of that order you are referring to order of there, Lordship, I had been, 13 december 13 december it is there only lordship डेटेड uh, 25 Paper book and the record and proceeding is there. Of four ninety. You are referring to order which mean we matter. have been mentioning. Yeah. In main matter, triple five six by ninety. Emma Justice Nikhil Kerala said no. Twenty four by twenty nine. My name. Anyway. This thirteen December order was passed in criminal misses application five nine two six of two thousand eighteen, and it was directed to detect the matters. Ha, detect right? the matters specifically that and con confirmation also given by the other side advocate even also lordship. No, read the order. Ah, uh, lordship. Ah, uh, that order is when this matter is called out, applicant party in person submitted that this application is wrongly tagged with the SCRA triple five six of two thousand nineteen. And allied matters, learned advocate appearing for the petitioner in S C R S O N so also submitted that this matter is also wrongly tagged with this application. This court has gone through the subject matter of all this application, petition, and even appeal. They had not mentioning the numbers, my lord. Registry to list this application separately on September bar two thousand eight. So it was only five nine two six which was to be detailed, not the rest of the matters. Lordship. Five nine two six. My matter. Itle karo. Why? Because they have the body club as a demand, and that's why the honourable court. Ah, itle. Na pashi order karo na. The court and had accepted your request that uh -huh. this matter was wrongly tagged wrongly with that tagged. group of and factors. Lordship, again, I am repeating that after that also. So in any case, all these matters are to be heard along with this appeal, right? This is not required to be detect. Yeah, it is to be required to be detect. Only order is. Only the matter of five nine two six was to be detected, not other no, matters. No, no, lordship. Only I am re uh, repeating this order. Second paragraph, first line. This court has gone through the subject matter of all these application, petition, and appeal. They had not mentioned the numbers. But ultimately, what was the direction? This court, up to me, is one show. Agar that in special criminal application also submitted that this matter is wrongly tagged. Now, if you look at the title, it is only in this particular matter order is passed. Ha, but itle a vakhte each matter itle the ha segregate kar. Only five nine two six, five nine two six has ha. been detected from rest ha. of the matters. Ha. So ha. along with the appeal, these applications would continue. Ha, one minute. Pachi point kari, pachi point justice Nikhil Kedar Sahib, pachi specifically order kariyo. 
एट द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ पार्टी पर्सन पच्चीस चार बाईस टेंड ओवर टू छ पांच बाईस It appears that the explanation was sought for. Registry has explained this fact. And we know how as exam, our children registry shall comply with the orders no. of their body. So parties. they have examined this order and they have Haan. done the needful. And the segregate karwan order kya hai, madam? It is not order of segregation. Madam, ye pachi to a order kya hai? Ilesh bhai bora ma CR me number one daakal kari. Ane banne matters ni alag date aayi. In any case, if you want to proceed with the hearing, these matters are there. There is no order of detailing the matters. Madam, our date alag apai gaye. We can notify on that particular date. What is the date? That is three four two thousand twenty three. Criminal acquittal apai ne alag kari na ki. Itla C R me number fixing for date ma a reason saate. What is that date of order? Two three. Please provide the copy. You are referring to second March twenty twenty three order. Yes, okay. This order is passed in criminal misuse application, fixing early date of hearing. Early right? date of hearing. Your application has been accepted. So main matter was ordered to be listed for hearing on twenty eight March. Today it has been notified. Third March, third April, sir, madam. Finally, see, lordship. Third April. Today is twenty eight March. As in, this is second March. No, this is also second March. Huh? This is of eight ninety nine of two thousand seventeen. Which is automatically so it is notified. Segregated. Criminal so appeal. Eight, no, no, but no, no, automatically not. No, the court order is there. Only the one matter in which order was passed. Madam, the it is. Am I wrong? Chali date. Apni se. Aaj am I kya? Miss Partha. In any case, the matters would continue. If you want to proceed with these matters, it is notified today on the board. So as in when matter reaches, we'll take it up. I have said only one fixing for date. This honourable High Court had given the segregate and. अप्रिल तो પછી અલગ થઈ ગઈ ને બંને મેટર ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ ડી નોટિફાઈડ બટ એને ડિટેક્ટ નથી કરી એ સાથે જ છે એસ યુ પ્લીઝ ક્રિમિનલ અપીલ યસ મિસ જેમિની પાઠક લંડેડ પાર્ટી ઇન પાર્ટી ઇન પર્સન જેમિની પાઠક હેઝ અપીયર્ડ બિફોર ધીસ કોર્ટ એની સાથે શી હેઝ ઓર્ડર ઇઝ ઇન્વાઇટેડ અટેન્શન ઓફ ધીસ કોર્ટ ટુ ધી ઓર્ડર ઓફ 2 માર્ચ 2023 પાસ્ડ બાય ધી કોઓર્ડિનેટ બેન્ચ ઇન ક્રિમિનલ મિસસ એપ્લિકેશન 1 ઓફ 2023 ઇન special in criminal appeal number 899 of 2014 and has submitted that the criminal appeal is listed on third april order is directed to be notified on 3rd of april she therefore prays that let the matter be notified on 3rd of april for final hearing considering her request let all these matters be notified on 3rd of april एप्लीकेशन एक जज बीज मैटर भेगी कर Yes, the order na karta. Which matter? Pick us up.
What is his name? Apnu naam shu shi. Number B koon shi. Ye hajar shi. Hajar shi. Ennu unta maari paas se maran no daaklo shi. Maran no daaklo shi. Please verify from the concerned police station. Yes. This court by order dated 16 September 2022 had issued bailable warrant upon respondents original accused. Today, when the matter is taken up for hearing, Mr. Parma Nanji Bhai Hamir Bhai, original accused number one, has remained present before this court. A request is made to adjourn this matter as he want to engage lawyer to represent his case. So he is respond number one, so Nagjibi is number two. He further submits that respond number two, Nagjibi Hamir Bhai has expired. The, that the copy of that certificate is produced before the concerned police station. Learned additional public prosecutor, Mr. Bhargav Pandya is requested to verify the aforesaid fact and submit appropriate report on the next date of hearing. Considering the request made by respond number one, who is present in person, that this matter be posted for hearing after three weeks. Rana Twadani Muda Tapiche, Wakil Aproki Lejo. In the Tariki Tapi Lejo. Number 123. There is a delay of 82 days. 82 days. You are Miss Alvira Kachira. Learned advocate has appeared on behalf of Mr. Samra Tupade, learned advocate on record for the applicant. This is an application seeking condonation of delay of 82 days caused in filing the appeal challenging the judgment and order of acquittal dated 10th of March 2022 passed by the learned addition sessions judge Kama Purmandar in sessions case number 39 of 2016. Learned advocate for the applicant has invited attention of this court to the Averments made in the application and has urged this court to condone the delay. This court, by order dated 21st September 2022, had issued rule which was made returnable on 21st November 2022. From the record, it transpires that. Rule is served upon response number two to four as per the report of Ranavao Police Station. The response number two to four have chose not to appear before this court in spite of service of rule. Having heard the learned counsel appearing for the applicant and Learned Edition Public Prosecutor for the state. From our considering the agreements made in the application, sufficient cause, sufficient uh, explanation has been offered to condone the delay. Yes, this application seeking condonation of delay is allowed. Delay of 82 days is hereby condoned. The registry is directed to notify the leave to appeal along with
sorry only appeal is there notify notify leave to appeal along with the criminal appeal for admission hearing after two weeks notify may i request for any friday then on 21st 21st march i'm great sorry april would be april yes the background fact is that was it sir in the month of january 2018 i had conveyed the information regarding the offense to the police station sector number 21 nagin yes now on upon my information nothing happened even repeatedly i sent re information uh, reminder information to them they did not reply ultimately i had to write to the nhrc the nhrc took the cognizance of the facts right a sitting was held at the gandhinagar kerai academy wherein the dysp was present he was directed to take the complaint yes that order is at page 38 can accept me 38 yes the com process i'm reading sir madam the complaint dated 27 march 2018 received from vijay kumar in respect of vijay kumar and chowda we placed before the commission on, on hearing the complaint the commission directed as follow sri vijay kumar and chowda has made a complaint to the commission alleging the police is not taking any action on his complaint about showing up till done by his neighbor in front of his house yes sp gandhinagar as well as the complaint in detail video sp gandhinagar has submitted that it is in what proceedings this order was passed since it is in the hand and seal of the commission at page 39 12th april 2018 lot okay. in what proceedings this order was passed yes, upon my application upon my complaint a sitting was held at the gandhinagar hearing after hearing both the sides complainant as well as the dys what was the nature of such complaint it, it was forwarded to them what was forwarded to the police station gandhinagar 21 sector the right. same the same facts so on 27th march 2018 you had address and on 12th of april 2018 you were permitted to file press complaint press complaint right press complaint in the form that the you again present the said same, same complaint <coughs> and the offense will be registered it was directed to the police station yes so in pursuant of that the police station registered the offense in the month of june so the learned judge says that <coughs> you had given the complaint in the month of january now the complaint has been registered in the month of june therefore there is a delay of 6 months Right. It is just like that. We we seek order under one fifty six three from the honourable magistrate or from this honourable court direction right. to register the fire. In that sense, the learned judge say that there is a delay, and that is the gross delay. One aspect on this ground, it has been held that, that due to the delay, <coughs> it is not believable that the fact that uh, the offence has taken place. Now the second option, uh, the second ground upon which the acquittal is made. that the complainant had supplied the cd of the cctv footage yes now the investigating officer says that that was not sent to the fsl for verification that is coming in the deposition which i i will be coming later so on these two grounds the learned judge says that the complainant has not proved the cd once it is handed over to the io who is the at the rank of the dysp no what has been not done by the dysp or the investigating officer the blame has been cast upon the complainant not only that it has also been observed that the complainant is the pure man of falsehood so all these are the ground but the ground is the falsehood is the observation therefore not believable yes one more additional thing is observed that since the many complaints are made therefore he is habitual of making the complaint so if this has not been taken 
that the section 8 of the act itself provides that if repeatedly complaints are being made, the presumption gets automatically in favor of the com complainant. This is appeal under 14A, right? Lordships. We'll admit the appeal, we'll expedite the hearing. Lordships. Next week, probably. Any, 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 any. Ready with the matter and we'll call for RNP. Lordships. That, that will be very good. Yes. Lordships. But then why you mentioned read with section 372? <laughs> it was during the period when uh, there was no access to the office. Yes. Office telephoned me to avoid the non circulation. I told that, yes, read with, do it. 372. Because if you look at section 14, it starts with non option yes, yes, not, not with yes, I, I yes. was I was very much, but yes. at those times there was much problem about the circulation of the matter. So I avoided that problem. Heard Mr. Jitendra Singh, learned advocate on record for the appellant. And Mr. Yes. Name of Mr. Patel would be yes, Mr. Mr. Nimesh Patel, learned advocate for the Opponent, respondent, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and learned additional public prosecutor appearing for respondent state. Appeal my admit. Let RNP be called for. Appeal is expedited to be listed for final hearing after four weeks. Oblige us. Yes. Please, please. Lord. this is the matter pertaining to the equator order passed by the learned Magist uh, additional Chief Judicial Magistrate of Nadia. Yes. Uh, my Lord, if my Lord may kindly peruse the page number two of the judgment and order passed by the learned magistrate, where the short facts are are stated. Yes. It is this wise, my lords, with your permission. Halni Fariyad Manchana Leva Mavat Alna Fariyad Ye Tarik Chowish Nau Adar Na Roj Nandar Kotma Dakhal Thalche Halno Kame Raju Thal Check Ang Nau Wada Dhyane Leva Mavat Sadar Check Vish Sat Adar No Rupia Nau Lak Ensi Ajar No Check Number so and so, so and so, syndicate bank no chess other for Yadi Dwara Pachis sat Bejar Adarna Ruj Bankman Bartha, Purta Nana Bandurna Karana Parath for LCJ Bank Return Memo, Dusty Alna Kama Rajucha for Yadi Dwara, thus Aunt Adarna Ruj, Arupina Demand Notice Apama Velche, Arupina Chow that Hajarna Ruj, Bajigel Che, Jena Post Katano Track Report Rajucha, Alni Paria, Namda Korma Paria Dwara, so and so and the Karvamacha Am Paria Samay Maria Damahono, Pratham Drashke Paria. This is the short facts that the complaint filed by. The complainant. Now, uh, on on the on the next page, your lordship. Yes. Uh, second, the the paragraph uh, starts with Fariyadi fourth dari kariya sahita ni so and so column so and so and so the arupi no vishesh nivedan no adhwam avelche jema timni virudni akhi ka samjhava tiwa the vishesh nivedan ma Fariyadi tiwa sahde dhundo karta na thi putwar no bandhan kaidi sena diva bete check apel na thi na vadhu ma jana the mitra tata mitra tama khoti rite check kya re. This is the defense. This defense is, should not be considered that he doesn't know the how and when the check was uh, arrived uh, from the from him to the complainant. Now the observation starts from page number four, your lordship, where the the paragraph number uh, second paragraph. Pariyadini act char body ulat tapas manchana leva mawe to ulat tapas mapi gato e vat kari chek amari pariyadu sogan name kai tariki kitla wage check nana apela te haki ka jana vel nati e vat kari chek kai tariki kitli rakam apa mawe te no ulat karo mawe nati e vat kari chek putwar siwa amare anyo koi dando nati e vat kari chek chopra wage re mathal nafa vise khuti jana kari rakhe e vat kari chek nana arupi na apel te dar sa amare pokto lafan ke liki dadar pura ho nati so the learned judge of passing the order of acquittal learned judge was a prima facie observed that as I don't have any return documents that I hand over the money to him. And the second aspect that Evat Karinati ke rupiya naula kyaathi lavi na pya tiye maate no koi pura ho haati. That as I admit it, that I am not ready and willing to deposit the income tax return before the court. That is the one one round which was taken by the learned judge while passing that order. Then on page number five, 
Now on page number five, the second paragraph. आम उपरोक्त फरियादी ने जुबानी वंचन लेवो में आखिरी मोती रकम बाबत उल्लेख कर दिया। Three lines more than above from the first paragraph, last three lines. ये बात करने से कार्य करने के लिए। Yes. Please read it. ये बात करी ची कहाँ नहीं परियाद अनुभव नोटिस मुकले नहीं एक्लेडमेंट रजिम है जिसे हम कहीं सकुन के नोटिस मॉडल चेक ना नाउ सो फॉर दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन इस इस कंसर्न सेक्शन 27 ऑफ़ दी जनरल क्लोजेस एक्ट इस वेरी क्लियर दैट व्हेन व्हेन दी नोटिस इस सेंड ऑन दी करेक्ट एड्रेस इट इस before oh, the trial Lord court, Chief. you have served on the same address. Yes, your lordship. On the same address. Yes, your lordship. Very well. And even this is the where where the court itself observed on a page number two in the short facts that with the complaint I also gave the track report of the uh, postal department, which shows that the uh, the, the uh, notice is served. Let us see the list of documents. It includes track report also. Yes, your lordship. Page number twenty-six, your lordship. Yes, page three. Pura or Raju Rakpa ma avela shi. Yes, your lordship. Post khata no track report ang chhod. Ang pandar. Yes. Right. So track report you have brought on record. Yes, your lordship. Then on page number five. Uprok fariyadi ni jubani manchana leva mat atli rakam baba te ulet tapas ma sankas. संतोष कारक तुला सोकरेल सकल चेक मार रखा वेल जनों क्या थी लावेल चेते बाबत है जुदा जुदा जवाब आपेल चे डेट इज़ नॉट सो दी परव्यू दी दी कंप्लेनेंट हैविंग दी दी प्रेजेंशन अंडर 139 डेट व्हेन दी चेक इज़ इन इन चेक वाज गिवन बाय दी एक्यूज टू दी कंप्लेनेंट इट इज़ टू डिस्चार्ज दी Amount and how he gave to the, the accused. But then rebuttal can be even at the stage of cross examination, right? If in cross examination, but, but that, if you fail to even even as he received my notice, he does not reply to that, and therefore the judgment quoted by the learned judge of Supreme Court yes. in a, in a, in a misconceived notion. In that case, the rebuttal was given by the the accused by way of evidence it is also observed there if i if i read that judgment from starts from page number six it is reproduced from page number six your lordship the relevant paragraph is paragraph number 28 on page number seven yes we are of the view that when evidence laid before the court to indicate that apart from loan of six lakhs given to accused within two years amount of 18 lakhs have been given out by the complainant and his financial capacity being questioned it was incumbent on the complainant to have explained his financial capacity court cannot insist a person to lay the negative evidence the observation of the high court the trial court findings that the complainant failed to prove his financial capacity of lending money is perverse and cannot be supported then on then paragraph number 29 at bottom high court with without discarding the evidence which was laid by the defense could not have held that finding of the trial court regarding financial capacity of complainant is perverse we are thus satisfied that the accused raised probable defense finding trial court complaint failed to prove finance based on the evidence laid by the defense here defense does not lay any any, any evidence therefore this is in a wrong prospect the judgment was considered by the learned trial court right but then few questions were put to you in cross examination yes right yes now if but those in, questions even even in this in in this judgment it is clearly observed by the by the court at paragraph number 28 itself that cannot compel to give the negative evidence he should come even he should he, enter into he, he has ample opportunity firstly he has to describe that the how he got the check what he said in the in the in the in the for uh, statement under 313 of the CRPC that I don't know how he get the check as he is my friend. He don't know. Yes. It is not possible that someone having your checks and utilizing, he received the notice. He didn't even respond to the notice at all. If at all he was not, I, I, as a, as a, 
I'm holding, uh, holding the check yes. without any legal debt. He certainly issue me the notice. So only on the financial capacity. Yes. Yes, your lordship. Complaint has not been. Yes, your lordship. That is the that is the final observation. Akri view. Parvars. Jethi mudda number ek no jawab nakar maapi mudda number be niche mujhe no ukam karwa maache. Fordari kariya sahita ni basso panchao ni kano hai. Watau khat ni ek saal tris mujhe guna mati ni dos chodi mukwa no ukam karwa maache. Right. Yes, Mr. Pandya. Thank you. Super. Thank you. Super. Age age four mujhe. Lord, the, their notice or the complaint Lord, doesn't say that on which date and on what amount has been given to the I mean, Lord, uh, to the recent applicant, recent respondent, the original accused. Lord, the honourable court may kindly have a look at Lord, that nothing has been produced by him. That how the amount has been given, given on what date amount has been given, and but so far as the capacity, because he has stated below specifically question was put that uh, what business he is he is having. Lord, uh, he has stated that he was thirty check your footwear, see why our Maraku jando nahi. Then we looked specifically question was asked regarding the producing of the document as, as well as the return. He was Kharije Gisabi Chopra over Kharid Vichan Tepa Thail Court Visa Jani Sakan. He was Kharije and Nana Arupin Apelahoti, the South of Maripasaku Lakanka, other Bura Nati, Amomara Vira return to Jukarva Yarnati, Amo Arupin Apel Lakam, Amara, our other return Malani Lakam Tarika Bulti Nati. Lord, if he is having the dead the only business of footwear, yes. and if it, is, it has nothing been mentioned in the, in the account. Lord, and then we Lord, on the uh, second aspect, Lord, in the notice, there's uh, nothing has been stated that from where he has uh, obtained this this much amount. Lord, in the cross, the, when the specific question was put, Lord, first point of time he stated that Mari Ben Pansadi Lavela, then says the Sari Pansadi Lavela. Then we Lord, uh, 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 the second page number five, Lord, Sai Janavachik Mari Sari, I mean, Babel Lakrupena, Cheko Apela, the Sadar Pura, Rajukaro, then we Lord, the further question was asked. That whether are you ready to produce that bank statement if the amount has been given by your sister in law, then he denied. Evat Karichek, Amari notice, Priya Purana, Suvenama, Sadaka, Amari Sali Patni Pasati, Uchini, Lindil, Tiak, Janavil Nati, Amo Aropine, Rupia, Naula, Kensija, Pratham, Tukreti, total Naula, Kensija, Appel, Apple Tata, Chomina, Same Lage. If the Dina Miller, the period has not been mentioned, the amount specifically has not been mentioned, he says that Tukre Tukre Appel, that is one. And Lord, so far as the notice is concerned, Lord, uh, the notice was sent to the uh, two different addresses, Lord. That is, Lord, uh, the same para last uh, uh, three lines. Please, you have heard that Aropi has been sent to the Muklaveli notice on acknowledge acknowledge many halni prayer done away the due nothing. You have heard that halni prayer done away notice Muklaveli acknowledge the due no how the team who is a good name for Aropi has notice made. So far as the that that uh, track record is concerned, Lord, that has been uh, placed on the record. Yes, and the tentative act has been given. But yes. when the specific question was asked, that this notice has been not served, and he is also not aware that whether notice has been served or not. Lord, in that case, in my uh, request, um, uh, my my submission, Lord, the officer of the post department should be examined to prove that the specific notice had been uh, served to the. But Mr. Pandey, ultimately, what is the status in the track report? Uh, it, it is shown to be received. It is received. It is received. That has been shown. But Lord, <coughs> the, for that, Lord, the ultimately, but at the time of Lord, initial statement, Lord, the tentative act has been given. Yes. But now that is burden on them to prove. When if I I will not deny that I have not received the, that that notice, mm. then it may it may uh, conclude that yes, it has been solved. But the specific question was asked. I have denied the same. And Lord, in respect, uh, in that Lord, they have to prove the burden of the proof is on. But then, what is the essential requirement of? 138 proceedings. No, that it would notice, really notice, was the notice no, is sent. Notice is, uh, is required to be so far. Would it not be suffice that it has been sent through RPAD? No, Milot. It is sent to RPAD, but Milot, uh, then Milot, they have to show the produce this acknowledgement, Milot, that uh, acknowledgement receipt. If the track report is there, but we don't know the track report is genuine or not, whether it is sought to whom, Milot, for, for proving that aspect, Milot, the officer of the post department should be examined. Yes. Just by producing that track report, Milot, it, it cannot be. Uh, said that it has been sold. You know, to sold to him, whom you know, whether the house was closed, uh, sold to this uh, some neighbor. You know, that is not, uh, and therefore this specific question was put to him. Right, but then on that ground, the court has not. You know, the court has called gone into the, that right. You are not in a. Um, but then the only ground which is taken into yes. consideration is financial capacity, which yes, the is, in cross is, examination yes, he failed that, to that respond. Right, and you know, that that. The court has below also also observed that Pariyadi Arabi Mitrochi Jethi Janni Vache koi vevar pete lever diol thali no but but for the what for what sort legal deals below he has to prove that on 
what basis he is claiming this amount from me? But that then is also not presumption would not be available. Certainly, below that, but just Let on this, be allowed leave to appeal will grant and appeal will be admitted. RNP is called for. You want me to expedite here the matter, then we can expedite it. Yes, leave to appeal is granted, appeal is admitted, RNP to be called for. Yes, next. Appeal is not notified. It is only leave to appeal, which is notified. Then appeal is directed to be notified for admission hearing. Next week. Next week. No, no. At least you remain present for conducting the matter. That's yeah. Next. Mr. Parik is state has not filed any. No. No. State has not filed appeal. But then this leave to appeal would not be required, right? It will not be required. Yes. yes. And even the judgment of honorable applicants is there Correct. now. Yes. Right. The latest one subsequently referring the earlier judgment, Malik Arjun judgment yes. also states will not states. be required. Yes. So, in view of the judgment, I'll say that the present application is not required and let the appeal be notified for admission hearing. Appeal is notified today? No, it is only leave to appeal. Leave to appeal is there. This is an application seeking leave to appeal file under Section 378 of Code of Criminal Procedure at the instance of the original complainant seeking challenge to the judgment and order of acquittal dated 30th of March, 2022, passed by the learned fourth judicial magistrate first class, Junagar, in criminal case number 1615 of 2008. By the said judgment and order, the learned magistrate has recorded acquittal of Present respondent one to four original accused from the offenses punishable from the alleged offenses punishable under section 323, 325, read with section 114 of Indian Penal Code. The learned magistrate has further directed to release the respondent original accused for surety of an amount of rupees 5,000 to secure their presence before the appellate court. Next. This court on 27th of March, 2023 had heard the learned advocate appearing for the applicant original complainant. <laughs> learned additional public prosecutor had appeared on behalf of respondent state and had prayed for time to go through the impugn judgment and order of acquittal to assist this court. She had also prayed for time to get instructions as regards any appeal being referred by the state against the very said judgment. Today when the matter is taken off for hearing, Ms. Runda Shah, learned additional public prosecutor, has under instruction submitted that the state has not preferred any appeal against the Impugned judgment and order of acquittal. She has further relied upon the decision of Honorable Apex Court in the case of Joseph Stephen versus Santhana Swam, Sami. Sami. Yes, reported in. It is. AIG, I think it is reported in SCC also. What scale citation is mentioned on the top? Not a scale citation. Yes, 2022 to scale 289. And has submitted that in view of amendment 
being brought in section 372 of crpc after 2009 and the insertion of proviso to section 372 of crpc the original complainant or even a victim as the case may be can be relegated to prefer an appeal as provided under section 372 of crpc but then so far as 3784 is concerned in your case considering the facts of the case it would be he can be treated as victim also yes he can be treated right? yes he can be treated in the given set of facts considering the nature of allegations made where the incident had resulted into the injuries alleged to have been sustained by the original complainant being victim to the said to the said alleged incident comma this court is of the view that the appeal under section 372 of crpc can be looked into without any due to appeal being filed under subsection 4 of section 378 of crpc and its present application is disposed of <coughs> let the appeal be registered and be notified for admission hearing which date we should keep it okay it would be convenient to you for next week or 31st march 31st friday yeah. would be friday first monday monday, monday? monday. then on 3rd of april 3rd april yeah. well, mr bks nigar when in the second call in the second session when the matter was taken up for hearing neither of the counsels appearing for the applicants are present on earlier occasion also when the matter was taken up for hearing the learned counsels have either failed to appear before the court or have filed sick note or leave note it appears from the record that the learned advocates are not interested in proceeding with the matter in the interest of justice as a last chance matter is urgent post this matter for hearing on 31st march please hold on sir Again, the acquittal under section one thirty eight of the negotiable instrument and preferred of this present application, yes. in which the present applicant is the uh, firm where dealing with the sales and service of the four wheeler of the particular brand you are in which the opponent number two was the employee of the sales. You are we were to place on record yes, some documents. One of the document yes. in which the lawsuit last last occasion raised the query that 
there is a one document between the settlement of the part uh, respondent and the present applicant in which there is a risk. I may be permitted to the, uh, supply the copy of tender the copy. You're also, this is on WhatsApp copy because that uh, I'm uh, permit, uh, I'm tender apology if your lordship. This is what? This is the exhibit I, uh, 11 in which the present applicant as well as the present uh, uh, respond number two has settled the matter in which they have mentioned that okay, they have given a, a two, he has taken a misappropriation of fund of this amount much amount and for that he has given a check amount. So Other side is Prashant Giri Goswami, right? Please, Lord sir. <laughs> this is an affidavit filed by him. Please, Lord. This affidavit was produced on record as Exhibit yes, 11. Yes, Exhibit 11, which is on page number. Oh, Please sorry, read the uh, exhibit second 17. part. Exhibit 17. It is Exhibit 17. Please, sir. Exhibit 17. Second page. On second page, Your Lordship. Jethi Ajrozhu Pedima. Jethi Ajrozhu Pedima Avi and a Pedina General Manager Satani Besni Naki Karia Mujo Mara Ungat Vaprasma Operin Naki Rakam Parat. Apa some of the security petty so and so number check. HFC Bank Bush Katano Pach no Beja Giaro check number so and so. Or Pedina Apples, a general recom check my general Tarik Sudima Mare Pedina Chuki upon his Joe Avirikum who Pedina Chuk no Chuku, Tome Apelli check me, uh, check uh, Pedini quarters Katama, Jamakaravina recom Basuli Saketch and a Joe check bounce type to Pedimara, the Mam Prakani for the same, the most civil caravay curry success. That is the Your Lordship case in which Your Lordship uh, uh, trial court has not considered the, this uh, uh, settlement deed uh, and, and on the basic there is no any legal depth on the on, on the respond and yes. acquittal the present uh, respond number two at page 14 paragraph Please, 14 paragraph 15 which is on page number page number 16 yes i may be permitted to read that for a yes please akame banne pakshko ni pakshko ni lekhit dalilo vanchana liti faryadi tame तरफ से सोयन सो पहले का नौ पर जनाल बीजी अथॉरिटी मात्र रिफर कर रहे थे रजू थर करेल ना थी आ मुख्य तो रजू अच्छे के जारे सही एडमिट हो कि कुटी साबित थर्टी नौ तैयार कोर्ट गुनों मानव चाहिए चेक लेना माटे आप आप पियो हो तैयार गुनों मानव चाहिए जो कोर्ट जो जुवानों चेक आप पेल चेक ना � તે ચેક કાયદેસરનો વસૂલ કરી શકાય તેવો હતો અથવા તો સ્વીકારે જવાબદારી કે જેની રકમ વસૂલ કરી શકાય તેવા લેણા પેટે આપવો કે છે કેમ તે આ દલાલ નક્કી કરવાનું છે ફરિયાદી પુરાવાના સગંદામાં નોટિસમાં ફરિયાદી નોકર સમય દરમિયાન આરોપી પેઢીના કારકારના ગ્રાહકો પાસેથી ડાઉન પેમેન્ટની ઉઘરાલી રકમ પેઢીમાં જમા કરાવવાને બદલે તેમના અંગત વપરાશમાં લઈ અને વાપરી નાખે છે અને તે તે રકમ 61 સોયન્સો પેઢીમાં જમા કરાવેલ નથી આ હકીકત સામે ઉલટ તપાસની વિગતો જોઈએ તો તેમના પર જેનું લેણું છે તે કસ્ટમર પાસેથી બાકી નીકળેલ છે તેઓની એ વાત ખબર નથી કે કસ્ટમર કેટલા કેટલા લેણા બાકી છે એ વાત ખરી છે કે કસ્ટમરનો ડોકેટ નંબર કે ડોકેટની અંદર કસ્ટમરની દરેક વિગત છે આ આ કામે કસ્ટમરનો ડોકેટ રજૂ કરેલ નથી જણાવે છે કે લેજર એકાઉન્ટ રજૂ કરેલ છે આ લેજર એકાઉન્ટમાં અમારા એકાઉન્ટ મેનેજર બતાવેલા છે એ વાત ખરી છે કે કારની ડિલિવરી જ્યારે પેમેન્ટ આવે ત્યારે આપવાની છે આ પેમેન્ટ સેલ્સમેન લેતા હોય આ પેમેન્ટ ક્લિયર હોય ત્યારે આપીએ છે આ પેમેન્ટ એકાઉન્ટમાં જમા કરાવે છે आम फरियादी ना मूल केस मुझे अपना हाल ना आरोपी पास से कोई अकायदा सनी लेनी रकम बाकी निकलती ना होती तो इस पोस्ट पब्लिक उल्टा तपास दर्मन पर आपानु आवेल चे फरियादी नंबर सोयन सोनी पेटी सामे उच्चापद करेल चे तेव दर्शावा सारू आ फरियादी तेनी तेने कोई रकम सम्पानी आवेल होती ते बतावेल कोई पुराव रजू क नथी आ कामे फरियादी सेल्स मैनेजर कस्टमर पासी रोकड़ा रकम उघरावेल छे अने पाछल दी पेढी मा जमा करावेल होय ते बाबत नो पण कोई पुरावो रजू करेल नथी आ कामे उलट तपास मा फरियादी तेनी तेवी पण कबूलत करी छे के बात खरी छे के ऊपर जणावेल लेहु आ ए बे कस्टमर नु हतु अने आ लेणा पेटे बन्ने कस्टमर नो अवार नवार बोलावी छे आ बन्ने कस्टमर ने लेणा पेटे कोई नोटिस करेल के कोई दावो करेल नथी इतले के हाल ना फरियादी पोते पण माने छे के आरोपी कोई फरियादी नु लेणु चेक लगती वक्त न हतु अने खरेखर लेणु का के खरीदना ग्राहकों पास ही लेवाना जो ग्राहकों का ना पैसा सेल्स में आप या हो तो क्या ना उग्रानी करवाने जरूरत ना पड़े परंतु उग्रानी करवाने जरूरत उपाधि थाई अने अवार नवार कस्टमरे बाकी लेना पेटे बोलवा मा आवेल थे ते बतावा माटे नू पुर्तु चेके कस्टमरे हलना सेल्स में ने कोई नाना आप या ना � करोने जवाबदारी फरियाद पक्षी थे कारण कि आज सौगंध नाम में मात्र हलना आरोपी अने नोटरी सही थे आज सौगंध नाम गुन्ना नहीं कबूलत करो आवेल आज गुनों इप्पी को नहीं कलम सोन सो मुझे में तत्पुर्ण चाह कबूलत प्रकर अर्ध अर्धो ना 
ન્યાયની પ્રકારની કબૂલાત છે આ કબૂલાત નોટરી સમક્ષ કરવામાં આવેલ છે આ નોટરી તપાસમાં આવેલી નથી આ સોગંદના નોટરીને તપાસવામાં આવેલા નથી વચાણી એટ એની સ્ટેજ હી ઇઝ ડિસ્પ્યુટેડ ઇન ક્રોસ એક્ઝામિનેશન ધીસ ડોક્યુમેન્ટ હી ઇઝ નોટ ડિસ્પ્યુટ હી ઇઝ નોટ ડિસ્પ્યુટેડ ધીસ યોર લોશિપ એની સજેશન વોઝ પુટ વિથ રિગાર્ડ ટુ ધીસ ડોક્યુમેન્ટ નો યર ધીસ ઇઝ માય કેસ યોર લોશિપ આઈ વિલ રેકોર્ડ યોર સબમિશન યસ યસ Lord Mr. Rankit Bachani, learned advocate on record for the applicant. Mr. Bachani, learned advocate on record for the applicant has placed on record the copy of the epidavit dated 7th August 2019. Placed on record. Brought on record by the original complainant as Exhibit 17. by referring to the said document mr bachani has submitted that the learned trial court on erroneous recording of fact that the amount that no document was brought on record to substantiate that the amount was recovered from the customers comma has disbelieved the case of the original complainant on the ground of non existence of legally enforceable debt against the respond number 2 original accuse prima facie considering the submissions made by learned advocate for the applicant and the document placed on record prima facie the court finds that in the affidavit the applicant had categorically admitted that the amount realized from the customer was bona fidely utilized by him and was not deposited in the account of the firm it further transpires from the affidavit that he had undertaken to make good the payment and had also given disputed check of an amount of rupees 63139 as security check which was to be presented for realization in case of failure of the payment of the disputed amount let rule be issued making it returnable after 2 weeks learned additional public prosecutor may appearing for respondent state where service of notice of rule on we of of respondent state respond number 2 be served through the concern police station also rnp be called for let registry may call for record and proceedings let us see highly of like yes not present even in the second call the learned advocate on record for the applicant is not present in the interest of justice matter is urgent after 2 weeks yes let's the accused has been acquitted on the ground that that is at least then uh, of the judgment malax yes uh, only on the ground that the notice was not issued right however malax 
crux of the matter is that initially the case was committed at Nadiyat court, Malas. Yes. Thereafter, it was transferred to Vaso court. Our case 25 may be seen of the paperwork, Malas. This was the list of documents, Malas, produced before the Nadiyat court, Malas. It was with a list which was the list, Exhibit 3. It yes. is marked as 3 of but 3, right? Uh, the documents are not exhibited. It is not exhibited because they are not the original one. Plus, in fact, uh, RP Adini Bajeli Asal Pauti. However, but in fact, it should have been mentioned in the judgment. There, however, there is no mention. But besides that, my lords, the signatures on the check is not disputed by the accused, my lords. However, but then the notice even how the will come out of this. Plus, even the reply is not uh, given to the statutory notice, my lords. Then where is the that fact proved on record Very that well, notice was only one moment sent and page nineteen sent. maybe seen my lords. Page 19 of oh, the paper book. No, the, that's the transfer order. Our last pair of minutes, the complaint, the complaint along with documents attached to the uh, to be transferred. You are to the referring court. to your paper book. Yes, yes. It's, it's, page 19. Really? Yes, that's uh, the order last para the complaint along uh, the complaint along with the documents are to be transferred to the court having jurisdiction under so and so of the act. Malaks thereafter next page Malaks page twenty. The complainant is hereby directed to receive the relevant documents and complaint and file this before competent court. However, the documents were received, but somehow by the advocate, my lords, have not been produced before that court or has not been considered. However, there is no mention in the judgment that uh, even the documents were produced. Without the notice, at the bottom, Azroj Faria Temaj Asatina Dastaviji Purava. Yes, yes, we have taken it. So the advocate, uh, when the case was transferred, the advocate should have produced before uh, that concerned trial court, my lord. Then what fault you find with the concerned magistrate? My lord, uh, you, you may take fact, appropriate action against the concerned lawyer who has failed you. In fact, we had uh, I had contact with the client initially at that point of time. The advocate is not in his touch, my lord. Uh, However, besides that, the signature on the check is not disputed, my lords. No reply to the statutory notice, my lords. Then what about this notice part? Lots that. But if, how, how can the case be committed uh, without the notice, my lords, uh, if the notice is not issued? The fact is that the notice was there, my lords. Acknowledgement received, receipt was also produced. Where is the order granting leave to appeal? Well, that is page that's right. it is a 2020, my lords. Yes, read the order. Leave to appeal granted under section 378 of C uh, CRPC is granted. The application stands allowed accordingly. Yes. No reasons has been recorded by the court. Generally, considering the fact that 138 is there, we avoid recording reason. We generally since, grant. Since it, I understand, but yes. since it was online and therefore, yes. but it was produced. Okay, Everything now was produced. Record and proceeding is before this court. We have verified this fact. Yes, the I original understand. has not been produced. But, uh, the coordinate bench wanted to confirm that only that how the when the case was transferred, why the yes. advocate did not produce the relevant documents before yes. that court. So that is the reason RNP was called for my lords. Yes. But my lords, uh, the fact remains that the notice was there, and so was the acknowledgement received. Check signatures on the check is not disputed. Merely because the, it is not disputed, presumption would be there, but then the other ingredients are also required to be satisfied. I understand, my lords, but. Then, uh, Yes. Now the client, I, humble submission with the client should not suffer on the due to the fault of the advocate, my lords. Have you uh, registered any complaint against the concerned advocate? In fact, the, have you made uh, any complaint? In the in fact, the client is not even aware that on what ground the he has been acquitted. I had to apprise him. Two years back, I had asked him that why his advocate did not produce the documents, and he said that he is not aware of the case.
then in absence of evidence, this court would not be able to help you. I understand my logic. But only if my logic would consider the signature aspect and uh, the reply to the note. Since there is no if notice. If I accept but... your submission with regard to check, the disputed check could be produced. It is there on record. Yes, it is there on record. But then this, this could be produced. Then why not the legal notice? It's now that they can only apprise of uh, the I do concerned advocate only can apprise. Why concern advocate? Because then it is for your client to explain that if original were written back, include also the original check, then in, original check could he, be uh, produced. Then why not the legal? In fact, notice? the client is not in possession of this. He, even he is not aware that his advocate did not produce when the case was transferred. You must have gone through the RNP, the original dispute yes, yes, check yes, is there. Yes, then, or the check is there, acknowledgement, uh, written memo is there, but then, not the notice and. Uh, who would believe your case? Understood. If yes. only submission would be that signature aspect may be considered, or else my lords may pass. No case for admission. Very well, my lords. I understand. Yes. Appeal is rejected. May I only submit one? Yes. My lords, at page number 83 of the RMJ report. Yes. The original documents have been produced. No acknowledgement received or uh, notice or uh, copy is produced. Thereafter, there is admission on the part of the complainant also at page number three of uh, cross examination. Yes. Uh, you are referring to cross examination? Cross examination of the complainant. Yes. Third page, my lords. Yes. Yes. What shall we there? May Aropine RPAD somewhere in between my words. Internal page third of cross examination. What shall we there? May Aropine RPAD notice Mukleli. Yes. May Aropine notice Mukleli notice Aropine Madil Cheke came. Third page, somewhere in between my lords. So far as the case on hand is concerned, the applicant herself has, has admitted in her evidence or note that there is nothing to show the service of legal notice upon the respondent accused accordingly in view of such statement and in absence of evidence to show that the accused had received the demand notice from the complainant. It could not be said that the offense or under uh, section 138 of the NIA was committed by the respondent accused. Further, so perusal of uh, the interim judgment and order reveals that the legally enforceable debt is not possible. So and so, in view of the opposite, in opposite view of the matter, there being no infirmity or illegality in the judgment and interim order in the appeal, the court is not going to uh, entertain this application. Yes. Well, uh, I understand. My lords are rejecting the appeal, but since even though here the case was different and here the accused is also not disputing he's not saying that he was not served with the notice i have my lord. so therefore very well my lord. My yes, yes. but yes please my lord. yes Have you verified this part? Uh, the death certificate was yes. 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 Please place the original document on record. This being a text copy, but get the original. Yes. 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 Yes.
So that person is the father-in-law of the deceased person. Here, once again, only point that uh, one page, four, uh, page number 419. Yes. 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 Uh, it is a doctor. Paman doctor is also there. Where categorically, doctor says the petitioner is conscious and able to give statement. Matters. Yes. And SD means they, in original, there would be a sign of the doctor is also there. Matters. Now, I am coming upon page, uh, page number 265 of the uh, Bandit Judge uh, Observation Matters. Yes. Page 265, internal page 12. Read. From uh, bottom to top minus, ninth line minus, Nimedan uh, Makhaskarin Arrow. Yes. Kaskarin Arrow P number 8, Kurka, Rajukur, Bacha, Muja, Murna, and Santana Thana, and Enemy Sava, Sri Rogna, Nishan, Doctor of Arte, Atno Varasti, Karavel Hati, and a Tame Sutta, Santana Tata, Murna Sutta, upset and a depression of Reta Hata, and a Tame Mansik Rogna, Janagan, and Judas, and Nishan, Doctor of Pase, Sasa Torasti, Sarva, Chalu Hati, Tavi wishes Nimitan Rajukur, Hakikar, Sarasati, Thirsty, Shakya Janache. अने आरोपी नवर देखना है पोता ना विशेष निवेदन खाते प्रजु करे लिस्ट साथ है ना मरना ना मानसिक बीमारी ना तेमर गायने की सावर कागलों दवा जिलों ऊपर समाधान मारे तेम कहीं शक है इन्होंने नंबर वन कमिंग टू बी यस व्हाट आई एम वांट टू So, I, what I want to convey is my uh, the whole order which we can say regarding the, the, the Mansik group, my that uh, the defense has not produced a single certificate which shows that the, the accused uh, sorry, the deceased person is a mental retard or is facing some kind of uh, medical illness, my They only produce the bills. Which, which is not also for the continuous uh, year mileage. There is a 2001 mileage to see page number 137 onwards. The bills produced by the defense mileage. Yes. This scattered mileage is not in a continuous, but they somehow, in some way, they show 2004, they show 2005, some 1996 uh, medical uh, medicines uh, are also there, but not a single certificate shows that. A doctor who are treating uh, the lady, uh, the deceased person, that she is mentally retired or she is not fit for a mental to uh, or cannot be considered yes. uh, for uh, her statement. So, merely uh, because they are relying upon the, uh, the deposition of the relatives of the deceased by saying that that is also maybe seen now, page number 83 miles. Yes. In Yes, this is the Hitendra Si Kanaksi uh, Kanaksi Dad. He is the brother of the deceased. Oh, uh, Ulla Tapas Malignancy. Uh, I may I may have it. Nita Ba Arupi number one na Kanaksi Tani na Sasu Sotrati alag reta tha. Nonan Janak Ba na Lagna. They pahela si thay gaya chhe. Ante they na Sasve chhe. Ek haru chhe ke Nita Ba na dosh horas Lagna pahela Lagna thay gaya. Ane they na Santan Novasi Tani dawa kon Arupiyo karau raha tha. Only on this deposition. This is not saying, this is not the uh, certificate. By naturally, being a posing a question to me myself, I have not gone to have a child. Naturally, I will be going to the depression, not be a mental retired. Yes. Because only on this whole ground, the the uh, defense uh, showing that he is uh, not uh, fit for the mentally, and that it is not considered by the uh, concerned uh, learned uh, yes. And then you are in the acquittal. Right. Because since this document produced by defense, defense does not uh, call any expert with regard to the uh, or who is treated the uh, the uh, disease since uh, this many years. 
they will not call upon on the record to give their whether she is mentally fit or not. Yes. So far, in my son, case is concerned that mm -hmm. doctor was present at that point of DD. He is uh, certified that uh, the, uh, he is very much. Uh, uh, Yes, uh, he is conscious and able to give statement matters. Yes. Another aspect is the magistrate is also clearly deposed that yes, she is admitted uh, in my front of that uh, she is tortured and uh, physical assault and mentally uh, tortured by the in laws marriage. Yes. So this is the good suffice the case that it's a clear conviction case. And then I also rely upon that to judgment matters. Yes. Even uh, uh, there is a. Uh, huh. Uh, the corroboration matter, where, where I rely upon 1999, uh, uh, 9 SCC 562, where yes. categorically it, it is not required if there is no doctor. Even only the magistrate, if he has taken the, uh, the 9 degrees, that would be suffice. Knowledge. The same thing is uh, also in 2022, 4 SCC, 4, uh, page number 4, uh, 741. Yes. Even in the uh, FIR also, uh, it is said that I have a tortured and um, uh, and uh, physical assault is also there. This is my suggestion. Yes. Yes, my lord. Only one aspect with regard to what my learned friend has just suggested. It is not the case, my lord, that only on the count that she was not mentally fit, my lord, the DD was not considered and acquittal was given. I'll elaborate it along with my other aspect. I would like my lords to turn to page number my lord 65. That is the deposition of Dr. My lords who has uh, performed the post mortem. My lords, relevant would be at 67. My lords, yes, paragraph number three. Ala super uh, Michi Mujo Mijo Joma Madeliati, Jema Sheridan open the word Badigala Hata and a cherry rupa 40 to 50 percent. Uh, Dermato epithelial number, Prakarnu buns Jua Madelu. And there, thereafter, my lords, he has given his opinion as to the cause of death in paragraph number five. Yes. That is Mara Abhipray Nuji, Marna Nuji, Badwana Karna, Tata Shokna Lija Thailuati, Daji Javati Uprakija, Samani Krama, Manusha Mutu Mitha Mata Kurti. Now, with my lords, my kind enough to turn to my lords page number 71, that is his cross examination. Yes. Whereby my lords in paragraph number seven. He is deposing. Eva Tharichye ke shock utpan khawa na ghna karna hoi shake chhe. Eva Tharichye ke PM karti vaka te mara dhyan par e hakikat aavel ke dardi na mrityu pehla te ne sarwar appa ma aaveli chhe. Me aka me post mortem no abhiprai aapta pehla. Ija pamnar na sarwar aap sarwar aapila na case papers PM na divasaj manga vela. Me a kagad no abhyas karele. A dardi ne Shushu Dawao Apama Avil, then in non Karel Nati Eva Karicheke, Samani Rite, Aprakani, Daji Javani Ijaoma, Sarwar Daramian, reaction Avani Shaketa Kari, a reaction na carne agat Udbavi Shake, Eva Karicheke, Avokoi Dawaki, reaction na carne shock Udbuvel Cheke came, they Sarwar na Kagado Joy, Ne Sarwar Kana Doctor Kahisheke. Akisama Dardi ne shu sharwar and a kaidawa pama will shake a camp. Ate and a tena carne shock would go will shake a camp. Te hunka hisha kun. Now I look. If my lodge may turn to be two fifty five. That is the reference in the judgment. So what is your submission? While referring to this, uh, please, my lords, cross my lords. examination. Uh, please, my lords. What is our submission is this phrase that my lords, it is deposed by the uh, doctor who has performed the PM that the cause of death is due to the shock uh, because of the burns, burn injuries, my lords. Whereby, my lords, in the cross examination, my lords, we have tried to establish the fact that my lords, due to those burn injuries, my lords, reaction is also possible. And due to that reaction, also one can die, my lords. Yes. And my lords, uh, with with this my lord's cross examination it is coming on record my lord that this person who has performed the pm my lord it, he is not aware about the fact that what kind of treatment was given my lord that can be answered to the doctor who has treated the disease yes. in admittedly my lord the doctor who has treated the disease who has recorded the history is not examined my lord 
neither my lords the medical papers are there on that page if my lords may turn to page number 255 my lords the learned judge has taken into consideration this aspect my lords in uh, while recording the uh, decision my lords Let's paragraph number ten, my lord, say two fifty three, my lord. The relevant portion will be somewhere in the middle of my lord, two fifty five. Sixth line, uh, from the top, my lord. Yes. Kramam rutiyo nipjava mathe purti hati. Doctor ni ulat tapas mujhe shock utpan thava na ghana karna hoyshe ke ane PM karti vakati theo na dhyano par evo par avail. आघात उद्भवी सके हाल के दवा के रिएक्शन कारण मरना शोक उद्भवेल सारे जामनगर मुका आज कोर्ट मुका आज कोर्ट मजर छे आरोपी नंबर एक दस वर्ष पहला था मार बेन लग्न थे जामनगर मीतोम सोसायटी में पति साथ रहती थी therefore my lord it is undisputed fact that she was residing with accused number 1 whereas other accused were residing separately mara bin geeta ne koi santan na hato aa kaam no banav aaj thi dodek varsh pehla tarikh so and so ni ratri na banelo che te divase hu jamnagar ma hato tyare mara upar phone avelo hato je thi mane banav ni jaan thai gayi mane aao phone ajit singh e karelo hato ane janavelo hato ke geeta pen raji gaya che gigi hospital ma dakal kare che tyar bad me aa ange mara bhaiyo ne pan jaan karel tyar bad mara bhaiyo so and so so and so pan jaan kare liya thi ane ave so and so na so and so ne jaan kare thi कुटुंबियों further two lines which will be relevant to establish my case my lord at page number 83 yes gojanna geeta ba ane aarop number 1 kanaksi teni na saasu sasra thi alag rehta tha tena nanan janak ba na lagna te pehla thi thai gayla tha ane tena saasre che ek kharu che ke gojanna geeta ba na 10 varsh pehla lagna thai gayla tha santan na hua thi teni davao pan aaropiyo karavta tha te karane teo thoda manchik ane aswasth rehta tha amare tya geeta ba avta tyare ame pan निवेदन लीधर तेरे मामलतार yes please my lord my lord with regard to the mental illness fact to my lord undisputedly my lord she was suffering from some amount some kind of mental ailment i am not saying that she was mentally retarded neither that is the case of the defense my lord our case is only this wise 
that since long she was undergoing some mental treatment my lords that might be that might be depression that might be other thing my lords we are not stating at all my lords that she was mentally retarded person and my lords that is substantiated with the uh, deposition of her relatives as well as my lords the various bills which have been produced since 2001 my lords yes this incident has taken place in october 2006, 2006. Right? so any documents nearby that Please, my date of incident uh, 137 is of january 2005 137 please my lords thereafter my lords uh, 141 is april 2005 149 is March 2005. My lots others are there with regard to my lots uh, gynecological uh, reports, my lots. Yes. <laughs> But hmm. the best I can find is April 2005, my lords. I think at page 185. What is the date mentioned? It is 29 December. Please, my lords. 29 December 2005. Please. Now, my lords, I would like to uh, refer to the my lords major portion of evidence. I may skip the all the relatives' evidence, my lords, because it is similar. Yes. All are stating the same fact that uh, the Caesar's not informed her them earlier about any kind of harassment or cruelty on the part of in-laws as well as husband, my lords, and because she was not having any issue, she has committed suicide. Yes. And all are stating the same thing again, my lords, that in their presence, the DD was recorded. Yes. Now, if my lords were kind enough to turn to page number 103, that is the deposition of magistrate. Page 103. Yes. 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 कलक अग्ग्यर पिस्ताली से रात्रे रात्रे मढ़ेल जिस थर्ड प्रत हासिया में हमारी पोता ने सही चीज ये हो रजु करूँ शो देर आफ्टर जे यादी हमारी पासे तो ही असल बता रही है रजु करूँ शो मने यार यादी मढ़ी तैयार बात वो दस पंद्रह मिनट बाद गीता बा नाम ने व्यक्ति नो मरनोत्मक मरनोत्मक निवेदन तेरी नो डीडी लेता पहला मैं डॉक्टर साहेब नो तेरी स्वास्थ्य कोई अंगे तथा डीडी आप इशारे के तेरी स्थिति में चेते वो प्रमाण पत्र मिले त्यार बाद तेरी है हमारी एग्जीक्यूटिव मेजिट से तरक नहीं ओढ़ा खा पे नहीं अने ते वक्त इतिहास डॉक्टर हाजर हता अने ते वो ये मने दर्दी नहीं छापीसिन छाटी सड़गी जाए जवाम जता मोड़े हाथ पक छाती ना बागे दाजी गए थे मैं लो चाइम हाइपिंग डी वर्ड क्रोध माहिये घरे तारीख ओगन त्रिस दस बेजार छोना रोज सांझ ना आठ वाके नहीं आसपास बने बनाओ बने लो अने तेवा के दे घर में तेरी तथा तेरा पति हाजर रहता अने तैयार बनाओ बाद तेरी दवा खाने तेरी ना जेठ देर 
તેણીને વાંચીને સંભળાવેલું હતું અને ત્યારબાદ તેણીના હાથે પાટાઓ હોવાથી તેણીના જમણા પગના અંગૂઠાનું નિશાન મેળવવામાં આવેલ આ મરણાત્મક નિવેદન તેર દિવસની રાત્રિના કલાક ઝીરો ઝીરો પાંત્રીસે પૂરું કરવામાં આવેલ Look, my lord, the recording has been started at 0070. It ended at 0035 o'clock, sir. Yes. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll skip to the cross-examination, my lord. On the very same page, page number 105, last portion. Banao ni ratri na hundi di hospital na broad board ma ratri na bar das vaggye pot chil gaya le. Jee female surgical board number saad ato. Nu aari te board ma gaya ho, tiyaare police nivedan nondwaanu chalu ho. Te vakha te tiya koi doctor shri hajar na ha ta. તે વખતે પોલીસ સ્ટાફ ત્યાં બેઠે ત્યાં કેટલો હતો તે હું જાણતો નથી તે વખતે ગુજરનાર ગીતાબા પોલીસને બેઠા બેઠા નિવેદન આપતા હતા કે સૂતા સૂતા તે મેં જોયેલ તે વખતે ત્યાં આ રીતે પોલીસ નિવેદન નોંધતી હોવાથી જ્યાં ડોક્ટરશ્રી બેસતા હોય ત્યાં બેસેલ ત્યારબાદ મેં નર્સને જણાવેલ કે ડોક્ટરશ્રીને બોલાવ ત્યારબાદ દસેક મિનિટ બાદ ડોક્ટરશ્રી આવેલ તે વખતે ત્યાં પોલીસ હાજર ન હતી ડોક્ટરશ્રી આવ્યા બાદ મેં તેઓને જણાવેલ કે આ દર્દી નું નિવેદન લેવાનું છે અને તે ડીડી આપી શકે છે કે કેમ ડોક્ટરશ્રી એ આઠ ફોર્ટી નાઇન ના ડીડી માં પોતાની પેન થી પ્રમાણપત્ર આપેલું હું દર્દી પાસે ગયો ત્યારે તેની સારવાર ચાલુ ન હતી મતલબ સગેન આઈ એમ હાઈપિંગ ધીસ પોઈન્ટ એ વાત ખરી છે કે એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ મેજિસ્ટ્રેટ શક્ય હોય ત્યાં સુધી આ પ્રકારના કિસ્સામાં પ્રશ્ન તેની ફોર્મ માં ડીડી નોંધવું જોઈએ મેં દર્દી ને જેટલા પ્રશ્નો પૂછ્યા છે તેની નોંધ ડીડી માં કરેલ છે મેં કોઈ પ્રશ્ન પૂછેલ હોય અને દર્દીએ જવાબ આપેલ ન હોય તેવું બનેલ નહીં મેં આ દર્દીને ડીડીમાં લખ્યા સિવાય કોઈ પ્રશ્ન પૂછેલ નથી ડોક્ટરશ્રી એવું કઈ મેં ડોક્ટરશ્રી એવું કઈ પૂછેલ નથી કે આ દર્દીને પેઇન કિલર કે સિડેક્ટિવ પ્રકારની દવા આપેલી છે કે કેમ માયલોજ દેટ વિલ બી અગેન અ રિલેવન્ટ પોર્શન માયલોજ ટુ એસ્ટાબ્લિશ હ મેન્ટલ સ્ટેટ એટ ધ ટાઈમ ઓફ ગિવિંગ ડાઈંગ ડિક્લેરેશન તે જ રીતે મેં ડીડી લેતા પહેલા તેણીના સારવાર પેપર્સ જોયેલા નથી એ વાત ખરી નથી કે આઠ ફોર્ટી નાઇન ના ડીડીમાં શેષ શરમ વિના શબ્દ પાછળથી લખવામાં આવેલ છે એ વાત ખરી છે કે ડીડીમાં શેષ શરમ શબ્દ તેની આગળ પાછળના શબ્દો અને લાઈનો કરતા ઘાટા અક્ષરોથી લખાયેલ છે માયલોજ દેર ઇઝ સમ અમાઉન્ટ ઓફ ઓવર રાઈટિંગ વિચ ઇઝ કમિંગ ઓન ડીડી આઈ હેવ અ ટાઈપ કોપી માયલોજ દેખો આઈ આઈ કેન નોટ એસ્ટાબ્લિશ દેટ ફેક્ટ રાઈટ નાઉ માયલોજ બટ ઇફ માયલોજ મે પરયુઝ પેજ નંબર ફોર વન નાઇન ઇટ ઇઝ ધ કોપી ઓફ ધ ડાઈંગ ડિક્લેરેશન માયલોજ ઉપરના જવાબ મેં સ્વેચ્છાએ શે શરમ વગર લખાવેલ છે વિચ મીન્સ માય લોજ દેટ વર્ડ ઇઝ મેન્શન એન્ડ ઇફ ઇટ ઇઝ કમિંગ આઉટ ઓન રેકર્ડ દેટ દેર ઇઝ સમ amount of darkness is writing at that word my lords there is some amount of over writing or some misrepresentation is there in dd which which can be traced by this my lords yes and my lords he is accepting the fact that there there is amount of uh, color difference in uh, sheshram and other words my lords there are to my lords e vat khari nahi ke gujarna na bhai hitendra mara mitra thai che e vat khari nahi ke hu hospital ma gayo tyare hitendra tyan hazar tha આઉટસાઈડ ધ રૂમ મેં therefore my lord he cannot say this ke uh, the person was not present over there yes now my lord i would like to read the my lord evidence of io because both this evidence are uh, by showing the contradiction in both this evidence my lord the learned judge has made certain observation therefore my lord first i'll go through the evidence of io as well my lord immediate page 111 Well, I will skip the earlier portion, my lords, the chief examination, my lords. I'll directly come to a cross-examination, my lords, page number 199. Yes. <coughs> Paragraph number 10, my lords. Banao pehla behtan mahina thi hu city B division police station ma parish maakha. Gigi hospital ma 
અમારા પોલીસ સ્ટેશન વિસ્તારમાં આવે છે એ ખરું છે કે એમએલસી કેસ ના દર્દી ત્યાં પ્રથમ તાત્કાલિક સારવાર વિભાગમાં આવે ત્યાં ફરજ ઉપરના ડોક્ટર શ્રી ઓપીડી કેસ પેપર કાઢી અને મેડિકલ કે લીગલ કેસ જણાય તો જીજી હોસ્પિટલ ની પોલીસ ચોકી માં જાણ કરે છે અને ત્યાં એએસઆઈ કક્ષાના પોલીસ અધિકારી ફરજ પર હોય છે અને તેઓ નાનો ગુનો હોય તો દર્દી ની પૂછપરછ કરી ફરિયાદ નોંધી લે અને મોટો ગુનો હોય તો દર્દી ની પૂછપરછ કરી ને તેના આધારે યાદી તૈયાર કરી છે તે બી ડિવિઝન પોલીસ સ્ટેશન માં મોકલે છે now my lord this police officer who was present at relevant point of time in a hospital my lord he is not been examined who must have uh, had some amount of my lord's conversation with the deceased and thereafter forwarded the yadi as per his statement my lord right આગ પચાસવાળી યાદી જોઈને કહું છું કે તે દિવસે હોસ્પિટલ ડ્યુટી એએસઆઈ તરીકે સુએનચો અમારા પોલીસ સ્ટેશનમાં મોકલેલ યાદી છે અને તેમાં ઈજા પાવનાર કોઈ કારણસર દાજી ગયેલાનું જણાવે છે અને તેથી ડીડી લેવા અને આગળની કાર્યવાહી કરવા તે યાદી મોકલે છે દર્દીને વોર્ડમાં લાવ્યો ત્યારે હું ત્યાં ગયેલ અને ત્યારે દર્દીના સગા બહાર હોય તો મને ખ્યાલ નથી મેં તે વખતે ઈજા પામનારનો ડીડી લેવાઈ ગયેલ છે કે કેમ તેની તપાસ કરે તેની સારવાર ચાલુ હતી મેલોચ ઇન એડવર્ટેન્ટલી મેલોચ ઇવન આઈ વિલ ટેક what has been stated by the executive magistrate as it is my lord when he reached the police was recording the uh, my lord statement of the deceased my lord he is stating executive magistrate is stating my lord no treatment was going on at that particular period of time whereas my lord io is stating that the treatment was going on at that particular period of time this is the another contradiction which is coming on record mani yaad nahi ke te vakate bhaga chalta hata ke kya te vakate mari sathe mara writer hata hastakshar mara nahi મેં એમએલસી કેસ ની જાણ કરનાર અને પ્રથમ સારવાર આપનાર ડોક્ટર શ્રી નું નિવેદન લીધેલ નથી કે તે અંગેનો ઓપીડી કેસ પેપર કબજે કરેલ નથી કે સારવાર ના કાગળો તપાસ દરમિયાન કબજે કરેલ નથી કે અન્ય એ દર્દી તરીકે સારવાર આપનાર ડોક્ટર શ્રીઓ ના નિવેદનો લીધેલ નથી it is my lord how the learned judge has examined this my lord uh, evidence yes my lord paragraph number 12 onwards i may be permitted to read my lord uh, i apologize my lord before that only one aspect if my lord may kind enough to turn to page number 467 this is the copy of the fir page yes my lord if my lord me pari us khabar apya ni tarikh ane kalak 30/10/2006 kalak 12:30 my lord on the 471 my lord her statement is there right what she is stating is my lord i i'll Uh, skip to last paragraph my lord because that is the relevant for the uh, incident which has been occurred on that particular day azrat chand na ashik athik vagye hu mara ghare hazir hati tyare mara pati avel mari pase mari sathe santan thata nahi te babate jhagdo karva lage ane mane kahel ke tu marti nahi nagar hu bija lagna kari shaku je thi me temne kahel ke hu mari jao to tamne shanti thati hoy tem me kehta mara pati mane kahel ke suencho suencho hoy to tu mari ja je thi mane ekdam lagi avta અમારા ઘરમાં પડેલ કાચની શીશીમાં કેરોસીન ભરેલ હતું તે કેરોસીન મેં શરીર છાટી દેવા સડી મેં મારી જાતે ચાપી હું સળગેલ અને હું સળગતી ઘરની બહાર નીકળતા મારા પતિએ મારા પર ગોદડું નાખી મને થારેલ હતી મોઢાના ભાગે તથા બંને હાથ અને ગળાના ગોદડ સુધી દાજી ગયેલ છે મારા પતિ તથા સાસરી પક્ષના સોયન છો સોયન છો માયલોચ નાઉ ઇફ માયલોચ મે પરયુઝ વોટ ઇઝ રેકોર્ડેડ ઇન ડી ડી માયલોચ એઝ વેલ એઝ વોટ ઇઝ કમિંગ આઉટ ઇન એફ આઈ એમ માયલોચ देयर ઇઝ સમ અમાઉન્ટ ઓફ કોન્ટ્રડિક્શન ઇન બોથ ધ વર્ઝન્સ એઝ વેલ and that is what is my lots recorded by learned court below my lots coupled with the fact of mental condition which was prevailing before yes that page 419 dd uh, page 257 my lots internal page 8 of the judgment i may be permitted to read from paragraph number 12 on which because yes. this is the appreciation હવે આ કામે મુખ્યત્વે ફરિયાદ પક્ષનો કેસ જેના પર મદાર રાખે છે તે ફરિયાદ પક્ષના સાયદ નંબર સાત અને એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ મેજિસ્ટ્
मेल छाटी रिपोर्ट this is recording through the evidence of the mamladar right please sir deputy mamladar please sir te vakati tya koi doctor hazir na hata ane police mandal nu nivedan nahti hua te pote doctor besta hoy tya baithela ane pachi nurse dwara doctor ne bolavta doctor 10 minute pachi hospital ma avela ane te vakati tya police hazir na hati ane sahib na katan mujab te hoye mandal ne koi prashna puchhel hoy ane teo ni teni na jawab apel na hoy te banel nahti vadu ma majkur sahib ni juwani ma teo didi leta pela मकमतापूर्वक पड़कार चर्चा मुजब आ केस मनसिक रीते अस्वस्थ था दवाओ आत्महत्या शुरू कर डॉक्टर रेकॉर्ड पर 
ત્યારે પોલીસની હાજરી કે હાજરીની અસર કે પોલીસ કે સગાવાલાના પ્રભાવને અન્વયે અથવા તો ઉશ્કેરાટમાં મનનારે એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ મેજિસ્ટ્રેટ શિષ્યવક્ષ નિવેદન આપેલા હોવાનું સંભવી શકે અને તેમાં જણાવેલ હકીકત ખરી ન હોય તે હોઈ શકે તેવી બચાવ પક્ષની દલીલ સાથે ઉપરોક્ત સંજોગોમાં હું સહમત થાઉં છું melods therefore melods what my learned friend has just stated before i started arguing with regard to the certification of doctor is concerned yes. the learned court has melods very well answered that aspect as well that that is only the certification which has been stated by the uh, executive magistrate that she was examined but melods when doctor was not present after he came whether he has checked the condition of the disease and given the certification or not that is not produced on record melods on the other hand my lord the doctor who has examined at that particular time he that doctor himself is not my lord examined on record vaduma akame nonwala ek haqeeqat e pan che ke aak 50 ni hospital duty police constable je police ne yadi banavva banav pachi tarat jamnagar city b division police station ne mokli ape che ane police ne bachav ni jaan banav ni jaan thata chata tatkalik police banav nu koi karan jani shakel nahi etlu j nahi aa yadi sathe mnc ni slip papers pan rakh sathe rakhel hati ane te ni banav ni history opd case paper ma lakhel hoy ane mannar ne pratham sarvar apnar doctor ne mannare apeli history ni haqeeqat pan te ma janavel hoy parantu aa kaame hospital duty head constable shri je pratham gujarnar pase gaye આયો as well as my lord's evidence of the executive magistrate coupled with the fact my lord that the person who has treated us first is not examined her medical papers are not on record my lord at the same point of time my lord the person who is the police uh, officer who was uh, in charge at that particular point of time at hospital my lord he is also not examined my lord and the contradiction which is coming out on record with regard to the different statement my lord as well as the difference of time my lord and my lord the certification which is given by the doctor yes. on all these grounds my lord coupled with the fact that in past my lord it is coming out on record that she was undergoing some mental treatment the dd was not considered right. it is my lord not the case that the dd was not considered only on the count that she was suffering from some mental illness now my lord there is one more person my lord who is examined my lord as such my lord he was the punch witness but my lord sir considering he was neighbor my lord his statement was also relied upon uh, or also uh, my lord my learned friend is referred my lord that is it uh, my lord page number page number 73 my lord vinod bhai uh, kargathra uh, it page 75 my lord he is stating certain fact પેરેગ્રાફ નંબર 2 આ પંચનામા અને નંબર 2 ઉપર અમારી સાથે જે બેન હાજર હતા તેમણે સહી કરેલી હતી અને તેમના નામનો મને ખ્યાલ નથી અને જે સહી તેમણે મારા રૂપ કરેલ છે તે બાદ આ પંચનામામાં પોલીસ ટુકાણ પોલીસ ની રૂબરૂની સહી કરી છે ગુજરાતના ગીતાબા પાણી થતા તેમના જામનગરમાં નીતમલ સોસાયટી ખાતે લગ્ન થયેલા તેમના લગ્ન કનકસી સાથે થયેલા ગુજરાતના ગીતાબા નું લગ્ન જીવન કેવું હતું તેવા સવાલમાં જવાબમાં સાહેબ જણાવે છે કે કજિયા ચાલતા હતા તે બંને માણસો ને ભળતું ન હતું અમારે તેમની સાથે સંબંધ હોવાથી મને જાણ હતી અને વચમાં તે કાના ચિકારી ગામો પોતાના ભાઈ કે પિતા પાસે આવેલા હતા તે લોકો ઘરે બંને માણસો બાજેલા અને તેમાં પોતે એટલે કે ગીતાબાએ કેરોસીન છાટીને મરી ગયેલી મને ગીતાબાના ભાઈએ શાપર મુકામે ફોન કરેલો જેથી મને બનાવની જાણ થયેલી તેથી હું હોસ્પિટલમાં રોકાયો હોસ્પિટલમાં હું એકલો જ ગયેલો ત્યાં ગુજરાતના ભાઈઓ હતા તેમને હું મળેલો આ ભાઈઓમાં હિતેન્દ્રસિંહ અને સોહેન છો હતા ત્યારબાદ હું પાંચ છ દિવસ ગીતાબાની સારવારમાં રોકાયો હું આ દરમિયાન ગીતાબાને જોવા ક્યારેક જતો હતો અને બાકી હું દૂરથી રૂમની બહાર લઈ રહેતો હતો હું ગીતાબાને જોવા જતો ત્યારે તે સૂટેલા રહેતા મારે આ અને ગુજરાતના ગીતાબા સાથે કોઈ વાતચીત થયેલ ન હતી કારણ કે તે બહુ બોલી શકતા ન હતા He is accepting the fact that what, what uh, 
information mylods he has stated with regard to mylods the quarrel and fights between the in-laws as well as husband and mylods uh, deceased mylods that is yes. yourself therefore that part mylods in my respectful submission will not consider page 77 Gujarna Gita Bana Mautarna Mautar Nuna it may be Gam Milo Kani Kachari Che J Amara Gamsi eight kilometer do Paiche Mare Banau Pela K Banau Bad Gita Basate Koi Vachit Pelnati. Tej with a Gita Banatina Sasrama Kaidi Terakta Tiangi Mara Gujarna and a Pariwa Satipan Koi Vachit Karit Pelnati. Mari Sarta Pasmuja Gita Banaji Kajakanjas Tata Tate Vat me Amara Gamna Chore Sambreli Aviva me Koni Pasa Sambrel Tehu Kai Shakune. Therefore, my lord, in my respectful submission, my lord, the another uh, evidence which might be of some help to my lord, the case of the prosecution, is this only witness, my lord, apart from DD, my lord. But that evidence is also based on hearsay evidence. In my lord, the one uh, relevant aspect which is coming on from his evidence is. The condition of Gita Bamalots, what he is stating is that she was not in a position to speak anything. Malots. Now, Malots, coupled with everything, Malots, my respectful submission will go just like that. Malots, what is observed by the learned court below, Malots, is correct. And, Malots, it, it, and therefore, Malots, what is stated by my learned friend in the appeal, Malots, will not be considered, Malots, may not be considered, Malots. To substantiate it further, Malots, I cannot run away from the fact that my fact that the DD can be relied as a sole evidence, my lord. But my lord, even it is the settled principle that when once the DD, which is found to be true and voluntarily given, and all the other credentials are proved, my lord. Yes. In that case, or only my lord, it can be considered as a sole basis of conviction, my lord. Here, my lord, if the factual aspect is seen, my lord, there are contradiction coming in record. There are my lots, other my lots, evidence of the relatives, my lots, which clearly indicates that they, their presence was there at the time of recording of DD, my lots. Yes. Shows some amount of tutorness as well, my lots. In that case, my lots, in my respectful submission, is this is not the case whereby DD can be considered as a sole basis for uh, conviction, my lots. I may rely upon my lords this judgment of the Supreme Court, my lords. See, in the given facts of the case, which would be the factors which which a court should look into uh -huh. if Please the don't. court is my considering lords. DD. My lords. One you said that doctor was not present. It has not the doctor has not been examined. Doctor has not been Though examined. Though the endorsement mentions that patient is conscious, then doctor Please, is not doctor. examined. Doctor is not examined. Now my lord, the second factor would, would be my lord. Yes. That there is it is coming out on record, my lord, from the evidence of PW3 to PW6 that they were present at the time of TD or DD was recorded, which is in clear contradiction with the state uh, evidence of my lord's PW7 magistrate, my lord, who says that no one was present. Now that brother who has turned hostile why Please his continue. evidence should be taken into consideration with regard to these facts as my against the evidence of a government officer please my lords my lords to justify that aspect as well my lords it is not the case that there is a contradiction only with regard to the person who has turned hostile mm. if my lords may peruse my lords the uh, evidence of another government officer my lords that is io my lords, there is contradiction with both the statement as well of both the government officials, my lords. On the one hand, my lords, the executive magistrate is saying when he went to record the DD, my lords, no treatment was going on. On the very same time, my lords, when the investigating officer was recorded the FIR, he's stating that treatment was going on. Now, if we consider from the practical aspect, please, my lords. The IO must have enter the place hospital first in point of time please ma thereafter it would be followed by yadi to the concerned magistrate and then the magistrate would follow him right but my lords what is coming out on record is at 8 30 pm my lords the person or the officer of uh, police authorities my lords who was present at the hospital yes he has sent one yadi to b division police station and one yadi to the uh, my lords concerned magistrate yes and therefore my lords 
it it is a possible there uh, we cannot wave away or run away from the possibilities that both of them can reach the place at the same point of time because my lords the it is coming on record that what is timing mentioned for recording of dd as well as the timing mentioned for my lords recording of fir yes. both timings are same yes now the fir which you mentioned please my lords where it is mentioned that it was reported at 30 hours please my lords now any yadi has been placed on brought on record to show that the pso had reported to the concerned police station about the incident when she must have been brought to the hospital please the pso attached to the hospital must have reported to the concerned police station please so at what time he had reported to the concerned police station my lord it is coming on record my lord from the observation as well as my i lord, think iu at one stage has I mentioned stated my lord that it is at 8 30 my lord that yadi was given my lord so and i just find it out if you look at page 431 please he is referring to station diary note entry right please my lord Guna register number so and so na. Trees thus beja chona kalak sadabar vage. Station diary entry number B oblique beja chow per north curry. So this reference is to the station diary entry. Please, my lord. At that particular point of time, this entry was made. Please, my lord. Can it be said that it was the very said, same time on which the, the FIR was registered or the statement of the disease was recorded? My, my lord's in answer to that query, my lord, if my lord may turn to page number 425. There is a reference of 830 as well when the Yabi was sent. Yes. Jamnagar GD Hospital, my MNC case number so and so, Tarik Ubantis, the page at Shana Kame Bogban are so and so, Marwa so and so, Society so and so, Jamnagar at so and so, Kata at Sumare, Putanagari Kulkaran, Sir Daji Gelche, at the server mouth, a doctor so and so, a board, my FS. Sat Madakal Tayache and a training in a Lagnagaro at Vashnoche to Agani Kariava in Matapadarva Yogi Vilantis. Right. Now, any timing is mentioned in this Yadi? It was signed on 29th October 2006. Please, Madam. MNC Kapli Samil Rakilsho. What is that? Well, it's probably at the bottom there is reference to that. MLC Kapli Sati Rakelche, my lord. Probably this is with regard to the MLC case registration details. Right. And thereafter, my lord, there is a reference to 23 hours as well on the very same page, my lord. Now look at the bottom part. Please, my lord. This was addressed by the ASI attached to GG Hospital, right? Please, to the concerned PSI. Please, my lord. Then at the bottom. At CTB Jamnagar Police Station. Please, madam. He is referring to PSI concern. Please, madam. That is at 11. So, at 11 hours. Please, madam. So, again, there is reference to station diary entry number 30 of 2006. The earlier which we referred was of 2 of 2006, but of 30th October. Please, madam. So, the concern officer was reported to proceed. My lord, at 11 hours. After 11 hours. 11 hours. Therefore, my lord, the fact with regard to the FIR, which is being registered at 12.30, my lord, will stand intact in my respectful submission. Then can it be said that it would, um, uh, it would be the particular time on which the statement of the disease was recorded? Please, my lord, it may be. Can it not be said that since the disease was at the hospital, Please, my lord. the statement, her statement was recorded by the investigating officer, Please, maybe between 23 hours and 12-30 uh, hours, and then it was reported to the concerned police station where the station ID entry was entered Very well, at my lord, my 30 lord. hours. Going by the query which my lords are posing, my lords. Yes. If we are going by that here, my lords, the what is stated by the executive magistrate when he was uh, he arrived at the hospital, my lords, yes. the police was recording the statement will yes. survive, my lords. Right. Therefore, so, my lords, even otherwise, I'll take it in that manner as well, my lords. I'll not go by the contradiction in the timings, my lords. Right. That on one hand, executive magistrate is stating that at 0, 0, 17 hours he started and at 0, 0, 35 he ended taking uh, the state dying declaration. Right. On the other, other hand, the FIR time shows that 12.30 a.m. My lord, it has been recorded. 
right in that case as well mylods if mylods pe produce both the statement mylods there is some amount of different version is coming so court would definitely like to take notice of those contradictions it would have please bearing please. with regard to re appreciation of the evidence of both the officers right please mylods because the presently the court is left with the dying declaration the evidence of both the officers please mylods in this with this limited evidence the court has to examine whether the offense is made out or not Please so please. please point out what are those contradictions in both the evidence of the officers if my lords may uh, peruse my lords page number 103 yes that is my lords evidence of uh, magistrate my lords yes my lords i'll read from page num uh, paragraph number 2 my lords यादि हमारी पासे असल यादि मने मरी तेरे हूँ दस पंद्रह मिनट बाद गीताबा नाम व्यक्ति ने मरणोत्मक निवादन लेवा जी डी हॉस्पिटल में गए एफ एस सात वोर्ड में गएल त्या जाइने मरनार ने डीडी लेवा रात्रि सो एंड सौ मिनिटे चालू करे डीडी लेता पहला मैं डॉक्टर साहेब वस्तु अंगे डीडी आप सके स्थिति में छे प्रमाणपत्र मिले त्यारबाद अमरी एक्जिक्यूटिव मेजिस्ट्रेट तरीके की ओख आप वक्त त्या डॉक्टर हाजर था दर्द मैंने दर्द की ओख आप बीजू कोई त्या हाजर न त्यारबाद आ व्यक्ति एट की गीताबा ने पूछपरछ करता नाम गीताबा हो पति नाम कनाक्षी हो जाननगर में सोईसो में रहता हो जाना त्यारबाद मेरी पूछपरछ ने आधार जानू के पोते शरीर दाजी गए पति दारू पीने मारे बाढ़ मरी जवा कहे सासु सुधरा नड़ मेड़ा मरे पति सड़गी जवा कहता क्रोध में केरोसिन चापी और केरोसिन छाटी सड़गी जता रात्रि बार दस कलाके पोची गये फिमेल सर्जिकल वोर्ड नंबर सात हूँ आ रीते वोर्ड में गय तरह पुलिस निवेदन नोधवा चालू वक्त त्या कोई डॉक्टर श्री हाजर न दर्दी <laughs> लिखाई उटेड Uh, earlier stated that if I'll die, you will get peace. माने कहता सोएं जो होए तो तुम मरी जा. अने माने एकदम लग गया होता. मतलब she or she is stating that she felt very much bad and therefore she has committed suicide. On D D मतलब she is stating in fit of anger she has committed suicide. Now these facts which you are highlighting. Please मतलब. This is this was the very first version to be recorded of disease in the form of FIR. My lords, the very first version of deceased my lords will be recorded in form of the history before the medical officer my lords, which has not been altered. Right, but then 
whatever we are we have to now deal with the evidence yes. this may we may treat it as the first statement please on record please remember. right please. then this would be followed by the dying declaration please remember. so so far as your case is concerned that these facts are not forming part of the dying declaration, dying declaration. Please remember. can it can we say that in fact she was very precise in her dying declaration she has not elaborated the way in which the incident or what were the factors which had led her to take this extreme but, step. But my Lord, so I'll, even if my Lord, for a moment, I'll take whatever she has stated as it is my Lord. On one statement, my Lord, she is stating that because my husband asked me to go and die and she, because he'll get the peace, my Lord. In the feet of anger and during the process of parallel, my Lord, the words which has been uttered, my Lord, will not consider as an instigation under 107, my Lord. I have a judgment to that effect. My right. So your even submission is. If I'll I'll take whatever is stated in FIR as it is, my lord. If my post conduct has been seen, if I am so desperate that she'll go and she'll commit suicide and she'll die, then my lord, I'll never go there and uh, try to my lord uh, dissolve the things, my lord, because my lord, she herself is stating, my lord. Diva sari chafi husargil husargti ghani bar nikerta mara pati mara upar godhuru na ki na mane tharen. Right. So if one uh, appreciate. Please. Her statement, she has fairly stated before the investigating officer. It is not so that with some vengeance she had proceeded with a particular story before the IEO. Please, my lord. But my lord, this entire portion, how the incident has been committed, my lord, there yes. is some different version is coming out in DD. So what the difference part you can, could notice in my the lord, FIR and the dying declaration? In this, my lord, it is coming out as when she was present at home, my lord, direct fight has occurred between husband and wife. Husband asked that I want to remarry. Therefore, she has stated that if I'll die, you'll get peace. Therefore, he has stated that go die. And therefore, I, I I did not, I felt it bad and I committed suicide. Right. That but is then what is coming out in FIR. Missing if of this lord, part in the DD would lead to contradiction? My lord, coupled with the other facts, my lord, this is one of the factor. I am not stating that, my lord, it is only the contradiction which is coming out. My lord, yes. I, I started my submission with this fact that Along with the other drawbacks, my lords, this contradiction is also considered by Learned Corporal. But then can it be said contradiction? My lords, different version it may be said. Yes. But then court has considered it as a contradiction. Please, my lords. Court has considered it as a contradiction, my lords. That there is some amount of different version is coming out. Right. That both the evidence are not in consonance. That is what has been observed. My lords, to that effect, my lords, I am coming with the judgment as well, my lords. Even if there is no contradiction in both the versions, my lords, or the different versions of dying declaration, my lords. What is, my lords, then important to note, my lords, to consider DD to be sole basis of the conviction is her state of mind and her condition, my lords. Yes. If the injuries are such in nature, my lords, when there are chances of attribution of some kind of painkiller and seductive medicine, my lords, in that case, my lords, whatever there, there are chances that whatever she has stated is under some kind of illusion, my lords. And my lords, to that aspect, my lords, whether some medicines were provided or not and what kind of, kind of treatment was given, my lords. The examination of the person who of the doctor who has treated her is necessary, which has not been done. Along with the fact, my lord, now non examination of the doctor who has preliminary given him treatment, please, my lord, how that would prove fatal to the case of the prosecution, my lord. In my respectful submission, how it goes is this wise, yes. That the doctor who has treated her is the first person to record the entire version, may it be in a form of history or may it be in form of other way, my lords. Right. If he has been recorded, my lords, the first version can put on record. And what is the actual position can be brought on record. Yes. The second aspect why it is required is to the effect that what kind of treatment she was undergoing. If I may be permitted to refer this, my lords, judgment for a moment, my lords. This is a Supreme Court judgment, uh, 
in the year 2011 mallet it is decided it is reportable mallet but I, I am not able to press it from a particular source therefore i have get it from the supreme court website mallet yes mallet here what happens was there were two dying declaration in this particular case not the one which my lords are referring mallet so i will pass on the another one you had in fact relied upon in judgment of supreme court in case Malach, of uttam right? please Malach, that is that is for the purpose right? what all are the parameters to be considered Malach? yes but i'm right now referring to this judgment my lord Sam, uh, sampat uh, basoba my lord Absolutely, please well my lord here my lord there were two dying declaration there yes. was no contradiction my lord one was rep, uh, recorded by the magistrate and one was my lord the hospital persons my lord my lords, may come to page number uh, page number 10, paragraph number 13. In our view, though the dying declaration stands proved, my lords, here, my lords, that there are some amount of my lords issues with regard to dying declaration. Yes. Here, dying declaration was proved to be correct, my lords. The issue is whether we can convict the accused only on the basis of this dying declaration in case of the present nature where the victim had 98% of burns. And the doctor has stated from the record that the painkiller were injected at so and so, and the dying declaration had been recorded thereafter. There is a serious doubt whether the victim was in a fit state of mind to make the statement. She was suffering from 98% burn. She must have been in a great agony, and once a sedative had been injected, the possibility of her being in a state of delusion cannot be completely ruled out. It would also be pertinent to mention that the endorsement made by the doctor that the victim was in a fit state of mind to make the statement has been made not before the statement, but after the statement was recorded, normally it should be in the other way. Therefore, my lords, only on the ground that she was suffering from 98% of burn, my lords, and this, uh, when painkiller injection was given at 3.30 a.m. before the recording of dying declaration, my lords, here, my lords, the court has not considered the dying declaration. Right. Now, my lords, in uh, answer to the query which is posed by my lords to me yes. with regard how doctor who has not been examined will affect the case of prosecution my lords it goes this way that my lords what kind of treatment was given my lords it is not on record yes we are not aware whether she was <laughs> given some kind of painkillers or sedatives it is coming on record from the evidence of io my lords that her treatment was going on my lords at the point of time when he has recorded the statement Therefore, my lords, we cannot even wave away from the my lords possibility of her being in some kind of state of delusion, coupled with the fact, my lords, she was already undergoing some kind of medical illness treatment. Yes. And therefore, my lords, we are hoping that there was a requirement of examination of a doctor who has treated her. And my lords, undisputedly, even the medical papers are not on record from which we can even bring to the record that what kind of treatment she, are, she has got. Therefore, my lords, in my respectful submission, my lords, even I'll consider DD as it is, my lords. Then also, my lords, she was suffering from 40 to 50% of burn injuries, my lords. She was also in pain and agony, my lords. She must have supplied with some amount of, my lords, painkillers or some treatment was given to her, which may have created the state of delusion. And my lords, here being a defense, my lords, my, my job is only to raise some amount of doubt, my lords. <laughs> right. And in my respectful submission, my lords, this will suffer. In my lords, other way, uh, apart from this aspect also, my lords, my lords, my peruse the earlier judgment which I have passed on, my lords. Yes. That is my lords in uh, Uttam judgment, my lords. Whereby, my lords, referring to all the other judgments, my lords, the Supreme Court has laid down certain guidelines, my lords, stating that the uh, when the dying declaration can be considered as a sole basis for conviction, my lords. I am referring to paragraph number 14, my lords. The bench consisted of how many judges? Two judges, right? Two judges. My Lord, paragraph number so four, far as 99 judgment is concerned, was led by three judges bench, right? Please, my Lord. Even if my Lord, I will argue on the judgment which has been passed by my uh, learned friend, my Lord, the 2022 judgment. Yes. That will also, my Lord, work in my favor. If my Lord may refer to the head note of that judgment, my Lord, state of Uddha Pradesh. 
let us complete first this judgment which you propose to rely upon please my lord if my lord turn to page number my lord 9 internal page number 9 my lord yes paragraph number 14 my lord there is reference to one judgment delivered by this honorable court my lord yes which is my lord for the challenge it before the honorable supreme court as well my lord whereby this guidelines were issued in those guidelines my lord if my lord <coughs> May come to point number four, my lords, where dying declaration is suspicious. It should not be acted upon without any collaboration of evidence. Right. Thereafter, my lords, point number six, my lords, a dying declaration which suffers from infirmity cannot be uh, form the basis of conviction. Thereafter, my lords, point number nine. normally the court in order to satisfy whether the disease was in fit mental condition to make the dying declaration look upon the medical opinion but where the eyewitnesses said the disease was in a fit and conscious state of state to make this dying declaration the medical opinion cannot prevail now my lords in my respectful submission if i'll take this point with uh, clubbing with our factual aspect my lords there is no medical opinion first and there is a statement of one of the eyewitness my lords pw2 my lords who is the punch witness he is stating that she was not even in a condition to speak my lords this is survived for how many days she, she had immediately succumbed 3 days 3 days offenses of 29 she died on 3rd third My lord, last one is where the prosecution version differs from the version as given in the dying declaration. The state declaration cannot be acted upon. My lord, here no contradiction. What has been used only differs is uh, used. My lord, thereafter, my lord. Uh, it is uh, in paragraph number 15 my lords it, it provides that when there are multiple dying declaration the question arises for consideration is to be, uh, to which of the say dying declaration ought to be believed by the court and what would be the guiding factors for arriving at just and lawful conclusion the problem becomes all more knotty when the dying declaration made by the deceased are found to be contradictory faced with such a situation the court would be expected to carefully scrutinize the evidence to find out as to which of the dying declaration can be corroborated by other material evidences produced by the prosecution of equal significance is the condition of the deceased at the relevant point in time mm. the medical evidence brought on record that would indicate the physical and mental fitness of the deceased the scope of close relatives or family members having influence or tutored the deceased and all the other uh, all the other attendant circumstances that would help the court in exercising its discretion my lords therefore even my lords there are multiple dying declaration there is some amount of difference if it is coming on record my lords in that case my lords what honorable apex court is stating is well all the honorable apex court has uh, provided is this twice that in that case my lords what all other factors which is required to be considered which includes my lords what is the condition of disease at the relevant point of time yes so that aspect my lords learned judges already answered the fact that though the executive magistrate is stating that there is a fitness certificate given by the doctor but whether that doctor has come and examined her and thereafter certifies that she was fit or not it is not brought on record yes thereafter my lords so medic uh, medical evidences undisputedly no medical evidence is produced on record my lords except the pm report and right. my lords her physical and mental fitness now in case uh, the court is accepting your submission that doctor was not examined who had endorsed on the certificate that the patient Please, is conscious right Please, so in absence of doctor being examined it would be for the court to examine as to whether the disease was in the fit mental condition or not Please, right so the court would have to gather it from the surrounding evidence Please, which Please. has come on record Please, apart from that medical certificate Please, Please. but my lords that surrounding my lords evidence in my respectful submission in the present case places this wise yes. that since the year 2001 my lords she was having some mental illness illness my lords for which she was undergoing my lords some amount of treatment 
yes with regard to my lots uh, giving of painkiller and sedatives the aspect is completely silent but my lots looking into the pm report that she has suffered 40 to 50% of burn injuries my lots yes a prudent person cannot believe that there was no uh, painkiller or sedative was given to the deceased person right coupled with another fact that my lots pw2 my lots who is the punch witness he is stating that she was not even in a condition to speak and malas in my respectful submission my lots if i'll connect all the dots here or connect the chain my lots somewhere it suggests that disease was not in a fit state of condition to give the dying patient right and that is my lots what is observed by the learned court below so considering her past medical history please my lots of mental status right and when with this burn injuries of 45 percent seductive 40 to 50 percent that is what is the painkillers are bound to follow it it is bound to follow my lord right. right coupled with my lords the evidence of pw2 punch who states that he was present during four to five days when she was undergoing the treatment yes. he never had a occasion to have a word with the deceased but he used to see her from the outside whereby he has stated that she was in such a condition that she was not even able to talk right <clears throat> therefore my lords in my respectful submission this is not the case whereby my lords may uh, consider dd as a sole basis for the conviction and therefore what is my lords observed by the learned court below in my respectful submission is correct right now if we look at the sole evidence please my lords accepting that the dd has been proved or it it has it can be relied upon please, can we say that offense of 306498 is made out by relying upon that dying declaration no my lord because my lord <laughs> even i'll take dying declaration as it is my lord what is coming out in dd my lord yes. i'll keeping aside the painkiller sedative aspect i'll keep aside the doctor's testimony aspect i'll keep aside the pw2's testimony aspect as well yes my lords what is stated in dd my lords my kind enough to turn to page number 419 again હું શરીર દાજી ગયું છું મને મારા પતિ દારૂ પીને મારે છે મને છોકરા થતા નથી મરી જવા માટે કહે છે મારા સાસરા તકુબા સાસુ સોયનસો નદન સોયનસો મેડા મારે છે મારા વરે મને સળગી જવાનું કહેતા જાતે મારા પર કેરોસિન છાંટતા ક્રોધમાં મે દીવાલ સડી ચાપીને સળગી ગયા છે યસ માય લોટ્સ વોટ ઇઝ કમિંગ ઈવન ઇન ડાઈંગ ડિક્લેરેશન ઇન માય રિસ્પેક્ટફુલ સબમિશન ઇઝ ધિસ વેઝ ધેટ देयर વોઝ સમ ફાઇટ ગોઈંગ ઓન બિટવીન હસબન્ડ એન્ડ વાઇફ એન્ડ ઇન ધેટ ફાઇટ માય લોટ્સ ઇન ફીટ ઓફ એંગર માય લોટ્સ શી હેઝ કમિટેડ ધિસ યસ and that will not my lord uh, fulfill the ingredients which are necessary under section 107 of ipc with regard to the abatement yes my lord there is supreme court judgment to that aspect as well my lord i have one i, I have one judgment my lord this is, this might not be the reported one my lord I, i i apologize for the copy but this is what best i can get from the supreme court website if my lord may turn to page number 7 uh from my lots the second paragraph instigation is a god urge forward provoke incite or encourage to do and act to satisfy the requirement of the instigation though it is not necessary that the actual words must be used to the effect or what constitute the instigation must necessarily and specifically be suggestive of the consequences yet a reasonable certainty to incite the conscience must be capable of being spelt out the present one is not a case where the accused uh, had by his act or omission or by the continued course of conduct created such circumstances that the disease was left with no other option except to commit the crime in which case the instigation may have been inferred a word uttered in a fit of anger or emotion without intending the consequences to actually followed cannot be said to be an instigation 
my lords, if I'll pick up this aspect, my lords, yes. with what is stated in dying declaration as well as what is stated in FIO. Yes. See, Harshaf was saying that there was some amount of fight going on between the husband and wife. And during the process of fight, my lord, some words were uttered by the husband, some words were uttered by wife, resulting in which the wife has committed the suicide, my lord. If my lord, my lord, my Pari was the post conduct, my lord, I was the one who has tried to, my lord, uh, cool down the things, my lord. Ke, e, my lord she herself is stating that my father is going to act in the act. And thereafter, my lord, I was the one who has taken her to the hospital, my lord. So, my lord, here my post conduct will also be a relevant factor, my lord, if I'll consider it as it is, my lord. It is but what about the fact that she mentions in her FIR that Please, if she commits, she if she dies, then he would be able to perform second marriage. What was my, that my the intention? That what he intended? My lords, to that is effect as well, my lords. That is what is stated by my, my lords. That is what was in a feat of anger he stated, my lords. Yes. That if you will die, I'll get remarried, my lords. Right. And therefore she has stated that if I'll get I'll die, you'll get peace. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he has stated that, okay, then go and die. Can it not be said that merely if the word was that you may die, that would have not attracted the abatement part of section 107 to attract 306, but then followed with that intention which he expressed that then he would be, be able to perform but second lords, marriage. That, that, that is not the case where, my lords, he has asked her to do certain acts because he wanted to do it. It was in a feat of entire fight, my lords, this has come on record. Right. Even she is stating that fight was going on. It is not the case that out of nowhere he is coming and stating that Right. In, in that case, my lords, my respectful submission goes this way, that whatever has uttered in the entire episode, my lords, from both the sides, it was in feat of anger and feat of movement, my lords. Because if he was so desirous to remarry my lord, he would let her uh, burn my lord's 100 percent, why 50 percent? Yes, therefore, any other lord, judgment? In, therefore, my lord, in my respectful submission, my lord, looking into everything, my lord, considering even I'll take it as it is, my lord, yes, for a moment, though not admitting anything on record, my lord. Even though, my lord, this will not be case of 306, my lord, there was no abatement from our end. Yes. Coupled with, my lord, my uh, other submissions. Yes. Please provide the copy of the report. We'll place this matter tomorrow. Please. Get the copy. Please. Right? So regarding the site. Yes. And uh, you want to give any written submissions? I'll give, my lord. But I have ready, but I have ready submissions. Tomorrow? Or you need tomorrow. some more time? Oh, day, after. day after tomorrow. Yes. Very well. Then get the report as well as written yes. submissions. Please, please. Yes. I mean, on 31st Friday. 31st yes. March. Yes, yes. Please. 31st March. This, this court cannot forget the next date being a holiday because <laughs> we are in need of one. <laughs> Waiting with list of matters for orders. RPD the Karish RPD Nazi email as Karish. Okay. When he looked at Nazi Mukun, the date was not permitted to give it my Karish. Madam, you have to file affidavit. So, but then you were permitted. If you look at the order of 28th February 2023, notice was issued, right? The applicant is permitted to serve respond number two by register post ready. That means you had not availed the service. The notice was not collected also. The RP, if my court master draws my attention that in fact, by email, it was sent to you. You were in process of sending it by RPD, but then you have not availed that. The report of the registry is there on record. It is dated 3rd of September, 2023. This is sorry, 9th of March. 
it is 9th of march 2023 28 beni gaye notice 9th march we have address email right with the attachment of notice we are talking please come with the details tomorrow this would be notified tomorrow we will consider your request but then at least you should clarify this fact yes kale rakhe apne kale jo yes yes you can mark the on the page number the relevant paragraph which you propose to rely upon yes. yes yes on 26 september 2018 and 27th october which was not taken till today in the record which was i had been filed the tapal registry even also for kl sanjay 19. The registry is said that the entire matter is in operations. But uh, my reply to be taken on that for CRM. So, Chemni Pasi Doctor. He said, Doctor. You can see a reply filed by respondent. This is in 2 of 2019. This filed affidavit in CRM and so and did it over to criminal caution matter. Cancel but did not consider the reply and did not place the reply from respondents in consent matter. You have placed this note before the registry? On which date you have submitted? On 26 September, 26 September 2019. When you have filed affidavit? When you have filed affidavit in two of the September, and even I had been given the copy to the state of Gujarat. Yes, the registry will verify that fact. My court master will consider. It would be verified. First, let us verify this fact. Then we'll pass order if it is not found on record. Yes. The same thing also had been filed further affidavit on five six by 2019. Emma Panjulo, Banema, Epidate Shaken. Epidate already after the Yes. This matter would go on the date which. Third yes, 3rd of April. Yes. yes. This matter, as directed by the coordinate bench, pursuant to the order dated 2nd, <clears throat> it was which date? What was the date of the order? The application for early hearing was allowed, right? Whereby the appeal was directed to be heard on 3rd of April. So, uh -huh. what was the date of that order? 2nd March 2020. The coordinate bench by order dated 2nd March 2023 had passed order in criminal misses application number yeah. 1 of 2023, directing 2021, directing the Registry to notify the appeal for hearing on 3rd of April 2023. Let this appeal along with the other matters be notified for hearing on 3rd of April 2023. First, we'll examine. If it is there, it would be placed on record. If it is not there, Sending the the mare verify karo. it is your grievance that it is not. Is, ben, aju request kari Bara, par kya tame note file kari she, you have already submitted. Now, if it is already submitted, it would be placed in the court file, if not placed. Ha, to bhale ne, par mane, let me verify. You are making this request. Let me verify why it has not been placed. If it is filed. 
uh, in both it. applications. Let me verify. Yes. Yes. Which date you want, sir? Next week. Pardon? Next week. Fifth of April. Yes. Yes. Same date then. You may take on sixth April. Right. Sixth April. Yes. You have the details? Yes. You have already collected details of fresh address? Yes. Right. Learned Advocate, Mr. Nitesh G. Jain, for the applicant, prays for issuance of fresh notice to unserved response number two. He submits that the necessary details of new address has been collected by the applicant. Considering his request, registry is directed to issue let a fresh notice be issued for response number two, subject to furnishing the details of new address, making it returnable after two weeks. 13th April, 13th April, both 48 and 49, right? One Yes. Yes, Mr. Dave. Yes. Sixth of April. Let registry may verify. 